Yo, yo, all right. All right. All right. Oh, man. Well, hey. Finally. Thanks for stopping by. Good God. All Is right, it we got it to work on our 20th try. Audio's good? I've, I think so. All right. Yeah, actually, I'm going to grab my phone, but you can explain what we're welcome, doing. Welcome to the party. So we got a pickup truck full of uh, cider apples, and we borrowed this crazy crusher uh, from our buddy Ted, who owns uh, Asheville Homebrew Supply. So thanks, Ted. Um, we should make short work of it. So we'll throw all the apples in there, crush them, and then we have a press. We'll press them, then we'll pasteurize and uh, pitch some yeast and ferment. Yeah, um, let us know if the um, audio is working. We have no idea at this point. Oh, there we go. It is working. Okay. And then I guess comments, I'll just have to pull up on the phone. Is that yeah. the deal? So, oh. but yeah, so I mean, yeah, how, much, how many bushels is that? Um, we ended up with 22 bushels. So a lot of apples, like a literal truckload of apples. Um, you, the camera doesn't really do it justice. There are so many more apples there than it looks like in the shot, so. Yeah, I mean, it was literally like a full pickup bed, three quarters of the way up full, so. Yeah, totally, um, a lot of apples. So yeah, we really don't know how much it's gonna make, so we got a ton of fermenters cleaned right. and ready. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, about three hours later than we thought we'd get yeah, started, yeah, so. Totally. Technical difficulties and uh, Hopefully the motor isn't too loud, but oh, that's true. Um, I, I think if it is, turn your volume down. For reference, though, that's a <laughs> that's like a hundred dollars worth of apples right there, and these three bags over here. So I'll just lift up two of them. But there's three bags. If you bought these, um, y'all just like those are seconds apples. So you know they've they've been on the ground. They have blemishes. There's some rotting. Literally looks like. People have taken bites out of some of them. I mean, for the um, most part, I would probably yeah, eat any of these. Yeah, great for yeah, they're not bad. Great for cider and um, baking, but you know, if you're just like looking for a pristine apple, yeah. that's not. But anyway, if you buy like fresh pristine apples that are already picked, just three of these bags. So this one, this one, this one, sixty-six dollars. All of those apples, a hundred bucks. So go down to your orchard. Local ask, orchard, if you're making cider, and tell them you want the bad apples. Cider apples, bad apples. Yeah. You know what? I'm wondering if that bucket's going to be, like, too low. Um, we didn't test this, of course. I uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see how accurate my lining is, lineup is. Well, how about this? I'm going to grab a board to put across the bottom of the sawhorses. We'll raise that bucket up. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Good call. A nice. couple boards, maybe? What's Piece that? Of plywood. I got something that'll work. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we got something. Let's try this uh, this board right here. Of course, this is like come apart. There we go. So let's put a board across there. Uh, our plans oh, yeah. for the cider. Sweet. We got quite a few plans. We got. A lot of plans. We got a lot of plans. We got Lots guava puree. Don't let us forget to put this in some of it. Yeah. We got some pineapple puree. Don't forget to let us put some of this in that. Um, I picked up, I don't know, I think we got like 11 different yeast strains. Got a couple one gallon fermenters we're gonna play around with. Um, we're gonna ferment in our six and a half gallon kegs for a bunch of, of it. So we really don't know how much we're gonna get. So we just have a bunch of stuff ready, but a bunch of different yeast. We might might do a hop cider at some point. I don't know. It's just, we're kind of just winging it. No real plan except crush apples, juice apples, pasteurized apples, yeah, pitch yeast, so. Yeah, sweet. And then probably all carbonated. I don't really like still cider. Uh, yeah, I can't say that I've even had like still hard cider. It's not my favorite, mm. but All right. there's gonna be plenty, so I'm sure we could do a bunch of things. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, so the apples already been—they've already been rinsed. Yeah. Do you want to just? Do we want to start with those bags? 
Sure. Just dump a bag in, see yeah. what happens. Yeah, absolutely. And then don't put your hands in here. Yeah, I'll, I they won't. They got a nice warning label there. I definitely That won't. looks like it would tear your whole fucking arm, or whole arm off. Ooh. All right. Uh-oh. The, uh, the, the live stream just got shut down. <laughs> YouTube's coming to our house. Uh, all right. Um, all right, sweet. Well, I'm gonna, um, how about this? Can you stand over there and start tossing them in and I'm gonna change this camera so people can see what's going on. Oh yeah, is there an above shot? Yeah. So am I good to start crushing? Yeah, man, go for it. I think we might need like a mash. Should we turn it off real quick? Maybe, and then turn it back on. What's that? There's a little offy switch here. Then how do you get it to turn back on once Greens you turn go. this off? You have to show me, man. Do we already break it? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Sorry, Ted. Yep. Oh, there you go. I see. Okay, cool. So. Um, yeah, let's kind of like, we might need to pull some out, honestly. You think I gotta do like one at a time? Uh, maybe not one at a time, but maybe not like a whole half a bushel. Well, apparently. This thing's lamer than I thought. <laughs> it looks so good. There you got a spoon. Yeah, and I'm wondering. All right, Emma's gonna get a spoon. I think I'm gonna get a bucket and pull some of these out. We've not tested this, obviously. Of course, you know, that's, that's how we roll. So, um. I wouldn't, I, I, I'd keep that out of there. You don't want that to get like stuck on those. Uh, Pull them out into a bucket, maybe? Yeah. Let's put it, let's, um, do you have a spare bucket somewhere? Oh, yeah. Where's that bottling bucket? We'll pull them out. We still might end up having to, like, quarter these, which would. He said you could throw them in whole. Really? Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say that would be a real bummer. Either way, this is gonna be faster than our old. Um, What's that? This is gonna be faster than the old one for sure. Hopefully. Yeah. All right. Time. Yeah. A couple of times, three at a time. Yeah. Jesus. Sweet, sweet aim. All right. I think we should like turn it off before we stick anything in there. Cause if yeah. that, we'd, we'll straight up break this thing if we get that metal paddle stuck in there. Yeah. Straight up. I'm gonna unplug it. All right, let's see. So it looks like it slices them. That's like yeah. what it does. Right, slices and dices. Okay. All right, let's see it. All right, pretty riveting. Yep. Oh, there it goes. All right, we just need to go a little slower. Alright. Well you just gotta go from the side like yeah, this. I'm thinking I need to raise this bucket up though. More. I dumped it from the wrong side. You gotta go from this side. Okay.
this is gonna take this is gonna take some time here. We have a lot of apples. I'm gonna see if I can get a better shot of these apples so people understand exactly how many apples we have here. Dude. It was a lot. We're gonna be here till midnight. Yeah, this is an absurd amount. Well, this of, thing uh, is not nearly as cool as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I was thinking it was gonna be, oh wow, there we go. This, this is what we're working with. So as I'm far guessing as the apples go. this will be a 20 hour stream of us yep. just cutting apples. Yeah, good thing we put some, uh, good thing we put some lights out here. Good thing we tested it. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, it's way better than the other one. You know, we don't have to cut them on the cutting board first. All right, I'm gonna leave this down here so everybody can now more fully appreciate the mess that we're in here with uh, all these apples we need to slice and dice and then press. And you know what? I was kind of hoping that we'd end up with more, like more juice as well, you know? Yeah, I feel like it's like clogged. But I don't know, we'll have to see. Stick by. What do you think? You got uh, a little really jam up. Kind of. I'm trying to. I guess we're still learning. Yeah. Learning that what you should do is just buy apple cider. <laughs> <laughs> That's the. Uh, yeah. Dude, we. This would have been so easy if we would have just stuck to our original plan, which was like two bushels. Right. And the and the bees haven't even descended yet. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, go for it. And then I'm gonna have you look at to why it's not going through. Oh, uh, Han, Hans Lind is calling OSHA. He's calling what? OSHA. OSHA? Yeah. It's, it's, I had it unplugged. So we're gonna make we don't we get we have 22 bushels of apples probably, um, and according to the internet, see like that big apple there? I think that's kind of what's jamming it up a little bit. It's not, nothing's good. It's just not going. It's not releasing. It's got not going down. So like it's chopping it, but it's not falling through. So it's almost like the bottom's plugged. Let me try it. I think we just need to ram it. <sighs> ram jam from the bottom up. Um, anyway, so we got, um, yeah, there's like a big guy that's stuck in here. So we got um, 20 some bushels. It's a hundred bucks from the orchard. And uh, according to the internet, and actually somebody in the chat could probably give us a better approximation who's done this many apples. We've never done this many before. But um, we're looking at maybe as much as like 75 gallons. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Sweet. There we go. Sweet Clearing belly. it out. Clearing it out. You know what? I think we need a Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed. All right, you want to. Um, I see keep, how it works. Uh, you want to yeah. keep doing this and. Um, I'll get, I'm gonna move this, that, that other camera so people can actually see what's going on here. Oh yeah. Cool. All right, 
Yeah, and then I, I think we'll just start with the small boys. Yeah, for now. Sure. Do, can they hear over me? Can you guys hear over me? Hear you over the thing? I feel like it's really loud when I'm standing right here. Yeah, maybe. But uh, yeah, I kind of just zoned out, just watching apples. Um, it's Friday, which is nice. Anybody got any big plans? I just realized I uh, hadn't talked for about five minutes. I was just zoning out, yeah. watching the apples. Um, I need a swap, I think. Buckets. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I'm gonna grab another bucket. Might as well grab five. Kyle, do you want to maybe start juicing while I crush? What's that? Do you want to start juicing maybe while I crush? Yeah, absolutely. That way we can maybe get some juice heating up at some point. Yeah, totally. Cool. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to check the feed real quick. Are you guys able to hear me over the noise? Yeah, I'm not trying to chop anything, so I'm just going to deal with it, I think. But how is the uh, voice um, over the motor? Is it bad? The voice, the voice to crusher ratio. The voice to crusher ratio. I put some headphones on. It's not great. It's not. It's not, not great. It's not horrible, but it's not great. So, cool. Voice is good. Okay, cool. Well, I'm just gonna keep crushing. Probably keep clogging this up because I refuse to use a knife. And. Uh, We'll uh, be here probably. Kyle, what's your, what's your guess, Kyle? I mean, I don't know, but here's the thing. We don't have to do all this, like, oh. today. Yeah. We got the whole weekend, dude. I got nowhere to be. Yeah, same here. They deliver pizza. Yeah, I've seen it happen. Yeah. That's a thing that, that can happen, for sure. And we got a mix of, what, like seven different varieties? Looks um, like. I'm not sure. I mean, it's a good number. So it should be good. Yeah. All right, firing it back up. And then people got a good view of this because it. I'm enjoying watching it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try and give it a little better view. phone so I can yeah, read comments. There we go. Uh, I went too big guys. Flew too close to the sun. Uh, you guys warned me. I refuse to listen. I really just don't want to have to cut these. So we'll just pick out the smaller ones for now. Yeah, 
yeah, so who's, uh, has anyone done this many, uh, crushed this many apples All before? Right. Like, what are you working on over there, Kyle? Load? If so, how long did it take anything. you? And if we were to try to do all these today, what uh, what kind of trouble would we be in? Yeah, I feel like are we I'm having a good like time just like watching these crush. Basically, or, or what? Yep. Are you talking to people over there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I can't hear anything. Yep. move this camera a little closer and kind of just show people like what's going on in the grinder in the grind house I'm gonna put a camera like right up here yeah, what are the odds that we could do that and not knock it off what do you think 10%? Probably until we start filling that with liquid, it might get a little sketchy, but yeah, uh, I think we'll be all right. All right. Come on. Yes. All right. Pick the apples Definitely off gonna the get floor. some uh, apple stuff on here. Sketchy thing. Just need to remember not to step on it. Yeah, now I'll move it in a sec. Oh, okay. Like the view, Kyle. Nice, sweet. I mean, I'm. I just keep zoning out. It's actually kind of relaxing just All right, there we watching go. the apples yeah. crush. We're going big. Come on. Come on. Yes. I found if I put a little one in, kind of push it through. So that's gonna be my move. Big one gets stuck, throw a little one in, get it unstuck. We're learning, first time using this, it's kinda of nice. I was hoping it'd be a little quicker, but it's way better than cutting apples. Um, we made a bunch last year or the year before, and with our other grinder, you have to uh, cut them all in half, which isn't the end of the world, but this is actually really nice. So yeah, it's probably worth seeing if your homebrew shop has one. Um, like I said, ours rented out, uh, which is pretty sweet. Um, oh no, I'm overflowing, guys. That was That bucket filled up way quicker than the other. So Kyle's got some juice in the ketchup on. I'm not sure. Anybody know where Kyle went? Yo. Did he go home? I'm hiding out. All right. Oh. 
the only problem is I can't, uh, I can't see when the bucket's full. So I took one of the boards out just so I can see in there a little bit better. And uh, garden mulcher, well, I don't know. No idea. Yeah, first, uh, first time with one of these, real nice. So big, follow it with a small. Uh -oh. All right, I feel like we're doing all right here. It's going pretty quick. type of apples great question they are it, it's definitely a mix I don't I don't really know my apples but I'd say at least seven to eight varieties are in here which is kind of what you want I think from my reading I'm not a cider expert but it seems like people like to use a blend of apples um, basically whatever was on the ground and whatever wasn't presentable to sell uh, in the retail environment But we, uh, all the apples have been rinsed at least, so they're not like gross. And uh, once Kyle juices them, we'll start heating up the kettle to 160 and we'll pasteurize uh, the juice and then we'll chill it down and um, throw it in a fermenter. I got too greedy. Got too greedy. There we go. Come on. Oh yeah. What about yes. That? Come on. Clear out. I feel like now we're now we're cooking. All right. Nice. That did a great job. So, jeez. You got some work to do, buddy. Yeah, I know, I see. <laughs> you got a camera for your uh, juicing? No. Because that might be kind of fun. Yeah, I mean, I think I think oh. let's just fill up another bucket and then... What's that? Let's fill up another bucket, juice, maybe come back to this. I don't know. Do you think we... Okay. What? One more bucket? Yeah. And then juice, and then yeah. heat up, and then... Yeah. Just keep keep moving through. Yep. And then I kind of want to turn this around as well, so people can like kind of look at the camera. But um, if you're just dropping well, in, well, I have we to have... be wherever we feed it from. You have to be on this end. Yeah. No, I'm gonna turn it around. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So anyway, if you're just dropping in, um, we are juicing. Well, we're pressing. Crushing. Like 20. We crushing and pressing. Like crushing and some pressing. Yeah. Bushels of apples. Entire truckload. We got this stuff for a hundred bucks. It's um, a lot of apples. Yeah. Our buddy Ted from Eshel Humber Supplies lent us this crusher, which now that I know how to use it, it's kind of fun. Yeah. You, it's, you just kind of have to go a little slower than I was anticipating. Yeah. But yeah. it's pretty sweet. So I mean, it's like, way quicker than cutting apples. You just like toss them in there real quick. Yeah, I found if you put a big one in, it gets stuck. If you throw a little one in, kind of. Ah, uh, so kinda, maybe the big, big ones. It kind of works. Like you put the big one in and throw a little one in behind it and it yeah. kind of catches. Okay. So it's kind of a game I've been playing over here. Yeah, okay. A little um, crush game. All right, so anyway, we got all these apples for $100. We just pulled a truck up to the um, orchard and said we wanted your apple seconds for making cider. Uh, they dumped them in the back of the truck. $100. This is a ridiculous amount of apples for $100. Three of these bags total, three, just three, $66. If they're, they're like, you know, not seconds, they're pristine apples that have been picked and bagged. Um, yeah, you so, probably get a little bit better deal if you pick them yourself, but that's, they're still expensive. Yeah, so if you're trying to make cider, don't buy your apples from the grocery store. No. We've actually done that before. Have we? No, we haven't. No. We've never done that. No. Um, 
We buy apple juice, which is, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna say might actually be. Or cider. Uh, yeah, apple cider. But um, yeah, if you're trying to make cider, don't don't buy your apples from the store. If there's an orchard nearby, or if you have a friend with an orchard, that'd be even better. But go to the orchard, ask for seconds for cider, and see what the discount is. It ends up being like quarter price. Yeah, or if you have trees, yeah. like we're in Fort Collins, we, we picked yeah, apples yeah. a bunch. Uh-huh, we've done that several times. And then you have trees, you used to have trees on your property. Yep, and I've done, uh, yeah, I have trees. Apple tree in my backyard, and we made some cider from that last Which year. Which was the and best That was cider. the best cider That was ever. the best one. Yeah. And those those were the nastiest, most rotten apples of all the apples we I used. I feel like the uglier, honestly, and the rottier, the better they are. You the get sweeter like, they are. You get, well, it kind of starts to turn to vinegar a little bit, so you get like a little bit of acidity and as you well. Got, you just get some good funk out of it. Yeah. So I'll finish filling this, this five-gallon bucket up, seven-gallon bucket up, and then... Do you want to get the crusher? Are you going to get a camera yeah, ready? Yeah, yeah, I'll for get that? the press. Okay. I'll get the press ready. Cool. All I right. threw the, I th we're going cool. to use some strainer bags in the press to uh, keep the big chunks out, too. So, oh, and uh, our uh, <laughs> <laughs> next door neighbor is about to fire up his motorcycle. Hopefully, hopefully it falls off. <laughs> hopefully, he doesn't last that long. He's the worst. Yeah. I like motorcycles. I like motorcycle riders. Do not like our neighbor yeah right all right cool all right enough of that anywho all right we're going follow come on little guy you got it little guy yes yes little guy yeast in the beast up in this piece little guy Zach Pearson, we've done a dry hop cider. There he goes, baby. Yeah. Doing 80 in a residential neighborhood. <laughs> Real cool. Real cool. All right. Let's see what's around here. Yeah, we did a we did a hop cider last year, was it, or the year before, maybe? Might have been two years ago. And it turned out pretty good. So the best one, I, in my opinion, that we did was uh, Saison, Saison yeast cider. And we let that age out. Um, it was delicious. I was about to bottle it up and then um, was cleaning out some kegs and accidentally dumped it because I'm an absolute idiot. It's one of the saddest days of my life, which is probably, you know, could be worse. While Emmett is juicing these apples, I am going to All right, we're gonna do try bag here. to set up oh, small something to put the press on. It does need to be, I guess we could do it on the ground. No, we can't do it on the ground because Come on. we need to um, put a bucket on right now. smaller yeah, one to have clear that out. So. I'm in the shed, by the way. Hmm. What to do? What to do? We're going to have to borrow the board that's under the... Now I've done it. You jam it up? A small, a couple tiny ones. Come on. Come on. Dang it. I think we must be a little later in the season this year because there's really no bees, which is nice. There's no what? No bees. Oh, like... yeah, bees. Yeah, so the last time we did this, last yeah, we did a few batches over the course of a couple weeks, and we, we got absolutely hammered by the bees. You um, didn't see the 
the intro screen that we ran before we started. Oh wait, why'd you take that board out, Emmett? Because I couldn't see. Oh. Uh, uh, we're getting apples everywhere now. What's that? It kind of needs to be there because apples are just flying everywhere. Gotcha. But I can't, you can't, yeah. I mean, it's, maybe just pull it out to the side when you when you want to take a peek at it. Maybe. I mean, it's not that much. It was doing that much with it there. Honest. I mean, that's, we're gonna have some spillage for sure. But um, we can. I mean, we can put it back. It's just really hard to see. Yeah, Zach Pearson said um, dry hopped uh, cider with saison yeast sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Not, not a bad idea. I'd be, I'd be trying that. I don't think we're gonna be able to dry hop any of this. Well, no, we yeah, could dry we hop. We could dry it. hop twenty. Yeah, gallons. we're not gonna be able to like, you know, add anything to a boil kettle or anything. We could. But are you about ready? I feel, I feel like we should just flip over to some pressing and then flip back over to this. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, man. Um, Waiting on your press, boy. Well, if you want to keep crushing. Okay. Crush maybe in that. We need to save one bucket, so. All right, so we're gonna fill up one more bucket with. What's that? We're gonna fill up one more bucket with crushed apples. We're gonna juice. Looks like four total buckets. And then yeah, we'll, and then we'll have we can just start all over. Yeah, we're gonna run out of buckets. Too, yeah. So if, uh, we need to save one for what now? Uh, we are here right now. By the way, we're just kind of walking in and out of the office to grab stuff. Um, yeah, we just need to save one bucket. To go or juice. We, do we want to just put the kettle and just juice straight into the kettle? Eh, we, we'll, we'll keep no? we got it. We have a bucket, so okay. that'll work. All righty. So while you're doing that, I'm going to actually cut a board over here to make the audio uh, even worse. Maybe I'll turn mine off for a second. And I'll get this off camera. All right, back to grinding, boys. You got. You said you're back on grinder again. Back, back on grinder. <laughs> Reactivated. All right, I'm turning my audio off for a second. Bunch of big ones, apparently. Right, so, this is more of like a a working live stream than one where we're like hanging out, asking questions. I'm gonna try to look at the chat and um, talk to everybody, but it's just one of those things where we got a lot to do. So. Smaller on. ones in here. So I don't know. Is Kyle talking to you or not? I can't tell. But these little ones are real nice. You ready to press? I'm getting there, dude. Getting there. Almost. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. This thing is no joke. So, we need to clamp this guy down to the table. Work 
working on over there. Kyle just setting up the old press, crush, presser, presser? Yeah. Yep. Come on, little apple, get in there. Clear it out. No. I think it's watching like one of those coin pusher games. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Okay. Dude, I'm thinking we've got not even a quarter of these apples crushed. Oh, no. Yeah. No, yeah. You concur? Problem every year. Or the press, I mean. I'm gonna say this is our most ambitious project ever. Yeah. And despite the looks, we literally started working on this thing a Two week days ago. ago. <laughs> well, we got the apples over the weekend, and then it's Friday. We've been working on like getting all this set up for a getting week. All the fermenters clean and ready. Yeah. And yeah, it takes a lot. It's just a lot. Yeah. So if we give up in but, 20 minutes, you know, don't be mad. <laughs> but I feel like we've got it mapped out now. So if we were to do it again, we could do it a lot faster. It jams up. Yes, it does jam up if I go faster. And if they're too big, it'll jam up. But I found if I follow the bigs with littles, it clears it out. But I learned, learned the hard way. You go too big? Went too big too quick. Fly too close to the sun again. I think it's gonna be perfect. No, that's not gonna be perfect. Just get a little guy in there. will help break it up, usually. Actually, keep that flat. Yeah, now we're talking, and we'll do that. That's way smarter. All right. Do you know what might be kind of cool? Put like a tote under here so we don't get any leakage. Um, there we go. All right, I think I got the perfect angle of the dangle on that thing. Sweet. That's one thing we have learned that you kind of have to tip that thing forward or it just kind of dribbles down the side and... Sucks. Sucks, yeah. We're gonna rinse this bucket out. All right, so we have four buckets, so Man, 20 some, 22 bushels of apples, four buckets in, haven't even done a quarter of them. I'm thinking we might not get all these done today, but I want to try to do at least half. What do you say, Emmett? Half, Emmett? What's that? At least half. Half what? Of the um, apples today, at least. We'll do half? Yeah. We'll I'm, not I'm not leaving. You're not leaving? All right. 
We're gonna we're gonna be here till midnight. We'll be here till Tuesday. Str uh, crash a thon. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. How so? Oh, we're gonna have to like move that. I'm thinking we'll move the crusher out of the way because I want to turn it anyway. Move the crusher, put the camera there so people can see what's going on. Cool. And then when we put the crusher back, I want to turn it around. Well, let's uh, move it. Let's do it. Okay. It's All a, right. So we'll put it on the floor over there. Yeah, well, can we just set it over here? You want to switch me? You come over here and I'll walk over the apples. Unplug it, safety first. Yeah, safety first. And then we'll, we'll just, just go yeah, behind it. Yeah, it right over there. Yeah. Whoa. Nope, up and over. Okay. So we'll set this over here for the insects. Yep, all the birds. Yeah. And then um, I guess we'll, let's see here. Put a bucket um, for juice, juice collection bucket down here. Yeah, we're just gonna do this until we don't feel like doing it anymore. Yeah. This is <laughs> probably how it's gonna work. Yeah. I'm gonna do it until I... Until I have to go home. Yeah. But if we had like a the pizza gets here? IBC tote we could put on there, we'd probably avoid some of the leakage. What do you mean? Under avoid here, tote? like just a tote. Like a, like a big... Like a Tupperware, like you'd put like oh, sure. sweaters in. Yeah. Face only sweaters. Yeah, I know how you are with your sweaters. You gotta keep your stuff. sweaters uh, away from the moths. Yeah, all right, so can you, s so here's the thing, slide that over and then we have to clamp it down to the table. So, I'm gonna do this. No, no, leave those, leave those, oh, sorry. Hey, is there a nail there. sticking out? Yep. Oh yeah, there's a nail, yeah, sorry dude. <laughs> all right, so, here. It yeah. needs to hang off the edge, it's just. Yeah. I didn't realize there's, I was just yeah. trying to slide it and know there's a nail. Yep, it's all good. All right. OSHA compliant. Yeah. You want your nails about two inches longer than the wood. Yeah, definitely. All right, so. What size press is this? Um, it's bigger than the one that. Bigger than our old one. You, the press or the crusher? The crusher? Oh yeah, our press is not that big. Um, yeah, it's really not that big, I'm not sure. Um, got it years ago for like making, you know, a gallon. Okay, oh, I need to get clamps. And then you wanna get those uh, nylon bags out? Uh, yeah. So, uh, paint strainer bags work really well. So, picked up a couple of these. It just makes things a little cleaner. So these come in two packs. I could have sworn these used to come in five packs, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just a different brand, I don't know. Um, but for some reason I thought they were in you know, five packs. But these fit kind of perfectly that, man? over like that. I'm not going to be able to reach that handle to squeeze. We'll just, we'll just give it a shot, see how it goes. Because I feel like I've done it on worse tables than this, honestly. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll get her. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out. So we'll do. I'll we'll just watch you. Team, okay. Yeah, just watch me do it. We'll maybe do like a team effort as well. Things we do for the angles. Yeah, man. All right. So definitely gonna be careful with my hands. In the cr in the crusher. Yeah. I mean, I think it's kind of terrifying. Yeah. I've been unplugging it when I put my hands anywhere near it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they have a sticker that just says no hands. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, it's a fair game. Which doesn't mean don't put your hands in it. It means you will have no hands. You will have no hands. If. If you proceed. Yeah. Um. All right. 
I think if you just sit Stop or stand on the table, <laughs> we might actually, it might actually work. Okay, cool. So. Juice goes into the bucket. Man, I feel like the opening of the press is smaller than a bucket. What do you mean? The, like the diameter. Um, I'm just thinking, do we need like a scoop or did you, do you remember if you pour it? I can't, I don't, I feel like I don't remember. Oh, like how do you get the, oh, you know what we did? No. We, we put the paint strainer in the bucket and then we crushed the apples into that. Yeah, that's exactly what we did. So we put the bucket, the paint strainer in the, so we'll do that on the 10th bucket. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. We'll do that on the last one. Yeah. So we were, I bet we did one and realized we were idiots and then switched to that. Yeah. Um, All right. So what's the view of right now? Can they see me spilling everything? All right, all right, I think. I think all we need to do is. Uh, What's. Is, add some. Do, they, add do we want to get a view of us spilling apples everywhere? Yeah, we have a great view of the apples spilling everywhere. We do? Yeah. Yeah. This, this so if you want to, how about this? This just, is what I'm seeing. Yeah, how about this? Just hold the bucket up there and I will. Um, I'll kind of scoop them in. Kind of pour from your side. Well, yeah, this works. I think we're gonna have to go with this because I'm already committed. Yeah, it's fine. Not All too right. bad. That's not bad. No, nice. Oh, we it smells good. The whole bucket in here too. So that's about a half, a little, a little more than half, maybe. And you know what I kind of do remember is, like, I think tying it. Yeah, is there a way to tighten that at all? No, these, nah. these are different than, oh. and they were more expensive. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just there twist you go. it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that'll be fun. Just like, yeah, anything. So, we gotta pull that thing back. First crush of the 2023 season. I'm thinking our buckets, we're gonna be short on bucket. Ooh. But that's not gonna work. Yeah, I'll fall over. We can't go. Just keep it like that. I think I think it'll. Um... Once you put pressure on yeah. it, I'll yeah. hold it. You here. hold it. All right, cool. And I'll move it out. All right, let's see. Uh, here comes the mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Yep. Great. All right. All right. Haven't used this thing in, what, a year, but did. Oh, you know, I guess so. Man, who What's knows? Up? Who knows what the best way to do this is? Buy it, buy it already done. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best way. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, man. Looks awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, if you haven't made cider before, I definitely recommend it. Um, I don't know if you need to get a pickup truck full, but it'll be yeah. good. It's, I mean, it's a beautiful day. Yeah. Could be worse. It could be way worse. I'm really like, I really want to crack up in a beer. I'd be like passed out by like 8.30 probably. If we start drinking now. So we'll probably wait, wait 20 minutes. I know. <laughs> Uh, the one thing, that, start crushing beers. the one thing that makes me hesitate is that I want to knock that camera over. Yeah, or chop my hand off in the apple chopper. I think we could manage to not do that. Famous last words. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? So, H4L, baby. What's up, CH? How are we doing, man? 
Do you approve of this live stream effort? So uh, Peaceful Prince is asking if we're going to use pectin enzyme. Uh, no, That's I don't even know a, what that is. It's going to be a no, right? <laughs> is that like a wine making thing? Or is that just to break down, is it to make it more fermentable? Um, I think, yeah, it just like breaks it down more. Um, I think we're going to add maybe a little bit of yeast nutrient, but I don't know. Should we add pectin enzyme? I don't think we have any. We don't have any, so should, answer, should we add it? The answer is no. I mean, we'll be doing some of this next week, probably. Let's be honest. Yeah. So, or this weekend. Should we like drink a little bit of this? Yeah. You wanna grab a glass? I brought a flask to bring some home too. Oh, a flask, huh? Or uh, what's it you called? You would have been smart. Is like uh, some bourbon. I mean, maybe not smart. I mean, it would have been nice. It would have been nice. Have some bourbon and. Cider, fresh pressed cider. All right, I think that's about all that's gonna come out of this one. Yeah, baby. I don't know, I don't know how far to go. I feel like in the past, we've literally gone until we couldn't twist anymore. I don't wanna break this. Guys, when should I stop? When should I stop uh, pressing? I don't want to leave any juice on the table. Oh yeah, there we go. Here, you want to put a glass under there? Do you think, is there enough? Oh yeah, so uh, East Wood, East Woodland Brew Co. Can we see that in there? Somebody sent us this. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thanks to East Woodland. Brew Heck Co. yeah. These are pretty sweet glasses. If you, uh... All right. Are we out of... Ready? No, nope. put, your, put your glass in Okay. It's a one-man operation. This isn't too bad, actually. Not going? No. Should start flowing in a second. We might, we might have tapped this one out. Yeah, I think, well, it's, it's, it's going. Slow flow. All right. Old man flow. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's call this one. I mean, dude, we press that one. Dude. So what are we gonna do with the, uh, a uh, compost pile. Yeah, we can't dump it over the fence anymore. But it's still on our property line behind the fence. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I never did it behind it. No, it's always on our property. I've never done that either. Ross may or may not. But I feel like uh, I could point, I could bring the camera and show the property boundary. We're well within our legal rights. <laughs> Our uh, apple mush jumping rights. So the camera won't reach, but you want to go dump that out and I'll we'll put another bag in there? Or you want me to dump it out? I'll go dump it. All right. Oh, I don't mind. And then we got another bag there. Cool. Yeah, there we go. All right, this is, this is going all right. Too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right, get another bag in there. Oh, yeah. So we have, how much do we have? Yeah, not even a gallon yet. So it looks like one bucket of apple mush was about three quarters of a gallon. Successful dump. All right, sweet. You want to like tilt it more this way? Might be able to like get it on camera. Yeah. Not possible, possible. Yeah, I'm left-handed, so it's ah, kind of weird. Got it, man. Here, I was assuming you could, you could just dump it with the other. There, you, dude, you did a great job, man. Thanks, man. Not um, people can see my face. Yeah. It's a whole thing. Yeah, it's a whole thing now. I think, I think we could even put some more of like the next bucket in yeah, there. Yeah, dude. Next bucket it up. All right, all right. I'm gonna go from the front though. All right. Yeah, a little heavier. Sweet. So that's one bucket. Yeah. 
cool. Okay. You know what anybody, we're going to want to do, I think, is you put a... Anybody uh, timing this? How long per... Per... <laughs> bucket. Uh, per bucket. All right, right. Is your hinge? Yeah, you're right. Batch number two. Wanna you get yourself another a little pour? Fresh pour? Yeah, buddy. A little four ounce pour? Yeah. Do you wanna get some? Nah, I'm good. You're good? Yep. Maybe you like hold it up. It smells like apples. Can you hold it I'm up? Getting hints, hints of apple. Actually, I'll do this. So everybody can kind of see what we got going on here. Definitely notes of apple. Mm, it smells like fall, is what it smells like. Yeah, dude, that's good. All right. If it has, uh, if we have E. coli, we'll have it. Oh yeah, that's true, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Let me just uh, chat, let us know that. You should have let us know before we drank that. I mean. When was pasteurization like required? It hasn't even been that long. Yeah, sure. I'll um. I know we've done this before. And nobody died, so. I have a pretty good immune system. Famous yeah. last words. I mean, do you still die from E. coli? Don't you just get to like? Get a couple days off work. Yeah. Get to watch TV, hang out. A few miserable days off work. I'm not sure. I'm assuming it's not pleasant. Yeah. All right. Dude, Anybody? Jesse Lance, a member. Oh, man. With the mannequin emoji. Oh, sweet. Like, Montezuma's Revenge. That's what I would pick for that's, sure. It's just what you call the unpasteurized apple cider diet. You lose a few pounds, you don't have to do anything. No. Who's brewing this weekend, anybody? I feel like this time of year, there's always so much going on. Yeah. Because you got like Halloween coming up and then like football. Yeah. If you're into football, that is like your whole weekend. And if you're into brewing, that's your whole weekend. Well, at least a day. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna say this is going, this is going fairly well. After we got the bugs worked out. Two 10 gallon batches last weekend. Heck yeah, man. That's crazy. Two different days. For what, special occasion or? Halloween. Ha oh, Halloween, nice. Yeah, I brewed t two 10 gallon batches last weekend. Should be ready for Halloween. That's so. killer. That's awesome. Do you uh, throw some Cheetos in one of the batches? Same day, like, damn. Orange, nice. orange beer. Cheeto? Yeah. Cheeto beer. Bring the marshmallow stout sweet. That's a really good beer. Perfect, oh, yeah. perfect fall. If you're going camping, definitely bottle some up. Yeah. Bring it, bring a little keg with you. Does that... Um, you got to brew the all grain one? And feel free to Go heavy on the toast, on the char, and the, on the marshmallows. Do we have that available on our, yeah. in our brew kits, the marshmallow? No. No. Yeah, we're going to get that. We did have a little issue with the fermentation on that, so the, our airlock got stopped up. If you follow our Instagram, um, you would have seen the mess that I had to come in and clean up on Saturday. Yeah, luckily it was a Saturday. I don't think we're going to change the recipe, but we're going to make, like, swap the airlocks out probably period yeah. so nothing like that happens again so you got a, a three-tier system it sounds like nice. that's a lot of beer man that's yeah. awesome all right we good i'm calling it all right we're up to that's hard to see maybe gallon and a half and that's two like a little over two buckets no one bucket right We've only done one bucket, one bucket and a little. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of juice. So 
One, two. So we have four full buckets right now, right? Just um, so we can do the math. Yeah, we started with four. Well, we, we started with four. Four. And and we've, we've done, we've done one. one. One so and a one and a ninth. What do we get? A gallon, maybe? Even more. More than a gallon? Yeah. Okay. Almost two gallons, honestly. All right. A little over probably six liter. Sweet. So two gallons from a little over one bucket. All right, you want to do the same thing again? Yep. You want me to dump this one? Well, I'll, I'll just come around this way so people can see the sweet no, shot. No, I mean dump the apples out. Yeah, I was going to do it from behind so people could see the angle. Is that what you wanted? No, I'm talking about emptying this bag of apples. Uh, jump the gun. Yeah, yeah if you want to do it, I'll, uh, I'll hang out. Oh. All right. Yeah, the bears are probably gonna be happy. Definitely raccoons. Uh, you get a bucket on our website, man. Click on all, all products, they should be there. What's up, CH? Hi from Ireland. What's up, Sean? Where in Ireland are you? I was uh, there for a couple weeks this summer for my cousin's wedding. Um, had a real nice time. Is there an update on the keg mentors? Yes. The, um, everything's been approved. We approved all the final tri-clamp fittings, the safety features we put in, and we started production. Um, production, I think, started this past Monday. It typically takes 45 to 55 days. So once we have those and inspect everything and everything's good, we'll ship them out. So we're getting close. Um, and I'm sure we'll be doing some more update videos as we get closer. But um, if you check out the YouTube channel, I think on the shorts, there's a video that kind of shows the final metal parts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you keep an eye out. We'll be putting some updates out, but um, everything's working, working really well. Just took a lot longer than we anticipated. So if you pre-ordered one, thanks for your patience. Um, and if not, we'll, we'll be having them sooner than later. Yeah, we're gonna use one during, are we gonna use one oh, today? Oh yeah, I didn't get one ready, but we just need to swap the lid, so. Yeah. All right, ready? Yep. Cool. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that the, the grinder would actually press a little bit more. I, I mean, it kind of looked like it would. I thought it was going to come out like juice yeah, from there. Right. But so I was like, oh, we won't even have, I was like, we won't even have to press it. Right. We Dude, go tannins, we leave the leafing for the tannins. Dude, that's where the flavor's at. Yeah. The off flavor. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good dad yeah. homebrewing joke. That's a, great, that's a great dad joke. All right, ready? Yeah. I'm really sure, like, what's this for? Is that really necessary? The clamp? Yeah. As that thing has no safety precautions, this thing's got safety clamps. Yeah. Uh, we did wash the apples, and we're gonna pasteurize them as well. So, but yeah, we rinsed them off. They were actually very clean from the, I'm, I'm assuming the farm, uh, the orchard washed them too. Um, they came actually really clean. But they've been rinsed, and yeah, we're gonna heat them up to, to 170. A 12 ton press, like a shot press that you would use for like removing bearings. Talk, tannins are talked talked about like the boogeyman. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I mean, I like me some tannins. Typically I think of tannins in like whiskey. Wine. Wine. I don't know, if, I'm assuming beer does, but uh, maybe typically beers. like when I think of tannins, I'm thinking of like a good, nice whiskey, but. Yeah. Add rice holes for more juice. Can you elaborate? Add rice holes for more juice. Anybody, anybody? I don't, I don't know that. Maybe just kind of like break the, the. So 12 ton press for like ball bearings, like a Harbor Freight one. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Because you could 
Maybe, uh, maybe email me a picture of your setup, dude, with the press. That'd be sweet. Oh, shit. If anybody has, anybody using hydraulic presses, I'm just curious um, how you have that set up um, to collect. Um, that'd be cool. All right. The camera feed's going to go yeah, up. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a cider expert. I just. I've been making one every fall for a, a number of years, but um, it's not. I don't know a ton about it, other than I just press press the juice. I prefer to pasteurize versus using chemicals. Um, I've just had better luck with that. I know you can add whatever. I forget. There's an, an enzyme or a, a something you can add to. Um, kill everything, but I, I just like to pasteurize it and um, just cool it back down and pitch the yeast. But, you know, everybody does it a little bit differently. If you're short on time or don't have a way to heat it and chill it, uh, you know, go with the uh, go with the chemical route. You can see both cams now, sweet. Were we gone? What happened? Uh, we're back, man, yeah. We don't have a, we don't got anybody monitoring the feed, so. Yeah. CH, CH is monitoring from his couch. Text She's texting it. Oh, okay. Nice. What happened? We dropped everything? Um, yeah, I, I had like a, a back to the future moment where like I, I pulled on the cord to get a little bit more slack and yanked it out. Of the computer? Yeah, of oh, the computer, nice. so I put it back in there. Here's what I'm thinking, man. Um, let's see here. Here's what I'm thinking. Make five gallons and just push these into the neighbor's yard? I was gonna say more immediately than that. I was just thinking um, we um, order some tacos. Yeah, dude. Because I'm freaking I'm starving. I'm hungry too. And then, and then once the tacos are ordered, and that's a thing that's gonna happen in the future that I can count on, I'm gonna crack a beer open. Yeah, I think eating think before drinking would be a smart move. Well, I like to just get live on the edge. Get like a beer in and then get real drunk. Some, you know, because that you know, just I don't like to. I better. don't like to eat once I start drinking. Um, all right. Because well, like once I eat, after, like when I've been drinking, it just kind of ruins my drinking. Okay. You know. All right. Your buzz comes down. That's true. You get full. So. So I'll eat then start drinking. Um, I'm, I'm going to stick with my, my plans though. Um, I'm going to order some tacos, crack a beer, and then... Rice holes allow for better, better channeling in the press. I mean... That's probably good? You think that's good? I feel like that's good. Okay. We'll have to try it sometime. I don't have any rice holes. This, this, I don't know. This I mean, I don't, it's pre they're pretty dang dry. Yeah. Kyle's pretty strong though. Dude. He's got I've a been, lot of muscles. I've been, I've been training for this. And it does help if you do it from over here. I think it's a little bit, um, a little higher. Yeah. A little bit easier. He's been training his whole life for, uh, exactly. Day. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, let's see here. How about, Yard while you're burn? doing that, yeah, what do you want? Tell me what kind of taco you want. Good loving? Guys, well, wait, what's the, What's the one with the black beans on the vegetarian? Oh, menu? that's a little sister. Yeah, a little sister. Yeah. All right. So um, while I'm ordering these these tacos, if uh, if you're gonna come to Asheville at any point in the future, or if you live here and you haven't been to Taco Billy, Taco Billy is where it's at. Real so you know. tasty. Yeah. And um, we eat there often. Also. We have 22 bushels of apples. We got them for 100 bucks. They fold up the back of a, a pickup truck for us. And we're going to make, I don't know, anywhere from like 50 Anywhere to, to 5 gallons to 50 gallons. Exactly. We have enough apples for 50 to 75 gallons. Now, how, you know, because we're not even, are we at 5 gallons yet? No. No. We have to do this we're, 10 we're, more times to get to 50 we gallons. We haven't even squeezed two buckets yet. Yeah, worth. dude. All right. I'm thinking, you know, once we get the tacos in us, oh yeah, maybe that'll make things. Go I think a once bit we faster. have some heating up, it'll feel better. It'll feel better. Yeah. Emmett, what kind of taco do you want, man? A uh, little sister, good right? loving, and maybe a yardbird. 
Okay. Emmett's a little sister, good loving yard bird man, so good loving. Ooh. Little sister. What's everybody doing uh, for dinner tonight? I think Emmett's usually like it's Pizza Friday for him. But there is a pizza place right around the corner. We don't get it as much. Bro, I can't, I'm not finding the. Dude, next year, hydraulic press. Hydraulic press? Yep. That's the move, apparently. I asked some people to email me some pictures of their setups. So. Yeah. I think you're going to have to pick a different one than Little Sister because it's not on here. What? Yeah, sorry, dude. What? Yeah. They're, like, they're out of uh, Oh, they ran out? Of stuff, yeah. Interesting. Um, what do you think? Go to the, 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 the veggies. Uh, veggies? I don't know if I'm just... I think it looks different. Yeah, it looks very different. Did they up? Yeah, it must be up. Oh, you could get me just a Billy Joel. Billy Joel? Yeah. A BJ? A okay. BJ, buddy. Um, they don't have a Billy Joel, man. They have the Mama's Favorite and Billy Ocean. I'll do Mama's Favorite. Okay. okay they I'm must not. have had a run. I know. But here's the other, here's the other possibility. Am I ordering it from like the wrong location? Oh, uh, like you're in Black Mountain? Yeah. All right, we got two buckets complete. We're gonna start our third. All right. Hope nobody's got plans, because we're gonna be here for yeah. uh Oh man, I'm at the right spot. Hot hey, minute. Wood. Taco Billy. You were at the right spot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the pot is out. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, it's all good. These things are kind of annoying, honestly. The press? The, uh... Oh, the, I mean, we could actually take it off. I think, because once you get it in there, you, you don't, really don't need it. I think it's just like getting it in there. All right. Good loving, yard bird, mama's favorite. And then I got some moritos. Place order. All right, dude, we're doing it, Emmett. We're doing it. 10 minutes later? Yeah. All right, oh, my tacos be ready. All right, cool. We're using, our goal is to do like 11 different batches. Probably some different size batches, some <sighs> five gallon batches, some one gallon batches. Um, but we plan on using, I don't know, we have like 15 yeasts to choose from. We'll be for sure using the claw hammer uh, supply yeast that White Labs is putting out. We're doing a little collab with them, or basically they did all the hard work. We just kind of told them what we wanted. Yeah, we told them what we wanted. Um, that, that's been a really cool project. It's um, gonna be available for pre-sale soon. Need to once once we have that information, we'll definitely let everybody know. Um, but that's a like a logger yeast that can be used under pressure or not. Really nice, really clean. Um, but we got some French saison. We got some. We got all all sorts of stuff. We got your classics. Um, we got some old funk laying around. Um, but yeah, we're we're gonna. We're gonna mix it up. Got some Belgian yeast I kinda wanna use, some Kvike probably. Probably use some West Coast, some East Coast. So we got a, got a good mix. What do you think we should use? I didn't get any cider yeast.
Caramel apple fruited beer. That sounds good. Oh, oh sweet. You have to, Jesse, you have to let us know what you uh, brew with that. Um, what do they call it? The Franken, Franken the Franken yeast. yeast. Yeah, he picks them up. Dude, do you think we can uh, keep it together? Yeah, I think I need you to. Crank it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, just, I'm just a little guy. Just a young man. As long as we don't knock over the camera, I really, and nobody chops a finger off. We're I really fine. don't care what happens, yeah. I Cloud mean, water. Oh wait, what did I give you? Yeah, so check this out. Oh, this is toasted coconut and orange zest. Yeah, so this is a, I mean, I can get this on the camera. It says toasted cocoa nuts. Huh. Multiplural. Let's see here. Take a shot of this. Oh yeah, this is a new burial beer. Outstanding. It's a cool can. Outstanding, yeah. Their cans are always great. Yeah, coconuts, toasted coconuts and orange zest. It's an IPA with coconuts and orange zest. What do you think? You're not really an IPA, Whoa. man. I love coconut. Yeah, I do too. That's nice because it doesn't taste like an IPA. Yeah. yeah. It's not like, it's more like an East Coast versus a West Coast, I guess. Like, not as bitter. Yeah, not as super bitter. And the coconut, it's not really sweet and the coconut's not really strong. So like all that's subdued enough that you can still taste and the orange. And then you get the orange in Yeah. Huge. Mm-hmm. I wonder, I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit. Dude, I... That's really nice. I'm really digging that beer. I mean, I don't even know. I guess it is a little bit bitter, but that's really nice. You want me to crank this more or work? I think we're good on this okay. one, man. Yeah, I think we're good. I thought maybe you uh, you might no. be able to crank it more. Nah, man. All right, where are we at? We're at... You went deep. 3.25 gallons. And that is... Two empty buckets. All right. And a half. We're gonna do like a price is right situation starting now. Okay. Um, so give us your uh, best guess without going over the number of minutes it's gonna take us to- Give up. And <laughs> knock a camera over, <laughs> chop a finger off, or like otherwise make a major mistake. The stream just ends. <laughs> <laughs> Catastrophically. Yeah. So just right now in the chat, how many minutes we just cracked our first beers? I, and full disclosure, and this is not a joke, I literally haven't eaten a single thing since I woke up. Did it have black coffee and it just started working? I had a banana. And it didn't stop. And a, little bit banana. Of and a little bit of couscous. Which for me is a little. Couscous? Yeah. Couscous and banana. Not together. Like I had couscous, I had like squash, like, um, not squash, but sweet potato. For lunch? Uh, yeah, Lauren packed me a little treat. Dang. A little, <laughs> little snack <laughs> a little with vegetables. A little couscous, a little treat. Man, she little. really treated you. Yeah, today. couscous with. Yeah. Uh, what did you do to deserve that? It had couscous and sweet potatoes and some yeah. cranberries. Wow. Okay. It's actually pretty good. All right. I'll take your word for it. You wanna, can you grab that? I can't really grab it. Do we have another bag or is that the only one we have? We got. Yeah, there's one in here. Okay, sweet. Yeah, and we got two more of those. All right, man. I just feel like I need to. Keep saying I do feel better beer, after that what? sip of beer. But anyway, we got $100 uh, worth of apples, which is a literal truckload if you buy them. They're seconds. I assume that like they've, I mean, they're all bruised and stuff and there's chunks missing out of some of them. I assume they actually probably picked them up off the ground even. And then, um, and then uh, put them in a tote, rinse them off and then dump them in the back of the truck. Shout out to my buddy Drew who uh, let me borrow his truck. It was actually a Ford Lightning, never driven an all electric truck before. Dude, I was driving Drew's truck and I like pulled out on the highway, just not thinking like I'm in an electric truck Did and I kind of didn't have, off. dude, I mean, yeah, I hit it. You literally- I've never driven that. an electric car. Yeah. Have you ever, yeah, it's, it's crazy. All right, you wanna do it one more time? <clears throat> we're half a bucket. So where are we at, gallons wise or? At Three, two point and a half, three, three. Three point yeah. two five. I right. think. Oh, oh, does this 
Does this count as a mistake? This is. I feel it like the, beer, right the beer hasn't even kicked in yet. I don't think you can really count this. That had just, as, just as a mistake. went from a slow pour to. I think we'll be fine. Just. Uh, I'm thinking for betting purposes. This is not the mistake. Oh, it needs no. to be a major mistake. Yeah, someone needs to be crying. <laughs> there needs to be tears. We'll have to use the drain basket because a few got in there. But um, yeah, I'm thinking like when we transfer to the kettle, we'll, we'll just the, put the basket in yeah, there. Be fine. Yeah. Because we're going to have some spillage for sure. Dude, I need to rinse my hands off real quick. Uh, the hose is right there. I'm going to take these off. Yeah. Do you think it'll help though? Not right now. Oh, you're, no. You'd have to take the, yeah, the other take bolt the off. Out, yeah. I'm gonna rinse my hands real quick. All right. So. Shout out to uh, CH from Homebrew for Life and Brian from Short Circuited Brewers, by the way. Um, we got a lot of awesome friends, including people in the chat um, who brew beer, homebrew beer, but Brian and um, CH gave us some advice when we were kind of like setting things up for live streaming. And that's much appreciated. Made it, made it getting this going a lot easier. We've uh, been slacking on the like highly produced videos, as you can see, sort of by choice, actually. Um, we're just focused on other stuff. Getting these kegs yeah. done. Getting the kegs done, really. That was kind of like the big... The big push. Like everything changed, yeah, once we had to stop and focus solely on the kegs. But, man, so stoked about the kegs. Like, every time I use our, our new, like, finished versions that we have in the office, it just makes me so happy because they're awesome. And yeah. I think everyone's going to love them. All right. Dude, the crushing's way better than, or the, yeah, the crushing's better than the pressing. Like, more fun? Yeah. It goes a little faster. It's just, like, mesmerizing to me. Yeah. Like, just watching them go through there, I really enjoyed it. The zen out. Yeah? You had a moment of zen? Mm-hmm. Nice. All right. Seven and a half percent. Man, it does not taste like seven and a half percent. That is good. Oh, I forgot about this. I'm neglecting my beer over here. So I guess my other recommendation is that if you happen to be in and around the Asheville area, are you going to be? Number one, go to Dissolver because they have a beer on tap that we made with them. Yeah. Um, well, called Hammer Time. But they brewed it. Yeah, they rebrewed it. They've so we didn't brewing. make this particular one with them, but. They've rebrewed this recipe. Yeah. And then number two, check out White Labs. Mm -hmm. They do some really cool stuff down there. Um, they actually have like a kitchen tap here and they brew beer. They really do like flights of the same wort with like split batch with different types of yeast. Four yeast, one wort. Yeah, exactly. Which is really cool. I highly recommend that. Like every beer drinker needs to do that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's they do it really well. Mm -hmm. And then their pizza is really good and I think they use like they use a uh, the beer yeast and kimchi. The dough. Yeah, they do like fermented all kinds of yeah. Kimchi yeah, fries. they use beer yeast for the dough. They yeah. use kimchi, do kimchi fries. But um, and then the third would be uh, check out burial. Yeah, so and then get your hands on Biltmore beer if you're now. coming with your parents that are over sixty. Biltmore is and have them pay for it because it's <laughs> insanely expensive. Do you ever go go to like the winery part of Biltmore? No, no. I figured your parents would be into that. They would. But you... We but. went, and by the time we, like, got through with it, yeah. my dad's like, let's just go. Just go let's drink wine at home. Yeah, let's go get hammered on the deck, yeah. Yeah. Remember when your parents were in town uh, for, like, the first Dissolver thing? Well, they were just, oh, yeah. they just happened Randomly, to be in town. Yeah, it just worked out. Uh, they were driving through town. Here, can you finish uh, pressing this? I got to talk to somebody real quick. Uh, Kyle, uh, Kyle just dipped out, so I gotta finish. Dude, we're, we have so much stuff to do. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. 
think we're, we call in reinforcements. Oh. Dude, this is really tall. So my buddy Craig's coming over. How's Craig at uh, squeezing apples? We're going to find out. Probably really good. I'm assuming he's probably pretty good at it. Okay. Back at it. We need to not forget these tacos. Oh, we won't forget them. Did I say what time they'll be ready? No. It didn't. It like, didn't? Yeah. No, Weird. I think it's like in my email. I hate it when like you can't figure out what you ordered and when you ordered. You gotta flip oh, this dude. up first. Struggle bus. Yeah. Booze is hitting. Yeah. Uh, we are at. 4.6 gallons. Okay, then we got a, another hole. Yep. So we'll do that and call it good. Yeah, should that we? Will be, that'll be four. I don't know if I want to start heating it yet in the kettle. We'll just put a lid on it. Yeah, just put a lid on it. Okay. Dude, next time we do this, we gotta do the exact same time of year. It's, it's great, not hot, no bees. It's nice, no bees. I think we did the, the first harvest last time. And this is like the later. The yeah. later harp, because after different varieties ripen at different times. So. Yeah. They had like. They have a ton of variety. Yeah, they do. Yeah, and that kind of changes throughout the year. Yeah. We got these from Justice, J U S T U S Family Farms, I think it's what it's called. Did you get one of their apple fritters? Down in Hendersonville. Oh, yeah, dude. dude they have so like, good. yeah, they got like donuts, they have um, Every, apple everything really cider good. slushies. They didn't have anything with booze in it. Which makes sense. Or which orchard. does make sense. It's pretty. Oh, they have like a pneumatic apple cannon, which is pretty sweet. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And uh, Justice, J-U-S-T-U-S. I think we're gonna do, well, we'll do an actual video about this, like longer form video um, at some point, but they wouldn't let me film getting the apples uh, dumped into the back of the truck. I'll just say like precarious would be maybe an understatement. I was about to have a heart attack because I had borrowed my friend's Ford Lightning, like brand new truck. And uh, the way they put them in there was like, it was a process. Which is what they said before they loaded them up. They said, yeah, this is kind of, it's kind of a process. This is gonna be real sketchy. Yeah, and yeah, that's what they meant by air. I'll just do that now. All right. All right. Dude. I think once Craig gets here. Yep. We'll just maybe see if Craig can do the rest of this and we'll go home. We'll film Craig. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll turn up over to producer mode. All right, sweet. My buddy Scott was trying to come over as well, but he had to go into work earlier, I guess. We'll take all the help we can get. Yeah. All right. Hydraulic press, though. Dude, that'd be sweet, because... Rinse my hands again. I feel like you just need a hose. Here, I'm going to bring the hose over here. Yeah, I didn't want to get the cameras wet. Yeah. I want to switch it to more of a... something that's less likely to get the cameras wet. We're gonna have to switch back to grind mode here shortly. Put it over here, kind of away from the camera. Dude, this is trip hazard city up in here. Oh yeah. Brakes. Hmm. But yeah, dude, this time of year is great, what, 70? Three out, nice breeze, no bees, limited mosquitoes. Ooh, brewing an oatmeal stout. Heck yeah. What are you brewing, Kurt? I do enjoy an oatmeal stout, not gonna lie. Enjoy pretty much any stout. Unless it's like super sweet, but. I can still hang with a sweet stout every once in a while. It's 
especially if it's like on some cocoa nibs and some cocoa nut or something. Oh yeah. Mm. I think I need to tighten that screw up. We coming up? Am I too strong? Yeah, yours is too strong. Too strong? I get it. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Second Oktoberfest in the fermenter. Awesome. Oh, and you you did your cider four weeks ago? Heck yeah. It is worth the effort. No, it's fun. I think we might have gotten too many apples, but... Yeah. Because that's five gallons right there. That was four buckets. And that was like an eighth <clears throat> of the apples. Yeah. So here's what happened. We thought the press was basically going to press the juice. Like, that was my assumption. I was like, dude, this thing's rad. Yeah. It's going to do yeah, everything. I saw that. It's like, yeah, dude. That, this it, is that's what it should go down. And then, yeah. Yeah. Dude. I mean, it's not terrible, but. No. It's just going to take way long. We're going to be here like all day tomorrow. We have two presses. Oh, yeah. The other one's smaller than this one, though. I'm thinking we can. I mean, we're gonna have to. Be, we're gonna have to do it tomorrow. So. Oh yeah. I'll, somebody's gonna have to. I'll, do it. I'll come over. Yeah. As long as there's pizza involved. Yeah, definitely. All right. That's now good. I'll get real drunk tomorrow. All right. Um, oh, no doubt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Brew pumpkin ale. That would be Last a good time. Weekend. To, yeah, and that's yeah. A good time to start one of those. Yeah, and so like pumpkin ale, are people actually putting pumpkin in, or is it just like the spices, like kind of like a Christmas sale where you have like the, the holiday spices? I'm assuming it's the spices that make it seem like a pumpkin pie. Like yeah, but remember our first batch where we actually caramelized sugar. That was on good. The pumpkin. That was really good. Yeah. I knew that was, that that batch was good because I took it to uh, we canned some and I took it to a Halloween party. Yeah. And my buddy Boomer, who brews a lot of beer, and his wife, um, his lady a works in the beer industry. He's like, "You got another one of those?" And I said, "Yeah." That's sweet. That was really good beer. Yeah. That was like five years ago, probably. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Okay. Same. I'll take this. Watching the struggle bus drinking some local beer. <laughs> Are we the struggle bus? Probably. Yeah. For sure. So I'm thinking we dump that, that bucket out before just we... Out, just dump it in the compost pile? Yeah, definitely. Should we do one more round or cap it? Do we push push it to the limit? Bring it to the, bring it to the brim? Still got half a bucket of apples. Do we push it? I don't. I don't want to push it, man. Yeah, too much effort to yeah. uh, see it go on the floor. Yeah. Okay. We dump it and then we'll fill it one more up and then we'll dump it again. Dump it into the kettle. Yeah. Let's pop it in the kettle. Make sure that ball valve is closed. Where is the kettle? Oh, right in front of me. Yeah. Have, I mean, I think we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to leave it on the ground. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just and then we'll. The ball, um, Perfect. So we got the basket in here. Yeah. If you happen to be wanting to do the same thing that we're doing, we have the basket in the kettle. We're not going to be able to show it, but it's the catch we, we do oopsies. have like uh, a lot of apple chunks in that bucket. Because I, uh, I want a little aggressive on one of my pours. Yeah. If you're careful though, you'll probably be fine, but it is a little extra insurance, which is nice. Do we want to take this out? Uh, yeah, so like that, now we won't end up with chunks in the old fermenter. On the, Remember we did have, we ended up with mold in one of our um, batches. The one that we did open fermentation, I think. No, it wasn't open. No? No. Nope. Didn't we do a wild one where we didn't, pat, mm. like we just did, we just pressed it without pasteurizing it? I think we did. I don't know what the deal was, but we had chunks floating in the top and that's where the mold was going. I think we, yeah, I don't know. We did, yeah. uh, we did a few batches. Yeah. Hear that or we just, had some gross. 
Yeah. Gross, right. gross. Cool. What are we doing? Um, making cider, man. <laughs> 22 <laughs> bushels of apples, $100. Maybe 50 gallons. Well, we could probably start doing some math on this. Here's four buckets. I'm gonna say 50 gallons. Four buckets is gonna give us five gallons. Yeah, and then so we've done, do you think a tenth? I mean, it's definitely not a quarter. Like an eighth? Mm, maybe an eighth. A ninth? Maybe a ninth. Cause I took, took some off the top there in that corner. An eighth. One, two, three, four, maybe a seven. What am I, a mathematician? All right. All right. I mean, can you um, cloning crank bells? Quinannon Falls? Did I say that right? Quinine. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. I don't know how to spell or read. What's that mean? What? That word. Or rate? Oh, no, bells. Quinannon? What is it? Am I, I don't know how to spell or, or read. Saz plus Simcoe dry hops. And an IPL is freaking amazing. Nice. That's good to know. IPLs are nice. All right. I'm going to. Get a shot of this for a future video. It's a good flow right there. A heavy flow. Glasses, man. Huh? Do like half on? <laughs> it's like weird because it's bright out there, but it's not like really under here. It's like when you look out there, it kind of hurts my eyes. Got those sensitive eyes. Stop impressing for just one second. Oh, yeah. Don't you worry. 50 gallons better make it two yeast packs. I mean, I think we could just do one. We'll be fine. I mean, we're saying 50 gallons by like Monday. Yeah. We're at five right, right. now. Yeah, dude, this is this is ridiculous. Which that wasn't too long, honestly. It took. It feels like a long day because we've been setting up for. Yeah, but we, all day. Dude, we've been two hours though. Two we're two hours. hours in. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, we're not doing it the most efficient way. You know, f for the stream to make it more enjoyable. Ideally, you'd one person be crushing, one person be grinding, right? So I definitely have like apple juice in my sandals. Everything will get up there. Yeah. You're still alive? I think so. I think so. Apple juice in your sandals? Yeah. Um, well, so we're good on. We're good on that. Yeah, emptied our buckets. I'm thinking I might go pick up the tacos. Yeah, dude. And I can start grinding. Yeah, you grind, start grinding. So let's get maybe get the get that set up. Get the thing set back up. I think. Can you give this a little tilt forward or? You, no. 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 Can't. That's good enough. Well, let's yeah, go. So we'll pop that in here. Yeah, baby. So what do we got? It's like six gallons. Probably. I think? Five and a half. Five and a half, six, and that was yeah. from four buckets. All right. So we'll get the. Get this out of the way. Grind guy set back up. Get grind guy set back up. Okay. Tacos are probably the most important thing, but yeah, that's that's probably, top priority. Probably get grind guy set up first. Yeah, I'll cause... just leave that there. We'll leave it there. I gotta take the apples out. Though. Oh, okay, got it. So that way we're ready for the next batch. I'm gonna drink here then. 
trying to be somewhat proactive. Do a little compost run that you can't see, but there are yep a ton I've of got apples. A lot of apples, absolutely. And if there's any bears out, um, pasteurizing. I mean, life. well, I mean, we got all these like. And probably so the reason we're pasteurizing is because we got a bunch quick. of specialty it's pretty warm out yeast still. that we want to, I guess, see. You know, compare the results of. And if we don't pasteurize, then we're gonna, and you know, there's definitely yeast on these apples. And it's, I mean, we could just, you know what, we should just let one go on its own, for sure. One gallon. Yeah, a one, yeah, one gallon, that'd be great. Yeah. But, you know, we're gonna pasteurize so we can get like a pure culture uh, and get the pure results yeah. of. With all this effort? Yeah, totally. I'm not trying to leave it up to God. Yeah, because sometimes natural ferments sometimes work God, and sometimes, sometimes God they isn't don't. good. Yep. I mean, I would agree. And sometimes he's great. Yeah, sometimes he's just great. But yeah, uh, but yeah, I think we definitely do a gallon or two open. Not open, but just El Natural, no pasteurization. Yeah. Because those can just be one. great. Let's do one. Those Let's can be one. great, yeah. but it's like, you could just get a nasty bacteria. But you could get yeah. like a lovely, the best thing ever, so. Exactly. All right. We grab this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want of the grinder. Do we have enough cord though if we go on this side. Yeah, it will be fun. Okay. We'll be fun. That beer is good. Yeah, dude, that beer is amazing. All right. Are we going to will this be where the mistake happens? Hopefully not. We're pretty early into the game. Will I break my ankle stepping over these apples? Yeah. You good? Ooh. Oh yeah. Uh, here, lift it up. We need nope, to get as good. close as yeah. possible, right? Or no, we could slide these yeah, boards over. Yeah, slide boards over. Board slide. Oh, you know what? Dude, no. check this out. What's that? That's a risk. Yeah, you got plenty Keep of space. That board over here. in the center. Uh, were we were we living on the edge? Yeah. Dude. That's how we do okay, it. Okay, cool. So let's grab this extension cord. Get this thing fired back up. Man, when you don't eat and then you have a 7% beer, I agree, it feels pretty good. You feel great. Yeah. Yeah, it feels amazing. For probably like three hours. And why then why would you eat at that point? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you're right, man. Oh, right, we can, can come you, under. Can you hand that to me? Yeah. It's good, dude. I'm just thinking. We're increasing the trip hazards here. Oh, we're fine. It's on the ground. All right, cool. So now you can uh, pop them in from this side and people cool. can actually see you. Perfect. Back to, this is my favorite time. Apple crush time. Back to the grind. If you uh, missed the first round, Robin, I kind of like the way we did it with the bags for that because you can't fit a whole bucket's worth in. What do you mean? The way we just did that worked well. Oh, that, well, because they're small, they're like small. Uh, small bags. Small bags. They're like perfect for this. Yeah, so we, have, we have bags on our site, our website, right? We do. do. We sell bags? And they're a lot bigger. Are we bag vendors? We're bag vendors. Are we bag merchants? Do we have bags here? No. <laughs> yeah. Are we the worst prepared people <laughs> ever? Pretty much. <laughs> We're bag merchants. Yeah, we didn't have, didn't have Sam send us what's bags. What's happening here? Shout out to Sam, our warehouse manager. Kyle, what, what's wrong? Um, you might need to take, oh, oh that thing, dude, th this thing. So you just need to slide it in from, I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. So I'll, I'll you show gotta you. You gotta bring it in from the backside? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you how it's done. Because the motor's in the way over here. Yeah. Still sh shouldn't even chimed in still on that. All right. Oh yeah, dude, this is the angle right here. Where's, uh, where's everybody watching from? Just curious. All right, so yeah, that's everybody be... getting their Friday afternoon, Friday evening going. There's a big motor over here. So you just go like this, man. Just go like okay. This. Okay. Gonna do this. Yeah, okay. How am I gonna get it out? Oh, uh, we're gonna have to just take the the grinder off. We gotta go take like the that. grinder. Yeah, let's remove the grinder. Yeah. You know what? Um, I really, I actually, I don't know. Maybe take this board out. Yeah. Uh, take that like... board out. Oh, you know what happened? I put the I put the bucket in. And then I slid the board in earlier. 
which I think is what we should do. But how am I going to get that out, out the back? <sighs> oh, dude. Like when it's full? Don't you, you worry about it, man. I am worried because it's going to spill everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll take that out. We'll lift this up off. Move this out of the way. Why are we doing this? To serve a better angle? Yeah. Gotcha. You guys better appreciate this. Yeah. Dude, this is, this is my job, man. Figuring out the camera angle. We're good. So, we could move our, the table back, so we too. Need. No, dude, we're good. Trust me, man. Right. Trust me on this one. Who wants to bet these apples? I spill these apples everywhere. Just don't. Owen's from Dublin. Nice. I uh, was there for a few days this summer. Had a nice time. And then uh, proceeded to drink a lot of Guinness. It was, it was great. OK. So I'm going to crush. Yep, you're going to crush. Cool. And I'm going to go get our tacos. Sweet. And I'll be right back. I think before I do that, though, move this camera slightly. Oh, yeah. We got it, Prague. Right? Heck, yeah. We got Poland. We got Russia, Norway. Heck yeah, Utah, Michigan, Belgium. Dang, people from all over. This is awesome. California, we need, um, we need exact Colorado. addresses. Well, you, if you could just give me your Street, social security number. City, state, social security Bobby Yaps number. From Cleveland, Ohio, New Zealand. I'll be right back. Columbus, Ohio. Heck yeah, Seattle. People are from all over, man. This is crazy. Uh, all right, I'm going to start crushing. So I'm going to get lost in the Zen. Can people see? I don't think we have yeah, a. No, you're good. Do you have it zoomed in? Yeah. Yep. Is it? Yep. You're good, man. Do they have multiple? Well, multiple cameras? Yep. Cool. We're looking good. All right. I don't know what's going on. I got crush. Yes, get in there. So yeah, our buddy Ted at the Asheville Homebrew Supply lent us this crusher. It's pretty sweet. You don't have to cut the apples. The larger apples will get stuck. But I found last round, if you throw a small one in, kind of helps dislodge it. If you get it to hit it right, but sometimes you gotta pull them out. But the little guys seem to help uh, move things along. So yeah, we're gonna be crushing and pressing apples for the foreseeable future. It's actually pretty relaxing. We got some lights set up, so hopefully once it gets dark, we'll still be able to see. All right, let's see if we can get that green one out of here. Watching this is super awesome. I like it. Super relaxing. Ah, did I go too big? I went too big. Got too greedy. Come on, suck it in. Suck it in. All right, 
right, so I got greedy. And uh, we're just gonna keep tossing. May just dump the bucket? You would think so, we tried that earlier. Did not work out. There's a lot of big apples that won't fit and I'm refusing to cut apples. So, fortunately, we cannot just dump the bucket. If they were all small apples, definitely could. Um, but otherwise, it'll be a mess, so. No, it doesn't work better loaded up more. It just clogs and doesn't doesn't work but I, again this is my first day um, did not have OSHA training on it um, yeah I'm not I'm not I'm not cutting anything in half so I'd rather just play my game of throwing a big one in a little one in I really just, there's 25 bushels so I sure I don't feel like cutting cutting apples, but we may, may end up doing that, but I prefer not to. Yeah. Kyle, they're telling me to cut apples. I told them, I told them never, I'm not cutting an apple. This is my job, dude. So what, what, process one, or step one, get apples. We should have bought the cider. That would have been the move. <laughs> Good to meet you. So we just got some reinforcement. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna try and get some smaller ones in here. It works a lot better. As I say that, come on. We got a little guy. The leaves will help it. Come on, get in there. Suck it in. Come on. You can do it. I'm not even looking at my bucket. The apple's even going in it. Oh yeah. We're good. Just zoning out. Come on, little guy. Clear it out. Clear it out, little guy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude, I feel like it needs to be like on a spiral, the actual uh, knife set. Like, I feel like it needs to move like left to right or right to left. I mean, this is just like a cheap Chinese grinder. But like, if that bar moved and like sucked it in, I feel like that would work a lot better. Cause it's just like it's caught in a groove and it isn't like forced anywhere. I'm not an engineer. But I would think that would work better if it if it moved um, left to right or vice versa. Uh, I think I got a big one stuck in here. Getting greedy with my big ones here. wedged up in here. I could cut apples, but man, I really don't want to. It's just like gonna add another step and I kind of enjoy just looking at these apples clogging things up. It's kind of fun. Eventually I'll probably start cutting apples, but I'm still holding on to my dreams of not cutting apples today. All right. Fingers out of the way. Back in action. Yeah, Pro 
rotating. I'm not crazy, right? Four more teeth or something, I don't know. Bucket full. Yeah, the bucket's full. I'm gonna have Kyle uh, unload this. Are you gonna use all the apples? Our goal is probably not gonna get through them today, but we'll uh, we'll get through them eventually, next couple of days. Yeah, I don't know what your go what your plan was for getting these apples out. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so Craig, can you lend a hand? Sure, bud. All right. My buddy Craig showed up. Maybe you're gonna have to talk in because. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna lift and Craig's gonna pull the bucket out. No, you go and you grab that. No, Craig will grab that. What? You pull the bucket. Okay. So what am I doing? Just grab the the red um, thing. Grinder. And then, and then go around the other side, of Craig. Oh, look at that works. This will be easier. Alrighty. Yeah, third person definitely helps that initiative. All right, lift it up one more time. Put a new bucket on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was just thinking about tacos and completely <laughs> forgot about what we, were, what we were doing. All right, thanks, Craig. So Craig uh, came through with the power lift there. My juicer, Phillips, works better. Yeah. I mean, this is better than our last one, but I, yeah, I would maybe look at one that has like a rotating auger, but it, it's been free. It's been free to rent, to borrow, so can't complain. It works. Works way better than our other one. I just don't want to cut apples. So we'll heat it up, pasteurize it, and then ferment all of it in our kegs. Cool, man. Beer? Oh, um, beer, yeah. This is or like, beer, whiskey, mash. Yeah. this is easier from like a technical standpoint, but like, I feel like more labor intensive almost. Yeah. Then um, beer. Making beer. Beer's yeah. pretty simple because you're not like harvesting apples and then crushing them, then juicing them. True. Like it's yeah. a simple process is making yeah. juice and right. adding yeast, right? Yeah. I'm sure it'll be a, like a great cider person mm -hmm. that's probably way more involved. Yeah. But so I think we um we bit off maybe a little more than we could chew, at least for one day with the apples in the back. Oh, I mean we'll get through we'll get ten gallons. Uh, let's shoot for ten gallons in the kegs tonight. Okay. So just like four more buckets, press it off. Or I mean whatever. Yeah. I mean I'm once we'll we do half and half, you press half and I'll press or crush half, I'll crush half. Will, will you bring it if you leave those things out, will you bring it like deer or no, we like tarped it. This is a massive tarp. We double tarped it and we put a bunch of stuff on it. Oh yeah, we're gonna be here for days, maybe weeks. We got we got no uh, strict deadline here. It's uh, it's out at the office, so no one's yelling at us to move it. And we'll tarp it so we'll keep keep the animals out of it. Um, wish I had a cold one right now. Peppermint tea. Peppermint tea is good, man. North England or Manchester, right on. What beer? We're drinking a uh, burial. It's actually really good. It's a diary of rediscovered fascination. It's an India pale ale with toasted coconut and orange zest. Uh, someone's calling. I apologize, but I'm going to decline that. Um, yeah, if you're calling now, I'm sorry. Shoot me an email. We'll get to you Monday. Yeah. Dude, what's a taco sitch? You need a taco? Shoot. You need some fuel? Yeah, people are asking about the tacos. Okay. They said it's been a while. They haven't seen the tacos in a while. Where tacos from? Taco Billy. I wish I had a third mic. I would give one to Craig. Do we, do we ruin it? Um, you don't have one on. I know. Oh, I'm holding the show together over here, guys. I didn't know Kyle wasn't mic'd up. Kyle just got back with tacos. I don't even, what's in frame right now? Yeah. Me and that, right both of them. Mm -hmm. what, uh, 
lobbing the heck you. Yeah. You're nice. Dude. Heck yeah, thanks Kyle. This is gonna be good. It's starving. I'm gonna take a little taco break. You got a mic up? Yeah. How about this? I'll, um, Craig, you wanna, you wanna help me out here, man? I'll keep chatting well, with wait, him, I don't care. If, um, this is out of Where's your buddy Ross? He, uh, he's actually out in Fort Collins working for New Belgium uh, out there. Um, him and his wife both work for New Belgium and they moved to the Fort Collins location. So that's why he's hasn't been in videos, but Craig, when he comes back to visit, be, I'm sure would you be cool with we'll get mic? him in some videos. Yeah, just hanging out. <laughs> but yeah, just yeah. logistically not in the same location, unfortunately, because he's a he's the best. All right, Emmett, how about this? Take a taco break, and I'll give Craig a mic. He yeah, can yeah. ask me questions while we're doing this. Sweet. Yeah. All right. So. You guys so like an hour? Yeah. How about just clip that on your shirt? There you go. Got any camp chairs in your van by chance? I do, yeah. They're on the side. Yeah, All right. Yeah, man. So if you want to just ask me questions. Yeah, cool. And uh, I can answer. I don't know. Or, you know, whatever you want to do, man. So first question, you put the whole apple in it. Does it core it or just blast it apart? Yeah, let's just let's do it and I'll show yeah. you. Cool. So... We, I guess, yeah, let's throw this bag in here. So all these apples here, and we've probably done, I don't know, not even like an eighth of a batch yet, 100 bucks. Three of these, I got three of these for Jen, yeah. for making applesauce. Yeah. Like, these are seconds, obviously. Right, right, right. Um, I got three bags of fresh apples. They were uh, $66. Just, three Just for bags. three of those. Again. Yeah, versus nice. those, yeah. Nice. So this is yeah. kind of where it's at in terms of, like, if you're making cider. So the town I was from in Connecticut, Glastonbury, Connecticut, was an apple town. So, yeah. I mean, there was just trees everywhere. Yeah. So just you guys ever make cider? Never made cider, man. This is really cool. Is that what this machine is for, or is that used for? Um, I, I bet you can crush, or I bet you can crush any type of fruit with this. We literally went out and got this. Yeah. So our buddy Ted owns a homebrew shop here. Yeah. And he let us use this. Nice. But like this is gonna be great. So one of those big ones gets stuck. Um, yeah. So I, I think this is just like an all-purpose. Uh, fruit press. And then what do you do with the big ones? Oh, there we go. Yeah, they'll eventually get there, huh? Yeah. You got workers' comp insurance, right? <laughs> we do, actually. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right, so I see. So that's dropping down into the bucket. Yeah. The bucket comes looking like this. Man, yep. it really, it really... Then you got how long, what's the press like? Like, um, how long have you just been? Yeah, press is, um, I don't know, it's hard to say what takes longer. Basically, we like put, we put one of those nylon bags in the press. Crush, yeah, crushing does go What do you then fast. do when, when you crush it down and you get the juice? Yep. What do you do with the remnants that were there? Is there anything um, left? Dude, we're dumping them near the uh, property near line. The tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, Maybe that's what killed the tree. Yeah, that smashed that my windshield. Be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's not going to bring any animals. So yeah, exactly. Okay there. <laughs> yeah, so that's why we tarped it last yeah. night because there aren't any bears in the neighborhood. But yeah. uh, here, you probably have bears where you are, right? Yeah. 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 But there are definitely uh, groundhogs. All right. So then, then you get the liquid. Then once you have the liquid, wh what do you have to add to the the recipe to then put it in those? kegs over there so we need yeast for yep. sure i mean that's like a minimum bare yep. minimum you need some yeast um to kick off the fermentation yeah and uh, but before that we're going to pasteurize it you don't have to do that you could actually just this stuff has natural yeast um yeah you know all over it so yeah. we could just throw it in a bucket and yeah. it would just ferment on its own but you, it's like it's a kind of a wild card when you do that yeah it's not really you know, you could get, you could end up with a good batch. You could end up with a bad batch, and we have so much. I'm not trying to make a bunch of, you know, right. 50 gallons of bad cider. So yeah. we're gonna pasteurize it and then add yeast. But we also have some bags of some fruit puree that we're gonna add, yeah. and then we might even add, we might even add some hops to some yeah. of it. So like make some hop cider. So. 
are there, is there just one recipe or is that the idea with some of the different fruits and things like that? Um, essentially, yeah, like uh, there's really only one recipe, yeah. basically. I mean, it's just apples, really. And well, we are going to split it. Uh, I guess maybe I'm misunderstanding your question. We're going to split it into 10 different... Um, Ciders? Yeah, 10 different... Flavors. If we, we're going to split it. We have enough to make, I think, 10 different batches. 10 unique batches with 10 different types of yeast and so adjunct ingredients. So is it the yeast that creates the flavor? A lot of it, Got yeah. It. Right. Like, not all of it, but the yeast contributes to a lot of the flavor. Have you ever been down to White Labs? I've been there now. So they do, um, they'll make like one batch of wort and then they'll add, you know, whatever hops they're going to add to yeah. that. And then they'll split it into three or four different batches and they will add a different type of yeast to each one. And it's dramatically different. The color is different. It's wild. The clarity is different. The flavor is different. The mouthfeel is different. Um, it's pretty sweet. Like, it's pretty fascinating how that works out. Mm. So, so that's kind of what we're trying to do with this. Cool. With the cider. Yeah. If anybody's listening to me asking stupid questions, it's because no. I'm an accountant and not a, <laughs> right. uh, a learning accountant. We like to call our uh, like the people who drop in the useful idiots. Yeah, that's which is, and, and like and, and you know not a, not an insult. It's that, just like it's good to have someone who yeah. doesn't know what's going on because yeah. then you can they ask appropriate questions that yeah. other people don't ask. I guess. Oh shoot, I was on such a good roll there. So how? How much of this have you already gone through? Like, was it twice this Dude, size? Or no. No, no? no. You're just barely nipping it. Yes. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, we're, we're like, I want to say mm -hmm. we're kind of in over our heads at this point that's a little right. bit. Hey, man, that's always... Yeah. It's good to be like Which that. Which is fine. This yeah, is going to be like a weekend project instead right of a day project. Uh, there are worse things, I think, that can yeah, happen. Yeah, no, man. Yeah. Some of the best projects, you, you get in over your head, and that's yeah. when you... Were these seconds because they got them off the ground? I think they're probably they got them off the ground. I would yeah. imagine. I mean, you know, so you can see some of them are pretty rotted. Yeah. Good size. Oh, man, I was doing so well. So do? you're put, you're putting a bar on your house, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a kegerator in there. Yep. So that's why I need to learn about cleaning lines and yeah. you know what needs to go in there. You know. Are you gonna brew beer? or Are you just gonna buy buy kegs? Uh, probably just buy kegs. Yeah. That's until you start brewing it. kegs, and then I'll come over and help you brew and take some. <laughs> yeah. It takes that some, actually would be yeah. Uh, what the hell? That's right? doable I, because we end up with way more beer than we need. Right. Usually. Because mm -hmm. of how often we brew. I'll put one on put one on tap. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's gonna have two two taps, so. Sweet. Man. What's what's causing that to get clogged? I don't know. Yeah. We, but this is the first time we've used this. Right. Um, we have a there we go. Kinda had to just clear it out, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I think the big ones, there we go. Yeah. Right. I bought I bought a hand crank, yeah, and then I bought a half horsepower motor, yeah, and some pulleys and a belt, and then 3D printed a, like a link to link it all together. Really? Yeah, a couple of years ago, Dude. and built that out, which is a pretty fun project. So you're kind of like MacGyver, huh? That's yeah, you kind of have to. Be. So that's good. But uh, it's. It's in there. It's it's like it's slower. You can't really throw whole apples in it. You have to you have to you know half them or maybe even corner them. Right, right. So. Works pretty good. What's up? I said it works good. Yeah. That, that is a shit ton of apples. Though. Yeah, dude. I was thinking we would be kind of honestly be done with this part by now. <laughs> so to me, it's like you're gonna get to a point where you've you've had enough apples. Now you gotta make like a spud gun, but you gotta make one for apples, <laughs> like an yeah. apple cannon. Yeah, totally. That would. Did you come straight over here after work? You take what? You yeah, come straight yeah, over here? yeah. Yeah, I told Ledford. He was uh, he was 
run around. I'm like, hey, if you got nothing going on, man, it's like, come over to Kyle's. He goes, tell Kyle in April. I said, hello. I said, um, he had to run. He's got like, um, they've got some exchange students in from Costa Rica. See what you're saying. So we can flip it back around. Yeah, no, no. I'll just, I'll just like lift it up. Sorry, Craig. Yeah, no worries, bud. Just trying to get a little better camera angle. Oh yeah. I was like, maybe feel like just looking at Apple sitting there. So are they? Um, they're, they're just. Probably you're live streaming it, it right now. Or they're just kind of cool. Yeah. You probably get some people that give you some good recipes, right? Like. Do. Yeah. Craig, I see your bartender uh, license plate. Were you, I actually wanted to be me to ask you, were you a bartender at one point? No, no, like it's, a, it's, it? it's, a, it's a reference to a Dave Matthews tune. There's okay, a Dave Matthews it. tune called Bartender, okay, got which it. is a great tune if you're a Dave Matthews fan. If you're not a Dave Matthews fan, then, you know. Right. But. Oh, shit. Yeah. We're overflowing. Oh, sorry, man, I just tossed one in there. Nope, it's all good. All right. All right, we lifting again? Yeah, and then can you uh, pull? Lift we'll lift you pull. I feel like we had it positioned properly the first time. It's better angle. Mm -hmm. we'll now? This way. What do you mean? With it flip 180. Oh, but then, yeah, sure. Yeah. Because then you're watching the, the suck in. Oh, wow. Man, yeah, that thing. yeah, we went a little, um, a little long on that one. <laughs> Grab another bucket. Yeah, I can switch the camera around. I, I would just 180 oh, the press. The move the turn the press. No, because yeah, I'm gonna do it on this side, but um, I can move the the camera if you want. Um, for sure. I'm just thinking. Oh. Oops. Like instead of moving the camera. No, it's this one. That, uh, it's easier to get the bucket in now the other way too. Um, let's just keep rolling. Very confused. Yeah, just keep rolling <laughs> like this, man. Okay. I'll move this though. You know what would go great there? What? A dartboard. Yeah, true. Man, I haven't played darts in oh, like 20 years. I'm with you, man, but remember how much fun that was? Yeah. You want to talk about killing some beers. I played a lot of darts. <laughs> yeah. At, uh, what was that bar in college, Kyle? Oh, um, Where are you from? Hot Yeah, Tony's. Tony's. Uh, uh, I grew up in Akron, Ohio. Oh, wow, so yeah. I met Kyle at, at OU at Ohio University. Yeah, cool. How about yourself? Connecticut. Okay. So yeah, so we were up there till 2016, and then came down here for a job opportunity, and uh, moved cool. four kids at unique ages, and it it's all worked yeah. out. Yeah. So. That's always. And it's all. I mean, it's a stressful, challenging time. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. yeah. But. Uh, you get older kids yeah. Well, I moved a rising senior in high school, a rising sophomore, a rising freshman, Stop. and then a fifth grader. And fifth grader, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it was like, she's good, you know. But uh, yeah, the boys were like, what? Right. Uh, yeah. But there's just uh, great, uh, there's yeah. great people, I yeah. mean, just good. I mean, it's guys like him, you know, just solid. Yeah. I wish he was stronger and faster, though, so he could keep up with me. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's all good. <laughs> Back here in four hours. <laughs> Does he? Uh, the truth comes out. Oh, yeah. oh, we're talking about me. I thought you were talking about your kids. Oh, no, no, I was talking about you. We uh, we didn't did play as much today, man. A lot of double unders. We uh, we played basketball with Craig's kids, mm. and uh, that was when you hurt your ankle. Then I hurt my hand. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kyle and I were we were about to go on a tear, and then I wound up tearing. No, I thought it was that. It was my, my calf muscle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> just the meniscus. We're playing basketball with awesome. people half our age, yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, and I knew it was going to be bad when they're like, hey, let's lower the rim down to nine feet. I'm like, you know, this always ends bad, you know, and I haven't played in 15 years, and so it's all good. Yeah. It was fun, though, man. It was, 
Yeah. He said he was going to re, re, he was retopping his driveway. Yeah, I just went out there yesterday. Oh, nice. How, yeah. do, how, do, how does it look? It looks great. He's doing it for uh, the next round of dunk ball is going to be sweet. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I think he's doing it for what's that? Uh, pickleball. Oh, yeah, pickleball. So, wait, you, I prefer dunk ball over like 10 yeah. foot. Yeah. Because well, it I, brings it back to like being, you of know, course. In our backyard, that was, what, that was mean, the backyard move. I didn't know anybody that had a, a hoop you could lower until like I was in my 20s. Oh god! Really? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Wow. We had we had one. Akron. Akron. No one had basketball hoop. Right. Basketball we we had money. one we had one house that had a hoop. We had a hoop. It was sweet. Mm. My dad could dunk. Like straight up? Yeah. I could dunk good. a t-shirt like yeah. back in the day. Not a real ball. Yeah, it's about I, when I was 40, I could dunk a tennis ball. Yeah. There that you was go. I worked on. I'm like I'm gonna. Do cap. I'm gonna do all this stretching and wait. You know, when you're how old? On. What was that? When you're how old? Forty. When you're forty? I could dunk a. I could dunk a, a tennis ball. Oh really? Because I, I that was specifically like when I was worked on. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Huh? I could even get the backboard. Yeah. My best shape. I mean, that'd be Are a good you goal. Still streaming right now? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend giving up big codes. Right, and now's a good time to. So again, you want me to just filter advice? Hey, hey, who's a jackass in the striped blue shirt? <laughs> right. Dude, those are cool barrels over there, huh? Yeah, so <laughs> we haven't done anything with them. My buddy. A lot of advice on getting better yields. I'm like, we got so many animals, we're not worried about yields here, guys. Yeah, yields, yeah, I think we're good on yield. My buddy. Is, hey, coming out of manufacturing, that is waste, you know. And that's true. Yeah, but wait, wait. It's, it's hobby. It was a hundred dollars. No, but I know. We, we do have a fair it. amount of time in here. I'm, I'm still advocating for the um, Apple Cannon. Well, we when could have done. <laughs> yeah. Because that's feasible. So people, like that, that's actually interesting. I, mean, I never think. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So, right. So I don't so know. So how long do we will have, it have to sit in the keg? Probably 10 days. 10 days. But, um, wicked. I mean, a lot of cider will get better the longer it sits. So, what kind of proof will it, like, you know? Oh, 5%. Okay, so yeah. We're not, I don't think we're going to goose it with any sugar, so we could take it. We could take a specific gravity reading, but I would guess we're going to be in like 1050 territory. And then cider dries out pretty. Yeah. Pretty far, so it'll probably end at like 10.05 to lower, depending on the yeast, which means like not much residual sugar. Right, right. So they'll be dry. Yeah. But yeah, five, six percent. We're gonna add some. We got some fruit juice. We're gonna add to right, some. Right. That'll goose it. Maybe like seven percent. What's those. in those barrels? Uh, th those little plastic bags. Yeah, yeah. Those have. Uh, barrels are just decoration. That's cool, man. We're hoping to fill them. It's like 53 gallons. Like, Ooh. it's a lot. What, like with whiskey or make like? There, that, yeah, one's an old Biltmore wine barrel. Yeah. And that's an old Leopold Brothers. Mm. But yeah, we were thinking about doing like a big Russian Imperial Stout yeah. or something like nice. that. Uh, but right now they are empty. Ross brought those over, our buddy Ross. Um, but that's a lot of motivation right there to make 50 gallons of anything's a lot of work. What's the. Ross said, Ross texted me and said, dude, I got these barrels, man. You want two 55 gallon barrels? I said, I don't really have the space for that. I, I mean, I love it, but I have the space. And then, like, five minutes later, he sent me a picture of those barrels sitting right there. He's like, <laughs> he's like That's a, it looks, I mean, it look, ah. does look good, though. He's like, congratulations. <laughs> you now own two barrels. I think he wanted to do something with them, yeah. and then he moved. Um, but it looked cool. It would be nice to yeah, do man, something with them. Kind, no doubt. But so what would it take right in order to fill one of those? Like how, like, you know, what's the 10 times that? or Like, like six brew days. Wow. To get to, you know, 53 gallons. Yeah, so you'd have to brew, what, f I'd say five, 10 and a half gallon batches to get there, you know? So. What is that? that box down there is that the, the box at the bottom that's the controller yeah so that regulates the heating element inside the kettle so you set a temperature it'll just maintain it oh so that's for heating the, up right now or no it should we probably should yeah Kyle should we start heating the I okay yeah it'll heat pretty quick too like yeah 
we only have five gallons in there. So it's got 5,500 watt element in there. So with five gallons, it'll heat up to 170 in probably like 12 minutes. So um, yeah, I'm kind of enjoying this. I'm not, I haven't done anything in 20 minutes. That's the, <laughs> let him just keep feeding it. Um, no, that's cool, man. I, to... I do want to switch that back around so the motor's on the other side. Just to get easier access. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. I got you. Easier access. But, hey, man, I'm on break. So, you yeah. and your you break. <laughs> what are you drinking? Yeah, I don't know. You gave me like an Oktoberfest. Okay. That's pretty cool. You know, Burial, I'm guessing. Good, good light and ABV. Yeah. I, I got into last night, we. I got into some pernicious and mm. had four of them mm. and then got up and went to the gym and felt like I wanted to throw I up. can't have Dude, them. I did that wad today and I was just saying, I had four pernicious last night. And those things are like seven plus percent. Yeah. I freaking woke up like, oh man, yeah, I'm not so feeling. Eight yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what Mike Dowd yeah. said. He's like, so you had eight beers. I'm yeah, like, beers. On, a, on a Thursday night. On a Thursday night and then I got up yeah. and skipped a bunch of rope. Hey, man, I, like, I like high <laughs> ABV beers. Mm. But then it limits my right. my total. Well, I'm always I'm always searching for an excellent IPA that's like somewhere in the fives, because then you can have a bunch of them. So maybe someone will make a recommendation out there. Um, you know, I don't know. Like I, I usually, if I just if I'm sitting around drinking that the uh, Sierra Nevada hazy little thing is just a good yeah. drinker. There's a um, there, Kyle. I'll put this back. There's a brewery out of, um, I think it's Morganton. Yeah. And it's, it's called like Flora Fanta. Oh, yeah. And yeah. they've got like a, a, a hazy that's called, well, I'll be. Like, you know, like, got well, it. I'll be. And it's like like 5'8. And it's not bad. I mean, it's not too bad at all. So, yeah. 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 I mean, I like Flora Fanta. Yeah. Fanta Flora. It's Fanta Flora. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. They got into a trademark dispute with our friend, Sarah Flora. Really? So, can't Which, yeah. Which sucks all around for everybody, but uh, yeah. Such a thing. But I do like them. Like we don't have, we don't talk about them much, but I definitely drink their uh, yeah their, their beers. beers that beer sure. was good. So They're solid. Always looking for a a decent IPA. Yeah, you go down to Sierra Nevada much? Yeah, it's, it's right. It's close to me. Yeah. You know, like I can backdoor where I live, and it's like be there in seven minutes. Yeah. So it's hard not to go stand out back and have a few pints yeah. right off the draft. Right, and they got they have good music. I've seen a couple yeah. of good shows in their yeah. indoor venue. Oh yeah, you know that's a good place to go. I didn't realize last year or maybe it was year before they had the like the Warren Miller ski you know ski porn movie there, which is just you know oh, yep. get you ready for the season. Yep. Yeah. Dude, I feel like I go on good runs and then I get all jammed up. Yep. So there's got to be a technique that that we're missing, right? I don't know. Probably. I figured it out. What? The camera. What you have in the camera view isn't what's showing on the screen. What do you mean? Like it, you can see way more in your camera view than this. It's like way higher, so you can't like really see the apples going in. God, I did just switch it around because you said because you guys were standing over to my side. Um, but if you want to, here, you want to do this for a second? Yeah, I'm just and I'll, like, yeah, I'll switch that? Yeah, that's fine. People want a good apple view. Yeah. You're talking about, well, maybe they can, you're talking about the close up of that? Of this yeah. coming in here. Like, yeah. you can't see. There. Can you put it All up right. on the here's tape? the thing. I want to, uh, or here's the thing. I have had zero food. This is a nice camera. I, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this camera up here for you. Well, Go no, eat your taco and eat some. Get get it. some food in you. Yeah. <laughs> no, look at the camera and then look yeah. what you see. Yeah, I know. I see. You can't yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, I see. Apples I see. Do you have a? You got some like bricks or something? We can build a tripod. No, no. You're gonna. Well, we do have a, some you know blocks. About? I don't know. If, I, mean, I don't know if it's gonna, gonna, gonna hold it down. It on a table. Look, I'm standing back. Zoom out a little bit. Right. No, I can't. It's just that. Hand back. Hand back. Gotcha. But it's fine. We'll do it. We'll do it. For it. We're just gonna be. We're gonna be, be careful. Hurting. And this time, I'm just saying, people are gonna watch apples go yeah. through the press. Love to see the apples go through the grinder. This time, right. we're not gonna make the mistake. It's all about the grinder. That everybody thinks we're gonna make. It's not gonna happen. Drop the camera in the grinder. We're not gonna drop the camera in the grinder. It's now I see where he's getting mm -hmm. angry. Yeah, he is. Not angry. Now I see where you're going with that. <laughs> By the way, down here, like, what what do you call a like a sandwich that's elongated? 
Some people say a hoagie it, or yeah. submarine. Same yeah. like, I would say a sub. All right. Because I'm, I'm from Ohio. New England, we call it, we call them grinders. Grinders. grinders all right. Hoagies sure. and grinders. Hoagies and grinders. Yeah. Yeah. Grinders. All right. But never heroes. Heroes. Mm. Yeah, I, I grew up. I guess saying subs. Like. Subs. Yeah, we get a sub. So I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. Hey, look. All right, man. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it for you, Emmett. I'm gonna get it perfect. Don't worry. I just take, take a zoom string. It out. Look, look. Take a string, tie it to the bottom, put a 10-pound plate, and that'll keep that's it right. That's actually, like, dude. That's what Come this on, is man. for. Craig, the C, the CFO, <laughs> CEO. You. What are you, CEO? The CFO. Yeah. Craig's the CFO. I'm a finance a, guy, but a, a problem solver. <laughs> dude, looking better. I don't know. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it down, okay. man. Okay. So the curious thing would be for someone to tell us why it's jamming up so much. Like, what are we yeah. not? It needs, it needs to rotate. It's just a bad design. The auger really needs to. Yeah, it needs to. It needs to rotate. Yeah. It's just a shitty design. Yeah. yeah so, so if anybody has some advice on right, how right on. to better get the apples going through this thing, let us know. I, I personally think it had an auger that was left to Yeah. Rotate. I mean. Shoot, I think I grabbed your beer. Emma, did you finish your beer? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I was going to say, if there's a flat one. I found it. You have a big one in there. Yeah, kind of. A small one. So kind of pop it out. So the key is, if, this, if the small ones work, then we got to segregate our pile, right? I just, now if I get a big one, I'll just follow it up. You know? Right, then yeah. That's what, that's what we were thinking. That's right. why I got... Right, that's, that's why I got... We got a whole uh, chocolate of apples. See, so... Yeah, we, I saw this. It's like, it'll take 20 minutes. I know. Someone's yeah. got to advise us on that. There's, yeah, we, we're clearly... <laughs> you should be able to just... Yeah. Let it rip, right? It's straight from China. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're not going to make this... Uh, we're not going to make this mistake again. But it's really not bad. I kind of yeah. like... Yeah. Zone out watching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have a good enough buzz, it's just like, right. it's a great. Who okay. No. <clears throat> so you already did four buckets, and that's what that made as far as you pressed them, and that's the... Yeah, we got like five gallons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Shoot. Oh, yep. I just got in the zone, man. Yeah. <laughs> we were, well, clearly the small apples are the ones okay. that are the way to go. Yeah. Lift and pull. One. Lift and swap. Oh. Oh, wow. I got two Waste. Guys. I mean. <laughs> Someone's going to, oh, boy. <laughs> so it's, Craig's about to fire one of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's just. That's like two apples right it's, there. It's yield, right? It's yeah. just like. People are losing their goddamn <clears throat> minds in the comments. Yeah. OK. Efficiencies. OK. So we got... It's, a, it's our variance to standard here. Yeah, yeah, here, you want yeah, mine? Yeah, sure. Um, here, take this one with, the, uh, with this thing. We've lost viewers here. It's probably me. <laughs> so, oh, no, it's fine. I just was, didn't realize I wasn't on. All right, guys. 
Uh, I'm gonna zone out, crush some apples. Kyle's gonna, I think, eat his lunch at dinner time. Hopefully grab a couple more beers. And uh, we're gonna keep uh, grinding away here. <laughs> And uh, see what oh, yeah, happens. What it's low on ABV. Low ABV? Yeah. yeah, it'd be way more efficient to have an auger or a second set of teeth. It, it just slices. If I put a little one in, it tends to like make it bounce around a little bit. But I don't know. I might be using it wrong, but I think it's just not the most best design. Which one of these do you want to Either or, man. I'll do the hammer. Yes. Did you show the camera? I'll show the camera. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so this is, uh... He may not be able to hear you, right? Oh, yeah. He oh, yeah. Here, wait, hold on. Let's... So this is the uh, Here to Hammer. It's a collaboration we did with a uh, local brewery in town here, Dissolver. Um, it is a hoppy... It's an IPL, right? An IPL yeah. lager? Yeah, IPL. Um, really good. We, we, there's, we have a video on it where they brewed it, we brewed it. Theirs was way better than the one we brewed, but ours is good. Yeah. But they. Uh, our seal. Um, we were testing gaskets in our. We camp. were in the process of testing gaskets, which probably wasn't the move on that beer, but it was still really good. All right, let's fill one more if bucket. If you cut it in half, I'm not cutting anything in half. We'll be here all night, watching big apples in this press. I refuse to get a knife out and cut apples. Yeah, let's just do like another bucket, we'll press it, and then we'll like start transferring. The next person that says to cut apples. <laughs> yeah. Why is that what you're saying? We'll, we'll, we'll... Oh, they've been saying it for hours. <laughs> I just, I just yeah. refuse, I'm sure it would be quicker, but. I'm, I, I'm, I'm thinking this, let's fill one more bucket, yeah. we'll press them, get it in the, um, in the brewer. The brewer. Start heating it up. Heat it up. We'll cover Pasteurize these. Pasteurize it, cover the stuff. Come back. Get some stuff in we'll the can, get some stream. stuff fermenting. You guys can. Yeah. You guys can. Yeah, let's do that. Live stream it up, but I'm just joking. But yeah, it would be more efficient to cut them, but yep. I'm just being stubborn. And I'm not good with knives. My mom, my mom won't let me use them. If anybody says to use a gosh darn knife. What if they said you knife with those? With the, uh, with our other, other grinder, uh, we definitely had to cut everything in like quarters almost to make it work. But yeah, maybe um, when we come back and finish the rest of the apples, maybe that'll be step one is we'll just go through and cut them. It's not set up right now to cut apples. So maybe we'll just go through and do the little ones now. But we can we can definitely uh, cut some. I think a lot of those bigger ones we're definitely gonna need to cut. I think that's the biggest size that will like easily go through. And there's some that are like the size of golf or grapefruit. Uh... April's more of a wine wine drinker than a beer drinker. So I did make some uh, bad wine for her a while back. More of a wine drinker? Yeah, April's definitely more of a wine drinker. Yeah. Your wife? Yeah. Mm. My wife. Yeah, I, I, I would say most w women that I know in my personal life are bigger wine drinkers or yeah. spirits drinkers than beer drinkers. Yeah, my wife's a vodka. Yeah. Vodka? Or, or, or less less calories, better better bang for the buck. Yeah, she's there not you a go. big red wine person. I'm a beer person. Yeah. I feel like, I like red wine, but I think. Dude, you have the little Craig, guys. Craig is getting the efficiency dialed in with the. Uh, he's a, he's a little apple man. He's little he's apples. getting the little yeah he's getting the good mix the apple mix. Even with the little ones, you can't get too crazy. Take less time yeah. cut in half. Not doing it. Yeah. Not today, maybe tomorrow. For some reason, I just kind of like enjoy watching them not barely get crushed for some reason. Oh yeah, 
pretty sweet. Dude, Craig is getting all the little apples, which is awesome. Craig, Craig the sea level. And, Look, I'm uh, listening. <laughs> I'm just doing nothing but, but listening to the, the advice, right? Sometimes the best advice is to listen. He said he's listening to the comments dude. that say Man. start cutting them. He's like, I'll do one better. I'll just yeah. pull the little apples. I agree. So you got a little bunch of little guys in there? Put some little handful of big guys in there? Yeah. I'm shying away from the big boys. Okay. We're just going to leave them behind. the trouble to design and build knives into a machine that it would actually cut and press. I mean, it should come out of there into a, like a, some sort of like centrifuge or something. Right. I'd pay more to get it for free for the weekend for my right. buddy. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hard to argue with free. Yeah, it is free. And it's way better maybe, than what we use. Maybe this is the next thing we need to work on. Yeah. An apple, uh, like a fruit. For like a yeah, that actually processes fruit in a way that yeah. All right, so in case you're just joining in, we got 20 bushels of apples. We're grinding, then we're gonna crush, and we're probably gonna do about 10 gallons today, and then we'll uh, be back to uh, do more. That sound right, Kyle? Yeah. Uh, we're, yeah. We're getting close, man. Getting close? Yeah. Come on, get in there. See, the little guy will disrupt the bigger guy. <laughs> the, dis the disruptor apple? Yeah. You get the little guy in there. He gets thrown around. Disrupts right the big first. guy. All right. <laughs> it's, a, it's my method. <laughs> He's got a system. Little, got little a guy, system big guy there. method. I think three more and we'll be full. God damn it. Oh, dude. Like that shouldn't look, like it's yeah. just slicing at this point. Yeah. You're not a grinder, you're a slicer. You know what, this, the, um, here's the you, thing. The blades need to be like tilted. Yep. So it's pushing, you're not supposed to put them on you know what side, I mean? Right? Like they're pushing. Uh, we've tried that, we way. could try it again, but that. I mean, if it rolls and it's. Maybe. Bringing it under and then it's slicing it back through this. Do you want to try it? I've tried it. We tried it earlier, but I went with a lot of apples. Yeah. So watch it be user yeah. error this whole time. That's doing it's, the it's same the, thing. It's the skee ball method. It's a skee ball method. Let's try it. No? Is, I don't know. Is this beginner's luck, Craig? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> is, is, is it fixed? <laughs> <laughs> What's the? I, I think it's just beginner's yacht lock. So I think as it's pumping it up Pretty against well. it, it breaks it apart. Yeah. It breaks it apart on the other side, you know. Well, we'll have to do another bucket to find out. Yeah. <laughs> we will. All right. Are Luckily, we, are we, we have. With this. This bucket's full. Okay. So yeah, yeah full bucket. Uh, yeah, full sure. bucket can't. Was it? Full bucket. Do we have an empty bucket? Uh, I think just, we're done. Let's just press oh. this stuff, yeah, oh, for yeah, sure. Nice. Oh, I think we're done done with that for the moment. Uh, so we're done, we're done grinding. Yeah, let's get the, yeah, unplug that thing. Let's move it out of the way. We're going to start. Um, we're going to. Can you grab that side of it, Craig? Right here? Right here? Just like that side of it, yep. This right here? Yep. And we'll take it over here. Set it on the ground. Unplug or? Yep. Yeah. Am I doing anything? No, I no. <laughs> there we go. That was awkward. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was looking good while doing were, it. Yeah. All right. So, um, what a shitty crusher. Yeah, it's not the best. <laughs> we don't have a license to use it. Yeah, we're we're idiots. We're funny, uh, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This guy gets it. He's like, he doesn't want to cut them in half because he's lazy, but even though it's going to take him more yeah. time. Okay. He gets it. So let's get, let's get, uh, let's get some press going. So if you want to like put a bag in there, I'll get this camera set up. Oh, the bag, I see. Yeah. The goo. 
The juice, the juice. The juice. The juice. The juice. All right. So how did this whole uh, today come about? <laughs> Kyle. Dude, okay, so I literally bought four bags, like four of the small right. bags of apples. And I was gonna just, Which that been was gonna be our whole day, those four bags. It would have been great. We would then be. Emmett said, Ted at the homebrew shop said that we could have the crusher for free. And I had seen the crusher down at the homebrew shop and a I couple sent you weeks a picture. ago. I was like, this seems yeah. sweet. I was like, all right, dude, I mean, that changes things. We'll just, we'll just like. I thought Back we were just gonna be, I thought we were literally gonna be crusher. dumping them in. But, but did you yeah. really just, like, did you run to like a fruit stand and be like, hey, I wanna make some cider, give me four things of apples? Or did you, like. No, I went down to, uh, I went down to Justice Orchards this weekend uh, and I, I asked for some seconds. And the dude, I think he's actually the owner of the, um, the orchard, said, hey, you know, if you come here with the truck, I'll give you a whole truckload for a hundred bucks. Like, okay, I'll, th I'll think about that. And then Emmett sent me the picture of the uh, the crusher and said, "Ted, and that's yeah, where the mistakes it. all happened from and there. It was just yeah. downhill from there." I do. We do appreciate Ted giving us this. Oh, dude, no, it's sweet. Yeah, that's, that's, it's it, it, it actually is. And these, better, it's some of these apples, crusher, these apples are the size of grapefruit. Some of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the good news is, right, is you're you're giving the feedback to Ted. Yeah. On how things. Oh gosh. What do you need? Yeah, we just need, or dump uh -oh. those uh, dump those apples out there. <laughs> Forgot yeah. what we were doing. We're going to juice mode. Juicing all over the floor. Yeah. I'm just glad the bees aren't out. Yeah, no. We did this last year, and uh, oh, so you've done this. Before. Yeah, oh. but not not with this many apples though. Gotcha. Nobody got hurt or anything like that. Nobody got hurt, but um, they were definitely. A lot of, uh, there we go. There are a lot of bees. There is a lot of bees. Yeah, this is nice. This time of year, what is it, October? October, yeah. What's this, a weekday? Friday. <laughs> you out looking for a job like that on a weekday? <laughs> you, get, you get one more chance. <laughs> I guess it is a weekday. All right. Lebowski, so, anybody? So this is the second, this is the second uh, step, Craig. Of, I would say step maybe. Two. Step one, crush. Step two, press. Step, step three, pasteurize, pasteurize if you want to. either by heat or with yeah. chemicals. Or don't. Step four, ferment. Step five, carb package and carbonate. You yeah. add water or anything like that. It's you could, I mean, so. It would maybe, dilute it. Dilute it. If you added water, it would just make well, it yeah, less alcohol. You, honestly, you would, you would do the opposite. You would add more sugar. Got because it. if you want the, the AB, like this will be maybe. Probably 5%. Yeah, like 5%. Five and ABV. a half, maybe. But you're, you've got to then fill that thing up to fill all those, right? So you need as much. Uh, we're just, whatever we get, we right. get. We'll yeah, yeah. So we just cleaned enough, so right. we're ready. So we have 10 kegs cleaned and ready, but if what we only need beer, oh. we'd ferment beer in there. Oh. Or you could you serve. Beer too? Yeah. Yeah, it's mainly. Primarily we typically beer. brew beer. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Kyle, you been? guys must be good friends. Uh, you know, I, I, you didn't know that I brew beer? I'm like, how long have I known you? I did, yeah, I've never seen a keg or an invite. Or uh, <laughs> well, he doesn't drink it. <laughs> he just brews it. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean... Are you, like, shooting in there? Just to see that? You getting that sweet stream? That looks pretty good, man. Dude, get a healthy stream. That's what we're shooting for. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, Craig, we're, we're actually about to start distilling. With not this. We're not distilling this. No, not this. But um, with uh, Asheville Brewing Company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaw? You know Shaw? Oh, yeah, yeah. Shaw, who owns a little jumbo, is um, starting a distillery with Asheville Brewing Company. And they have one of our stills downtown. So we're, we're about to start like distilling some stuff. Just like, it would, it, that's gonna be their pilot system. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Sort of. Um, which which would be, be pretty sweet, yeah. Be good so to I have a... a question. What's that? Okay, so distilling is the equipment, right? Distilling the equipment is a process, process, right? It's a, the process of turning, yeah. like, distilling would be the process of like turning a fermented <sighs> alcoholic product into, a, into, a, into a spirit yeah okay. so 
you know, if you if you made cider, fermented the cider, and then distilled it, that'd be a brandy. But if, so if you're saying, hey, we're about we're about to do some distilling. That would be the process of yeah. So you distilling, process, you know what I mean? Like, or is it your equipment? You know what I mean? No, I mean distilling is a process. Like the process is of your your heating liquid. You vaporize it. Really, what you're vaporizing is ethanol. Yeah. You're running that through a condenser, which condenses it back into a liquid. Yeah. And then you, but you leave the water behind. So right. the, so ethanol. But like in other words, but I'm trying to understand, what's your when you're saying, hey, we're going to work with them, like, what exactly are you Oh, doing? got is it. Is it your, hey, we're providing the equipment? Or is oh, it, you know, sure, 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 yeah. Or, or we're doing the Yeah, work, what are right? we doing? So we sell, yeah, sorry. So we sell distillation equipment. So like right. small scale distillation equipment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So yeah, it'll, be, it'll be, be bigger. No, it'll be small scale basically for test batches. Yeah. Um, so getting, they'll use get, our, kind of getting things dialed yeah, in. Yeah, they'll use our still for like test batch type stuff. But gotcha. they're going to have a larger still for making, you know, production oh, runs. Yeah. Because they're going to, so actual, um, for people watching, the, the distillery is going to be Ninja Spirits. It's right behind the um, Rabbit Rabbit. Oh, nice. So in the building up behind it. The t-shirt shop. So yeah, they're going to distill there and then they're going to use that. The product they're gonna actually sell it. You're gonna be able to buy it at Rabbit Rabbit and other places as well. Yeah, but you know, like that's a lot. Like our stills are this big, right? So their stills gonna be massive. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be yeah. a huge sell. Like you know, a couple, a hundred, couple hundred gallons oh, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. or maybe I mean, a thousand stripping, gallons. The stripping still yeah. could easily be a thousand. So, yeah. But so the beer you brew, I mean, is that just for pleasure? Or what is that? Yeah. So our so that kettle there is our brew system. Yeah. Um, and it's all that, that is our biggest beer kettle there. So like once a year, you're just like, all right, I'm just gonna brew some beer and fill it up. Mm -hmm. What do you do with it? Oh, uh, once a year? No, we do it like once. Like typically, you would maybe brew once a month, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's our biggest kettle. That's that's a 20 gallon kettle. You can you can oh, brew shit. 10 gallons of beer, yep. and which is. So is it just purely for consumption, or is it just for testing? No, yeah, we don't sell anything. It's just like to drink. Yeah, it's a beer to drink for us. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so the thing like this beer with that we did with um, Dissolver. Yeah. This is just we made a video with them. This is their beer, they sell it. Yeah. We collaborated on the recipe, but we don't make any money on like yeah, selling yeah. the beer. Like that's their yeah, but deal. The recipe part of it, right? Yeah. Because cool, then you know yep. like, hey, this yeah. beer, it tastes good, like Yep. So yeah, we cool. awesome. we shot the video of, you know, us we we like we brewed it on our system at their brewery while yeah. they brewed it on their system. And you can get it on tap. We put the recipe on our website. So. I mean, it's, it's not as cool as being an accountant, but I mean, it's, it sounds Dude, cool yeah. Being, a, being an accountant is, I'm sure, way <laughs> cooler. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. I like that. I like that. Yeah. All right. You know, it was sprinkling out there. Here, you know? Yeah, so those oh, yeah. are our kegs. We. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. What do you need? I thought I lost my beer. Found uh, it. Yeah, those are our kegs. They're they're keg fermenters. You typically don't ferment the kegs. You just serve out of kegs. Right. But um, we we actually do ferment in kegs. It's kind of a nice thing to do that What's has advantages. Like, once you put it in there, is it thirty days? I mean. Like yeah. So it just it depends on what you're fermenting. An L is going to ferment somewhere between seven and ten days. Mm -hmm. um, the cider is probably going to be done in seven to ten days. But ideally, you wouldn't drink this for like a year. Yeah. So I, I brewed a saison cider. Yeah. Um, I don't know a couple years ago, and it was it was like perfect a year into its really? journey, basically. So considering we've yeah. been invited for beer, you think in seven days when this is ready, he's going to invite me over for cider? Dude, nope. Okay, you're <laughs> <gonna> say, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, he he keeps his drinking buddies and his workout buddies separate. <laughs> he doesn't like to intermingle. He's like, I don't know. I hope these guys will. You like each other, the dirt bags and the non-dirt bags. I don't, I don't know. It's funny that he didn't know you. Craig, sold you know hey, he sold brewing. You know or he just, I or Craig just didn't listen. I, I did, I did. I'm like, I, I kept asking, like, well, clearly, if you sell this stuff, you gotta probably do something with it or know yeah. how to do something with it. Like, 
Just wait for that. Oh, we, we're just selling this in the. <laughs> we're gonna sell this in the street. Yeah. Right. Honestly, man, our cake. We got derailed with our cake. We made a mistake in the design and had to um, redo a bunch of stuff. Okay. Yeah. So typically we brew a lot more wheat. I mean, right now we have zero beer on tap. None. Nothing drinkable on tap right now. Typically we have like 40 gallons of beer on tap. And that's because we've been just focused on like redesigning those kegs. So that's a design. That's your design. Yeah. So it's a. Hold on. Oop, we good? It's just a standard keg, but we it's but we oversized it, and then we we designed a tri clamp lid with a bunch of specialized fittings for fermentation. Yeah. So that means this is dual use. You can you can um, so ferment the, and you serve. Have taps in there. Yeah, we have taps out straight. Yeah, he'll show me. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> show you once you drown. Right. It's like. No, no. Didn't I tell you about that years ago? You must have forgot. Right. <laughs> That's how it goes. I was like, man, you guys are, you're grilling me here. Oh, so wait, we're you just should, asking. Um, let's put this down. Uh, I, I think you, it's fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. We're already in it. This is a good, uh, it's a good test. A good test. Yeah. We're already in it. I feel like. Oh, it's raining. If I had that plate, I'd be worried about getting pulled over. I know. Bartender? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go. I'm going to give like that dude's on his way to work. Put it like right here on your sleeve, man. Oh, my sleeve? I'll hold it. How's everybody doing out there? Uh, I think, uh, what do we got? Three more buckets, and then we're gonna pasteurize. I'm gonna try and crush four or five more beers. Go to bed. <laughs> there you go. Time to get up and do it again. Good Friday night. Yeah. But yeah, I'm thinking, I don't know, another half hour squeezing and then Heat up, cool down. Oh, what what temperature does it have to get to? Pasteurization, pasteurization is what, like 160, 170? Yeah. So I think we'll do 170 just to be safe. I don't know if people can hear me if I wear that without the, uh, oh, God. the cat too. The little fuzzy thing that hits my beard. You go to the gym with Kyle, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Good, good. Get in there. You, want, you want this one with yeah, the... Yeah, let's swap. Let's swap. Oh, you are. <laughs> Get on in there. We got it. Oh, Kyle, man. Yeah, uh, athletes here. Let right them, on. Uh... All right. So, uh, what is it, 530 Eastern? People still at work, you guys at home? It might be towards the end, yeah. too. Kyle Burns, awesome man. Glad you enjoyed your first brew on the system. What do you uh, what do you brew to break in our brewing system or your brewing system? I guess. Looks like the blades are on backwards. Very possible. Ooh. We should look into that. That's that's yeah. That could be huge. That could be a thing that I didn't even think about. Yeah. We'll have to check that. Is anybody, uh, anybody still out there? I feel like I'm talking to the void. You can blame that one on me if nobody's following me anymore. Uh, I, I mean, we've only anymore. done a couple live streams. I still really don't. Fully, not really versed in it yet. It was sprinkling out there though. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of random a little bit, but I think we're fine. Afternoon. Okay, it's the afternoon there. Very nice. Cool, people are still here. We don't have our like monitoring computer out here, so just making sure. But we are making progress, which is all you can do. Sweet. Um, I watch it. Take one of those out. Sweet. Toss this in the compost. Just started sprinkling just a little bit. It actually feels kind of good. We haven't had rain in, I feel like, a month, month and a half. So mm -hmm. actually it'd be nice to get. Roll up my windows. So the bleeds. Hmm. 
windows are up. All right, how many more do we have? Buckets? Yeah. Two and a half, three. Two and a half? Sweet. It, this one, this isn't gonna spill off that, it, or... Uh, What's that? I was gonna say, like, this bucket isn't gonna... I hope not, that'd be it. real sad, wouldn't that's it? Why I'm, that's why I'm saying is, I feel like... <laughs> it was a little on the edge there. Yeah. That'd be a sad, can that you imagine one, yeah. getting it? A, oh, man. I'd just go home. Right, at that point. Clean up tomorrow, down, call right. it good. All right, so. Great, you're crushing about one, man. You're hired. That's it, I'm, I mean, I'm good, man. I'm gonna ask a lot of dumb questions, but I learn, you know, I'm 50% Polish, so that's probably why. <laughs> I'm sure our Polish viewers will appreciate it. Yeah, that, that's it. Hey, look, I'm, I'm half proud, <laughs> proud of it. Not, nothing wrong with that. Family's from Chicago. A lot of good people there. I was just there a couple weekends ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good stuff. Boy, that's wild how it already, it just flowed. Immediately. Yeah. Yeah, good call. I don't know if it makes any difference, honestly. Yeah, I don't know, man. It probably... I guess if you're tr trying to limit waste, <laughs> like, I mean, as, like, how did you, uh, oh, weird. Yeah. yeah. What'd you do? Just, I just leave it loose. Yeah. Just crank it down. We're not worried about the safety department showing up. Word, huh? It's funny when, um, you start doing these projects. Yeah. And then you go back and watch it and Kyle will be in it for like 10 minutes. He's always like, Putt something, jumping dude, dude, he's just it's doing like, something in the background. Himself. Yeah, that's good. That's probably why he said he doesn't, didn't mention he brewed, because oh, yeah, yeah. he's here sometimes. <laughs> that's all right. Yeah, but he's, he's the cameraman. What well, is a cool, dude, that, it's a cool production. I'm not right going to lie, man. Yeah, that's a good flow. Heavy flow. That's what we call I'm that. Gonna, I'm going to say healthy flow. Healthy flow? Yeah. Did you bolt this thing down or it just yeah, it's in there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got you clamped it. That sounds like after a heavy night of drinking right there. Heavy good. Yeah, the one thing that we really haven't kind of mapped out fully with this is the, the press. Do we need to do hydraulic? For sure. Because it would hydraulic just sure. dude. Yeah, with a foot clamp that you just push down on. Oh yeah. Sure. Because you really have to and it might a lot of trouble to brace it yeah. and get it leaning right. Dude, know, I mean, a couple of people said they use hydraulic presses in the chat. Really? I was like, send me some pictures. Yeah, right. Because you just put like your foot on like, it's like, zzz, dude, zzz. and like 12,000 pounds. And a hydraulic press is not going to be that expensive. No, no, you can get a Harbor Freight for like yeah, exactly. 200 bucks. Right. And I could change the bearings in my, in my wheels. But with the idea of what though? Just efficiency. He's create, but you're, but again, you're, are you creating like product video. video. Oh, just video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And cider for ourselves. But yeah, you yeah, cider, cider it just, you know, I mean, content. It's, you know, yeah. Try to try but something if different. If you're doing it at home, it's just it's yeah. easier. Yeah. You know, it's going to be Heck a lot yeah. easier. I think I think it makes sense. Cuz this thing probably costs This thing probably costs yeah, that 150, was not, 200 yeah, bucks. that wasn't cheap. So I feel like, you know, at Harbor Freight, you're yeah. going to be able to get something oh, yeah. making your That's not sweet. that yeah. more that much more expensive. Right. That's going to Save Maybe a ton of time. Save you a lot of time we'll and headache and stuff. We we'll figure out how to crush this many apples quickly. Right. Then you think about it. Every year you buy a hundred bucks of apples. And you exactly. Get it done in an afternoon. Every year yeah. it gets a little more efficient. Yeah, yeah. Right. This is the biggest we've ever gone scale wise. And we didn't really plan too far in advance, really. We didn't plan far in advance, and we also. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have mattered. He wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, yeah. We, we. I just assume that thing was gonna. calculated. I think on the the, the grinder. Yeah, the crusher. Yep, absolutely. Hoagies and grinders. Yeah, to the left, all the way into the left. I think that's good. You wanna give it a squirt? Sure. Oh yeah, baby. Oh. What do we got? Oh. I do this with grapes at my job. Definitely a labor of love. Oh. All right, man. I think. <laughs> Thanks for watching, saying, guys. Is the juice worth the squeeze? I is the juice worth the squeeze? Yeah. That is a saying. We've uh, reached that point where it's not really worth it anymore. When you're straining a hernia. Yeah. 
I mean, 10 gallons of liquid. I mean, that's not bad. I like this part right here. That's, you know, I know, that's it is nice. Uh, yeah, where are we at, the liquid wise? Homework and chilling, sweet. 11.37 p.m. in Krakow, nice. Getting ready for a nighty DD and drinking beer at my local brewery. Heck yeah, man, that sounds sweet. Hang out with Ross. Yeah, I mean, I give, I'm assuming this is way more efficient like ways people are doing this. But this isn't bad. No, it's not. Casual little afternoon. Yeah. All right, dude, this is pit crew efficiency right here, man. Not on that one. Ellie? Uh, yeah, she's cool. I mean, I mean, just to be honest, like on the other side of the house, it's like you, it's a like straight up crack house. <laughs> so, she's she's cool with whatever we do over here, which is not what they're doing over there. <laughs> yeah, like they're literally selling drugs. So. <laughs> The crack house? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. All what right. type of yeast okay, are we going to use? Like scoop that out from the other side. We're, we're going to have 10 or 11 gallons probably done um, by wanna, when we quit it. tonight. Um, so realistically, I think we'll probably get close. 40 to 50 gallons would be my guess when we're done. Um, we'll keep working on this, chipping away at it, yep. but we're going to do, oh, I think we're going to do like five, one gallon oh, fermenters fine, like with five different yeasts, five, five, uh, five of our six and a half gallon kegs filled with five and a half gallons. And we will use another five yeasts. So that'll be 10. Um, Dude, you want to crank? Yeah. And then, yeah, we'll just see how much juice we have. But yeah, we have like 15 different yeast strains that we're going to use. We're going to use the uh, the new claw hammer yeast that we did in collaboration with White Labs. Um, so that's definitely going to be one of them. And if you keep an eye out on our newsletters and the YouTubes and all that, we'll we'll let you guys know information to pre-order that yeast. You got to order it directly from White Labs. Um, but it should be pretty cool. Um, cold, What's getting cold out, but yeah, so we'll be we'll definitely using that claw hammer yeast, um, that we did a collab with white labs with, um, and that can be done under pressure or non-pressure. It's made for loggers, but I know we're not being chased by wasps. It's, it's actually great. Heck yeah, man, Anthony, you've been watching for a long time. If you've been watching since the still kit videos, that's been a hot minute. Heck yeah, man, that's awesome. But yeah, so we're going to be using a bunch of yeast, which is which is exciting. So years ago, and I think this would be before you were here, but him and his wife, Lucia, started this, they opened a theater called the Magnet Theater. It was a bar... And Where was so it? Tiny Little Theater is down on Depot Street, okay. down in River Arts. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Oh, it's really cool. Like yeah, down. I think they actually maybe have up three of them. Hey, you know, I, I, you know what? I when it was in there for like one of um, one of our employees like would do like love to act, and they go with, like do improv there. Yeah, it's a cool spot, yeah. man. Yeah, because right next to that, they got to be one. Scott Wallace played that little goblins and ghouls shop, right? It's oh, like yeah. right there, I think. Yeah. Super cool. I haven't uh I haven't seen one of his shows yet, but you gotta do it. I know. You gotta go, you gotta support the cause. Yeah. Come in again, Support the cause. What's that? As long as cows might be going He's not even telling people about the beer, apparently. Dude, now I know. Where... Well we haven't had any beer in the last Six months. Yeah, I mean, now, this now is. I know where the office is. Yeah, I don't even know. Right? I'm just kidding. I'll see him like, oh yeah, I'll be at the noon class. He'll be working out. He'll be in the building. my growler. <laughs> I, I think this is the first time. I, yeah. Um, now I want you to keep it. But you have the 
Oh, sure. I think this is the first time probably since we started brewing beer that we've had zero beer on tap. Like, literally, we have nothing drinkable right now. We could, but I've just been lazy. Well, I mean, it, well, it's, a, it's in, in for manners. Yeah, we just got busy doing other stuff, man. And, we just, and like, it's been honestly, hot. Been, and I had, this summer, I haven't been, been working been, on the cake project. And I haven't been drinking as much this summer, which has been good. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I kind of, I mean, during the week, I feel like when I'm in town, whether we're a brewer is independent of how much we're brewing. But if we have beer on tap here, I tend to drink it. That's true. Right. So I haven't been like yeah. motivated to put it on tap. I think, sure, okay, yeah. The honestly, we've just been busy with the kegs, yeah, so. That's good. But you know, typically we'll have, I mean, literally like we have eight taps in there. You probably just saw them when you were in there. Yeah. And then we have a couple of different fr er, fridges that we can put um, like five gallon kegs in. So, as I mean, we, like I think we have some of the dissolver beer. keg left, maybe. Oh, no, yeah. What, what, no, what's, in, gone. what's in, there's some weird stuff. Yeah, we got stuff nothing, in. yeah. Um, so I, I tend nothing. to notice, like, right when you, when a, per, a brewery first pops up, like, the beer is, you know, I'll use the term immature, right? They, they're still learning, right? Sure. And then the ones that are more seasoned, you know, now it's got a better taste to it, right? So And they probably yeah. have lab money yeah, at that point. But they're learning, right? They're learning yeah. how to, yeah. Like, Definitely. So where do you put your beer in that? Like, is it mature as far as your brewing ability? Or I mean, immature? it depends beer to beer. Yeah. So he was asking yeah. where, like, our beer stands compared to, like, a, a good brewery. established brewery. Yeah. yeah. Like, are we a brand new brewery that's just opening, getting their feet wet? Yeah. I mean, for me, I would say it, I've had beers I brewed where I've been like, I, I'd put this toe to toe with that's a awesome. brewery. I've had some where I'm yeah. like embarrassed yeah, yeah. by yeah, yeah. because something goes wrong. Yeah. I, think, I think it's a good, probably, um, it's a good reference point to how most people, home brewers at home, probably experience yeah. their beer. It's a, sometimes your beer is great, but then other times life gets in the way. Because our primary, you know, if we were brewing at a, a brewery, right. our primary focus would job. be brewing the best beer. Right, that's but your our, only job. Yeah, like we have, like, you yeah, know, but, we but don't maybe, sell the beer, we sell the equipment. So no, our, no, but our primary focus is making sure we have the equipment, it works well, we're making new stuff, you know? Kyle's making excuses we, right now I was gonna say, for a no, shitty beer. But I was going to say, yeah, there you go. But, but no, no thought of, like, downstream Oh, God, no. Or anything God, like, no. Like, no. Brewing, brewing beer? No. You crazy? Like, oh, yeah, no, just, no. no. You yeah, out of your goddamn mind? No, maybe maybe distillery. Maybe someday distillery. That'd be it. Dude, I mean, I, I have a lot of a, I have a lot of friends that yeah. own breweries and work at breweries. And, yeah, yeah. Dude, it is insane. Wow. It's insane. I mean, it's great. Yeah. It's super cool, but I mean, it's it's a hustle. Okay. For okay. sure. But yeah, uh, yeah. And I, I don't no, know. no. I was curious. Out of curiosity. No. But it, yeah, you know, you, I like that idea of a distillery, right? Because there's a few spirit places, but not a ton, right? It's still fairly. It's I mean, not as saturated. Uh, distilling is not as saturated. It's as not as saturated. Why not? Yeah, and I mean, we've been saying that for ten plus years, yeah. and it's more saturated now, obviously, than ten yeah, years yeah, yeah. ago. But um, I think we're both more intrigued by the distilling side in a commercial sense yeah. than than the brewing. I mean, brewing's great, and I really enjoy it, and I have a lot of friends yeah, in it. Yeah. But it's also like, I mean. When we did that collab with Dissolver, it's just like looking at their production board and then like, you know, the transfer board, like what's going into a fermenter, what needs to be packaged, where is it going? And it's just like, dude, list of like this brew day, this brew day, and then you have to transfer the beer. And then yeah, if yeah. you have one beer go wrong, like your whole schedule is like screwed. Yeah, like yeah, let's say you have an infection, so, which they that's, obviously that's not them, they don't. But. You know, I wonder, you're using the same equipment, right? So it's like, you know, I've worked in the paper industry and they should talk about a color wheel. Like you don't like start with like, hey, I'm doing black today and then white tomorrow and then black and right. Like you follow this wheel and, and kind of build on your. Tip, color, yeah, right? you'll so start lighter, see, go darker. Right, and I can see where to your point. Like if something gets screwed up, yeah, like it impacts. Yeah, because typically, like with yeast, you'll start with the lighter, <laughs> then move to the darker. Because once you use a, once you use a yeast on a dark beer, yeah, yeah you're yeah. gonna get a lot of flavor carrier. Like you wouldn't want to go back to like a light lager. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So that's, that's, yeah, so that's yeah, if you have an issue yeah. in the middle, yeah. but yeah, it, it seems. It's really cool, but, um, and the breweries that do it well, man, it's it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. We're, the, we're the beneficiary of people who are busting yeah. their ass. Yeah. And just mm -hmm. good drinking. way smarter, good lab, good QA. Yeah. Yep. Just yeah. thinking outside the box, do I think, have, too. I mean, so do you have a, a product that you distill that you like the most? I'd be like, oh, I focus on water. No, I'll focus on black. <laughs> <or> <laughs> 
Like, what's the... Well, distilling, unfortunately, is not legal uh, for the home hobbyist. Right. No, but so, if you were to, like, open... If I, like, if I was at a distillery helping out, um, I mean... I, if, I mean, any distillery starting out, it's good. you're going to have to have a, a clear. Like a white whiskey, uh, vodka, gin. Because you don't have time to age. Time to age. So uh, you're going to put a gin out. You're going to put a vodka that's out. Quick. Yep. You know, Maybe a, a corn, a white lightning corn whiskey. Yeah. Because that's just immediately off the still. You don't have to age it. Yep. Thanks, dude. And then, yeah, then you start pumping out a bunch of stuff you're putting in barrels yeah. to sell way down the road. Got it. But yeah, I would say like a good a good gin would be like the first thing I, if I was going that route for yeah. sure. Yeah, gin, and I think partially because Emmett and I we used to both live out in Colorado, and we had a buddy K, uh, John who owned uh, KJ, JK, Wood? KJ, KJ KJ Wood John, JK no no KJ, KJ, KJ yeah, Wood yeah. Uh, Distillery. Super good. It wasn't birthed, but they moved to Durango. Yeah. Right? Or what is it? One of the ski towns, right? Colorado. It was Durango. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I just, we never got to go to it. No, Uray. 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 Oh, U-R-A-Y? Yeah. Because um, anyway, they were in birth. He made, he made this gin that was just, it was so good. It's still so good. Yeah, it's still so yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. And um, it's called Gin Gin, like G, no, J I N N G I N. Jin Jin. Jin Jin. Jin Jin. Jin Jin. And he probably, I don't know if he'd be cool with us sharing secrets, but I'm just going to share the secrets because he's not watching this. He added, he added hops as one of his yeah. ingredients he added to his gin. So he's playing and, around. Um, cool, yeah. yeah, he just was he had a bunch of cool botanicals stuff. in the there. Thing yeah. with, the thing with his gin is that you know, one of the things you want to avoid when you're making gin is um, any kind of a haze, like any spirits. You don't want it to be hazy, you know? Yeah, like, it's got there's just like, clean, it has clean, to be clear. Right? Yeah. But he would occasionally end up with some chill hay so like it would be good on the shelf but if you after you chilled it down or if you chilled it down it's like a or if you or if you, if you proof it, freezer, it down a little bit too far yeah, it down. the haze oils yeah oils and the, the oils just leach stuff. out yeah, but it, for him it was like the oils yeah but he's super just like, oily. he's just riding that line he's just yeah, really intriguing. he's like right up against that yeah. line that, where some of it might have turned hazy and but th that just meant he had more flavor in it. That's it, all it is. It's so good. And I, I, you know, every once in a while, I'll just buy like a case of it. So yeah, and give it away. And it typically, like if you see it, it like leash out like that in a distillery, yeah. you could add higher concentrate, like mm -hmm. a higher proof alcohol will clear right. it out. But typically, you're trying to hit, hit your bottle proof, you know. So, but yeah, gin gin. If anybody's watching, I think you can buy it on their website. It's really good. Dude, I can buy it for my dad every Christmas. It's gone in like two days. Really? Yeah. He'll crush that. I like gin. A little gin and tonic. Yeah. And it's not like your Christmas tree juniper. Right. Like right. it's right. super citrusy, super mellow. I should do an infomercial for him. Yeah. Right. We yeah. should really just yeah. do that I'm just for fun. You know, it, knowledge. it won't make you an angry drunk. Maybe it will. I don't know. <laughs> and then you smash some stuff. <laughs> Depends on the type of person you are. But we are, if you're just joining in, we're squeezing apples. Dude, I would say, I'd say we put a dent. We put a dent in it you, officially. You definitely got this side knocked down. <laughs> I'd say we're going to get 50 gallons. It's like... You know, total. Total. Yards of mulch, yeah. and you're probably through three yards. Yeah. Yeah, we're at three out of ten yards that's kind in of the mulch. Right. Dude, that's, that's the worst. Good, right? When you get yeah. that ten yards dropped off. We're good. And you got like four wheelbarrows oh. done. It has. You haven't even gotten your shovel we, we did, groove well, in. Well, we did have that discussion today that if you're going to spread mulch, a pitchfork is way better. It than is. Shovel. I agree. You got, you got a 100%. You got a pitchfork. I agree with that. I'm a pitchfork guy. When, when the accountant from New England says use the pitchfork, that means you got to use the He's pitchfork. ran the numbers. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey. Well, because a lot of times, too, with the pitchfork, you can get in there and get it up, where a oh, shovel yeah. just, you hit just dead, just weight. Fall, yeah. dead weight. Yeah. Are you a, not a pitchfork man? I mean, I don't have a pitchfork, but I... I Kyle's not spreading that, mulch. I should, uh, yeah, you should invest in, get should a pitchfork. Invest in a pitchfork. You got a Harbor Freight, they got them for like 11 oh, bucks. Yeah, yeah. And they got a short three, handle for... Three kinds of shovels. Two kinds of rakes, no pitchfork. Well, if you're gonna shovel rock, yeah. you need like a coal shovel. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're doing like planting plants and stuff, right. I found a trenching shovel is the way to go. Which trenching is weird. Shovel. Yeah, they work really well. Oh, for, like, like a like a, a little small narrow spade. One. Yeah. yeah, like a spade. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like something you dig. I would call like, it like a 
Long spade. Long spade. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or, trenching shovel. Yeah, if you're trenching I like, no idea. I don't know, like pipe. Yeah. Versus All right. edging shovel. Yeah, verging like yeah. an edging or like a scooping. Oh, yeah. Is there scooping? These are all technical terms. There's some farmer out there. It's like, what are you guys talking about? Uh, I'm more of a hammer guy. Ball peen, right. claw hammer, sledgehammer, you know? Yeah. Shovels, not so Murder hammer. Murder yeah, hammer. Hammer can fix a lot. That and duct tape. Duct tape and hammers and nails. <laughs> and nails. That's what's holding this thing on here, I feel like. So we got... Yeah, we got what? Where's the gallon marker? So that's four, four and a third. So this will bring us to five. All right, we're getting there. We're doing it. We're really doing it. This time we're really doing it. Oh, shnikes. Um, this will bring us to five, I think. Just this. You think so? I mean, let's do this last bucket though, if we can. Oh yeah, I think yeah, it'll okay. be close. Yeah. You, you wanna? Any more? You wanna yeah, get sure. in there? Give it 110 percent. Yeah. It looks Dude, heavy. I'm gonna give it 111. Things are over full. Oh, holy shit. Dude, this is what this is what I go to the gym I mean, for, Craig. Yes, sir. So I can drink more. And, and, and lift apples. Make more beer and drink more beer. So, in case you're just tuning in, Kyle's dumping apples into an apple press. Craig is spooning <laughs> said apples. <laughs> and uh, I'm just drinking a beer. As you should. But we're making good. I feel like we're in a groove now. Yeah. I feel like now that the tacos are in my belly, I feel a lot better. That's good. Tacos good. But you remember to get in touch with your family. No, you know what? I was just thinking I just, about that. I just texted Laura and it was like, I'm going to be a while. No, okay, so here's the thing. I was just, literally just, as you said that, I said, you know the nice thing about a live stream is that I could just send a link to April, my wife. And she'll know where you she are. She doesn't have to ask me what I'm doing and call and me when you're and done. text me and like, ask me when I'm done. And I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna, she can just tune into the live stream and realize how um, so, in over my head that I am. <laughs> so how do I send that to my wife? Sent, oh, the link? Yeah. Uh, was, uh, well, I sent you. Did I send you the link? You must have. Yeah, I'll send it to you again if I didn't. Then I'll, yeah, I'll send it. That would be too late. So, yeah, we're going to be using a bunch of different yeast. I picked up yep, 11 yeah, or 12. That. And we're definitely going to use some Saison. Yeah. Some, some uh, I don't know. I got some Kvikes. I got some Belgian. Got some... A little bit of everything, honestly. Did not get any cider yeast. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Hilarious. They didn't have any. I mean, I don't really know what, I mean, I'm sure there's something in spider, spider yeast, cider yeast that is designed for it, but I don't know. A lot of people use like. Yeah, what would that be? But is it for a sweet cider or a dry cider? I mean, I feel like there would have to be a lot of I different like, types of cider yeast. I, I feel like it's always gonna be dry unless you stop it prematurely, right? Um, yeah, I think I think for most dry ciders, so far as I've seen, people use champagne yeast. But I feel like even like if you use Kvike, it's gonna chew it, right? Oh, you think? Yeah. Yeah. I think you're all good. Yeah. I think they're all probably good on like one point. I'll tell you what. I don't. What do you think? What do you think about champagne? Like, um, oh, sorry. Let me clarify the question. Champagne makes me feel not good after I drink it. Oh, I get a oh, headache. Oh, immediately. Yeah. But if a headache, you can, you can yeah. drink champagne and not get a headache. Now you're honest something. Yeah, <laughs> you know, a lot of cocaine, right. probably. <laughs> so I like dry cider, but I don't. Be, but a lot of it's made with champagne yeast because champagne is just absolutely annihilates any sugar that's in the whatever you're making. Right? So what, like, where do you get, where do you get yeast from? Um, there so are a lot of different asked, yeast makers. Craig was asking where you get yeast from, which is a valid question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, White Labs here. In the, I mean, do, you, do you grow it? Like what? How, yeah, yeast is a live organism, yeah. So, yeah, people will bank the yeast, so they'll collect the yeast. So White Labs is a yeast manufacturer here, and there are, I don't know, a lot of, dozen, a couple dozen yeah. yeast manufacturers. Big not even, yeast, that I know Not of. even. Yeah. Yeast manufacturers in the world. But they, they'll find the yeast, right, and they'll, they'll, they'll bank it, so they'll isolate it, and then they'll store it in a sub, 
what sub critical sub zero sub that whatever you, like really cold freezer yeah some cryo right or, yeah cryo freezer yeah and then which you guys probably have and then um, they build it up and yeah then they'll like when they're ready to make it they pull it out they propagate it, it they build it up and then they make big batches of it that's um, pretty cool like if if anybody is coming through Asheville like you can do like a tour of white labs really? yeah and it's yeah. I mean, you don't, obviously you're not like banking yeast, but you yeah. can see the operation. Yeah, cool. But if you're looking to buy yeast, you go to the homebrew shop, you can buy it online. Yeah, you, could, you could literally, yeah. you could you get bread yeast from the grocery store, probably yeah. not the best for making beer. But right, right, it right, works. Right. Yeah. And then uh, like all of this, all of these apples, they have yeast on them. All of them. You so, don't have to add So one of, the, right, one of the batches yeah. we're just gonna throw in the- Unpasteurized. In the unpasteurized with- yeah, yeah, yeah with um no Nature. additional yeast yeah That's and it'll, it will uh, and then you hope it on its it's a good wild yeast you hope, yeah. right right and not like right. yeah. and not because it could be like great or it could be like yeah garbage yeah and so awful. like what i've heard honestly is um so have you ever been up to zebulon um, brewery in weaverville that's one of our favorites he makes yeah. just a like, weird kind of fringe beer yeah. it's really small um but i was talking to him about his wild he does a lot of wild yeast uh, yeah. batches and he said that oftentimes it's dependent on the time of the year. Right. So right. some yeast are more active, right. early season, mid season, and then late season, so and season everywhere in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he'll just do batches here and there until he gets a good one, and then he'll use that batch to inoculate the next, like big batch. Once you find that sweet spot. Once yeah. you find that sweet spot, yeah. Well, then the, the one you're doing natural, like that's got to be good, right? Like anything in nature is. It's either gonna be good or yeah, terrible. I mean, yeah, I mean. It's either no, gonna be the no. best one or the worst yeah, one. Yeah, I'm gonna say like maybe, but maybe not. That's a good amount right there. Yeah. yeah. Let's, I'm trying to get like get rid of this last bucket. All right, man. I pour you scoop. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, all right. Sweet. Dude, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate this. This is cool. Yeah. I mean, it kind of looks like we put a dent in them. Yeah. Kind of. But we're not. We're not a half. You did. Definitely, you definitely not a half. It certainly looked bigger when I got there. Oh, it's probably a good amount. Uh, George Castro, any advice on setting up a beer smith equipment profile for your 20 gallon system? Yes, click on, go to our website and then click on contact us. And in there will be a link for uh, beer smith profiles. Um, so you'll find it right there. Right there right? All right. Here's, OLY 401 was, was fantastic. Highly flocculate. Um, what is 401? Yeah, it's funny, dude. Definitely, like... Yeah, man. If you can't find it, let me know. But yeah, it should be under Contact Us, and then um, I think it's, like, one of the bottom links. But they should all be in there. I think that works. I don't think yeah. you have to fold the bag over. Is that it? It's just the no, last thing? we have, a, like, maybe Half one a more. Bucket. Yeah, we have one more. Tons of guns. And you know what? We could try just to scoop it. up some of the stuff. Yeah. I mean, if we're gonna pasteurize, it doesn't yeah, it's, matter. It's all gonna be pasteurized. Right, it's yeah, it's not yeah. on the ground. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be in the basket. Yeah. Well, yeah, the good news is that since I've never get never get invited, I'm not gonna be drinking yeah, this stuff. It'll be, that yeah, it'll <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, I mean, right. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, we're gonna have to have a, we're gonna have to have a party if we have 50 gallons of cider. Well, I mean, we're gonna have it for a year. I want to bottle a, a lot of it. Press it. it. Will it last that long? Like, what? oh yeah, no. A year is when it will be start to like peak. This stuff. Yeah, the stuff that we're making right now. Yeah, if we do like a hopped one, probably not. Maybe not a hopped. Yeah, yeah but so, like but a lot of a lot of cider definitely with age well, gets right, a little so better. Wait, so you put it in there tonight or tomorrow. Right? Let it ferment for for a couple how weeks. So you could drink it in a couple weeks. You could. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it would have booze and it'd get you drunk. But what would be ideal? Um. Ideally, what you would do is ferment it for, you know, until it's done fermenting, let's say 10, 14 days, and then you would transfer it to like a serving keg. Let's so you'd get it off the yeast. So you, basically, when it's done fermenting, the yeast will all settle to the bottom. Yeah. So then, what you want to do is take the liquid off top, leave the yeast behind. Because if you're going to let it sit for like five or six months to a year, you really don't want to be sitting on that yeast so that whole time. 
once they're in those kegs, mm -hmm. again, you might you might take one after 30 days yeah. and start drinking it. Yeah. But where do the other ones go? They just they sit in storage or something like that? Or they yeah. need to be That's like a good this time this temperature this time like, of year yeah, the question. container will be decent, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I th I'm Chest thinking we're gonna bottle them and put them in the crawl space. Or put the kegs just down in the crawl space. I'm not trying to I don't know if we bottle. could fit them down there, but if we could, that'd be great. I mean... Well, our buddy Preston, who works at New Belgium, gave yeah. us a ton of bottles. Belgian 22 ounce, well, right, 750 right. milliliters, or whatever that is, yeah. ounces, bottles. So we have a lot of bottles. Right. So we may end up bottling a fair amount of it, and then just Then you can that, sit on it. Yeah, putting that um, down in the crawl space. Or a basement, so you know. So that'll just age. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. So ideally, it would be at cellar temp, you know. Fifty. Like, is it is it better after a year, or is it better after thirty days? You know, what I mean, like, like what's the? I mean, I think Emma was right. Some of it's going to be better yeah. aged longer. Typically, I mean, you want to taste on it. Yeah. Because it's going to peak at some point and be delicious, right, and then right. at some point. But I mean, a lot of ciders you will benefit from age, from my experience. Um, but if you're gonna like back sweeten it, maybe add some fruit right, to it, right. you could probably do it a little bit earlier. I don't know. What do you guys say out oh there gosh, on the internet? So I, I'm not apples. a huge cider man. How long? How long are you letting your ciders age? They get better with age. But yeah, typically. I'll, I'll try and let them sit like a couple months at least. But would you do the same thing with beer? Would it sit that long? No, most beers, no. Like okay. IPA is usually fresh because you want that hop flavor. Right, if you're right. doing like a huge Russian Imperial Stout, sometimes those can sit. You can put them on some like oak for a year. So this almost is like wine as where beer, you, you don't want it to age for. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it probably is more akin to that where wine's a long way longer process yeah. where you're you know settling it out and you know transferring it multiple times to get it off the yeast and then right, putting right. it putting it in oak and letting it sit but i mean i'm sure some of it will probably taste great after a <clears> month it's just you know right a lot of it's probably going to depend on what temperature we ferment it what yeast we ferment it so that all makes a big difference right. so The title of the next live stream is going to be live streaming our demise. <laughs> it's still crushing apples. <laughs> Dude, uh, how's your like, back feeling? My, my back? Yeah. Fine. Cool. My enthusiasm for this big pile of apples is definitely maybe, been doing. Maybe a horse will show up and just eat them all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got it. I see. All right. So, wait, hold on. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. So what do we got? Half a bucket? Okay. All right. That was, that was solid right there. Well, that was me with the perfect buzz going, you know what? Let's just pour it with. But, but, I mean, that'll fill up like, what, one of those things? Two? Uh, so a full one of these fills up. Four. Two four. If we, fill, if we fill up, four of these will fill up. Uh, one of those will fill up four. four. One full yes. one will fill up four. Got it. We're about halfway, so probably two. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because you want to put like five and a half gallons yeah, in each yeah, one. Right, right. Gonna, You're gonna lose about yeah. lose some of the yeast. Yep. Um, I mean, you can put whatever in there. You want to leave some headspace, yeah. so you don't want to fill it all the way to like six and a half. But most home brewers make five gallon batches of beer, so kind of designed it around that, so yeah. it gives you plenty of headroom. Oh God. Man, I'm I'm feeling pretty good about this. We haven't made any disastrous mistakes. No, and the and we're done with touched, the dangerous part. I touched wood too. So there you go. Yep. And we the dangerous part's done. Yeah. For today. Yeah, the chopper, the chopper grinder. If someone made a recommendation at the plate. Maybe the blades are on backwards. Ooh, we should check it out. Yeah. Yeah. It out. Make sure they're not reversed because it just it, we didn't assemble it. So if we did, I'd say it definitely is wrong. <laughs> There's a high probability. Right. I don't think the blades are on right. They are on right? Yeah.
I mean, unfortunately, maybe they're just assuming you're going to be doing more... Apple cutting? No, I mean, just if you had an orchard, you know, typically people don't have, they don't grow apples that big. They're huge apples. Yeah, these are, these are Those big Those are the apples. size of yeah, grapefruit. Yeah, the little ones went right in. Oh, yeah, they're yeah, fine. No problem. And I refuse to cut today. Right, Out yeah. of principle. Right. I think coming in this way seemed to work a little better. Yeah. yeah. But to check the blades. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yep. But what I think we should do is... Uh, Probably cut them as much as I bitched about not cutting them today. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, if you had another table with that's it, like that, and just, it that's almost it. like a machete. We just weren't set up to like do it, so I was just yeah, like, we're not need, doing you it. You need like a, you know, you remember the old saw boxes for cutting? Oh yeah, angles? there we just go. Put the apple in there. That way, there's that's no true. fingers or nothing holding it. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. If like we prepped it to the side, it wouldn't yeah. be an issue. It's like, well, originally I thought we'd be grinding. Right. crushing and heating at the same time. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't make for cohesive videoing. Right. All right, let me get a setup for heating this stuff up. Are we videoing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The riveting, riveting, uh, riveting stuff. Our mic Looks like fun. Yeah, it's been be, great. It's a beautiful night. Be about no, uh, very information, no yeah. bees, which like is nice. Definitely the sure best better. time of year to do it. <laughs> I got um, no beer, man. I got no beer. We've done it earlier in the season. The bees hey, you are definitely up, an issue. Beers. They weren't beers <laughs> that I brewed. It's okay for a month or so, but beers. setters get a bit weird if left too long. Yeah. No, you yeah. have no That's idea good to know, Andy. how much. Yeah, I don't have a, a ton of experience, but like, I have found they, up for us. But they tend to age we have out a little bit nicer. We have our first ever. Um, sorry, I'm talking to everybody. But it could be the yeast I've used in the past and whatever, so. We have our first ever, like, patented you know that's awesome. item that I, I really feel like the keg and plus what we, we we've made for it yeah, it's really gonna like good. literally it's gonna like change humbering literally gonna change Dude, humbering. That's yeah awesome. that's that's then that's worth the you know that's worth the squeeze that's, of the apples right it. there that's it man make it better all right cool so are we done? Yeah. We're gonna dump that, heat that. Clean everything while it's heating. A little clean, yeah. Do a little so I'm kind of pre-cleaning. Like what is it? 20 minutes to get up the temperature. Put that and then how long do you have to? Five minutes. Oh, Ten. Really? I think it's instant. I think once it hits it, it's like seconds. Wow. Like I don't think you have to leave it there. But we'll probably leave it for a couple minutes. Yeah, yeah. And then bring it back down. And yeah, we're just gonna <clears throat> bring the the juice up to pasteurization temp. Um, and then no, we'll chill it down. You need like some, you know, like some background music so when they're not talking, like at least whoever's listening to it gets a little bit. Of yeah, it has to be not royalty like free. Not no, we no, could put on a royalty free and that's station. That's kind of the bummer about because we would be, would be listening to music that we like listening yeah. to right now. It would be way better. But you can't really do that. Or you just we just really yeah we just you lose the monetization, which doesn't even matter for yeah, us yeah. honestly. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Our monet like we make so little on videos yeah, that. Right. I gotcha. We just do it's it for the love of home brewing. That's it. I mean, I hate. I did not. That, that's the reason why I do it. That's what I was thinking. I was like, man, if I made like, we should just use copyright videos. Who cares? Yeah. Or music? Right. Who cares? Yeah. Are they, are they, yeah. yeah. That's and then you get that one video gets 20 million views, and you're like, son of a gun. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. the first one you do too. The first one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. So you're like, yeah. Well, there you one. go. Right. So we get. Yeah, we're gonna have to check out the blades. It looks like they're on there right, but I'm not a I'm not a blade guy. I've seen Blade Runner though. As much as my blade knowledge goes. I think there's a movie called Blade too. Haven't seen it. You said that to your lady Craig. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Nothing. Um okay. do you wanna bring this out there? Yeah. So we can hose it down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's leave it there for now because you know the kettle's we can in the way. Just put it right here. And, and hose it down. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll do it later. Well, let's move the. Let's move this first. Yeah, you gotta take the clamp off. Where is the release on this? Oh man. Uh, this is just. A, this is twisty. Is there... Yeah, that's a twisty guy. Hose that clamp down. I'll tell you what, that yeah, that thing works all right. That crusher. 
A little squeezy. Yeah, the press or the crusher? Yeah, not too bad. The, the press? The squeezer? Yeah, the, the press, yeah. Yeah, the press works pretty well. Yeah, it's nice. Though, did it's you see the one? There's. It's just a little small for the scale. Yeah, the one we got right from now. the Homebrew yeah. shop, though, is half the size of that. So. I know. There we go. Here, let me, let me let me grab that. We got it. So this has screws, nails in the front. Yeah, Watch out. Yeah, screws in the bottom of it. So what are you trying to do? Oh god, I don't know. I'm a little up, worried. Okay. There we go. Just put it right back here. What are you gonna want to do is put one of those nails right into the worker comp form. We good? Everybody safe? Yep. Brian Kyle Stowe. A little worried about the open toes over here. All right. We got we got four inch nails screws sticking out. Right. Let me make that. We'll put that updated workers right. workers manual. Yeah, next uh, next round of the employee right. handbook. That's what it's called, employee handbook. Next round of edits. All right. I mean, so this is kind of simmering at a low heat right now. It's just off. It's oh. just that seventy. Four, whatever degrees it is out right now. All right. So it's saying 74, which sounds about right. What's 74? The, the liquid is? temp, yeah. Oh. All right. How great would it be if like, one of your friends showed up right now like, hey, I thought that was a great idea. I bought you another pickup truck for <laughs> Apple. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be down. I'd be like, yeah, sure. I'll just leave all the equipment out we'll for just, you. We'll just, right. Hopefully a bear comes and eats all our apples. All right. So, Craig, can you help me team lift this uh, kettle? What do you want me to do? Team lift the kettle. So, give me, let me move this. Um, yeah, sure. Let's move them out of the way. This is wherever. Oh, dude. Yep. A lot of right in my shoes. All right. Man, we didn't end up with that much, like, yeah, spilled uh, debris. Not horrible. All right, so just you grab that side, I'll grab oh, this side. Can we from the bottom? A little bit of both, I think. And then uh, do like a counterclockwise, there we go. Perfect. Yep. Oh man, we're getting there. Getting there indeed. I completely forgot that I was uh, on a live stream there. Just leave a lot of dead silence there, guys. Oh, nice. Yeah. So rule one, right? Check all that debris. Zoned out. Yeah. Connected properly. Yep. The cleaning buckets. Kind of bake hairs. What's that? So a pump, I don't really think we, we don't need it just yet. I think we're gonna fire it up at some point. Um, so yeah, this is actually our brewing system. So that we typically use this to make beer, yeah. but you can use it to make cider as well. And really you're not, you know, you're not like making cider, you're really just pasteurizing it. Um, put this out of the way. Cool. So, we got some, we some ways, but we can deal with that. So, to pasteurize, we need to get it to 170 for, I think, actually, once we get to 170, we're good. So, we're already dialed in. Yeah. That's going to take it right up. up or or no, no, we're good. Yeah. Probably just kind of clean this up a little bit. Yeah. Um, this is a chiller, this is a chiller, so once we get it to 170, it's going to pasteurize it, but then if we have to get it back down to like roughly 70 to add yeast, yeah. and um, otherwise like, it's going to just ferment too warm, which is going to make bad cider or beer for making beer, or if it was too hot, then we would kill the yeast. I think yeast, maybe, 
you know, like depending on the yeast, I guess. Some yeast can go into you know, like the 100 degree range, but most yeast is not going not to make it at that temperature. So we, we want to get it down to like 70 once we, after we are done heating it to 170. So yeah, we have two different chiller options. This is this is a counterflow chiller. Yeah. It's just a little less likely to get um, clogged up, but it's a little slower. Right. So there was, there was some, you know, pieces of apple, right? Is there a filter in there that keeps it from? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we put a basket. So this is a this basket. I'm probably gonna pull the whole thing up. There's really nothing in it. Yeah. But it's just a big stainless steel basket. Yeah, I got you. So typically, you actually, if you're brewing beer, you have a couple of different kettles. That just actually, three different, different kettles. Yeah. With our our brew, our brew system, it's just a single kettle with a basket. Yeah. So. Wait, well, it smells good though. Right? Yeah, it smells it's great. Good. Yeah. So it looks like actually, let's pull this up and see how much we have. Oh, dude, we have 13 and a half gallons of uh, cider. Yeah. That's. Yeah, five, those are five gallon those kegs. Five gallon? Yeah, so two. Six and a half. Six and a half, but we'd put five in it. Yep. So we're talking like two of those plus three one gallon fermenters. That's cool. Yeah. How many gallons have we got in there? 13. Oh. 13 and a half. And how many, how many bucket squeezes was that? We have to go back and we review the, the count. footage. Yeah, Who's I'm counting? I'm not really sure. I want to say eight to 10. Yeah. Eight. Because we only had four buckets, right? Um, not sure on that, man. Yeah, yeah, eight to ten. But um, I'm gonna. Um, right. Yeah, you can see where we are apple-wise here. We got a lot. So the top is like it's 78 degrees right now, and it's got to get to 170. 170. And then once it's yeah. there, like we can cool it down immediately. Really? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 170 um, is uh, that's hot enough to kill. I think like 99.9% .9 of all the the microorganisms that could mess our beer up. And so you end up with a little bit of stuff in there, but what's going to happen is that when, when we add the yeast, it's going to it's going to um, chew through all the food source essentially. Yeah. And so anything else that's in there, wild yeast, bacteria, whatever, there's really going to be nothing for it to eat. And so some of it will grow, but you know that's kind of how it works in general. You made it dead. I think you definitely. Yeah, we made yeah, it. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I would say a third. Yeah. Definitely a quarter, at least. Uh, Kyle, did you eat your tacos? No, dude. A lot I'm of people eating. have been asking and worried no. about your taco no, eating. Man. I appreciate the, the worry because I'm not kidding. I haven't eaten anything today. You should. It's just one of those days. To smoke your last cigarette, I'm quitting cold turkey. Wish me luck. Good luck, man. <laughs> Do it. It's worth it. I quit when I turned 40. It was great. I miss it every day. Worst decision, that, worst decision I ever made was quitting. But no, it is good. I feel better. Yeah. But uh, you don't need, you don't need that in your life, man. Yeah, I mean, they're, dude. I, can't, I mean, how much are they now? They're, like, you go to Chicago, they're like know. 13, 18 dollars. More than I want to spend. Right. Pay that much. Good luck with that, man. Yeah. Definitely do it. It's, it's, oh, dude. You don't want, you don't want to, yeah. you don't want the complications so as you, you get don't older. Be happy and more financially. Yeah, dude. You know, I think the people, the thing that people don't think about is just I don't know you're gonna look back at some point when you're older and if you're not well, when I'm health. like when I'm like real old and hopefully in okay health then I'll start smoking again <laughs> to make it to 80 yeah, dude yeah, right just fucking smoking crack <laughs> <laughs> kidding me yeah but yeah I mean I don't that's my thing and it's not because I really wanted to quit I was like I don't want to be sitting in a hospital room right. in, when I'm in 20 years when I'm 60 right. yeah. you know totally. For like what? Oh, it's a little bit of enjoy, and they are great. Right. Yeah, they are great. But there are other things. It's you not can, worth. There's a lot of other things that are great. In life. Yeah. yeah. 
weed. A lot, lot of other, a lot of other hobbies and passion right. vices. Yeah, there's other better, vices. Better, better, better vices. Better vices. Yeah. There are better. And, that's just a good way to put yeah. it. There are better. There vices. are better vices. That's and when like I the worst vice. And when I drink, I'll put a little. I have a little Nicorette gum, because that way you don't get the. You don't make the poor decision. Isn't, isn't that funny? It's like oh, you, it's you can go all week without thinking about it, and then you, like, you have one sip of beer. It's like, can I smoke the same right. coffee? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, yeah. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll pop a Nicorette. Yep. Better than oh. a cigarette. And there are always those times, right? You're like, when you, it's like after you eat. Dude, coffee, when you wake up in the morning with coffee, <laughs> car <laughs> driving. Uh, or like you're at a party or an event or right. and you just want to get away. Yeah. That's what I miss the most is the getaway, but there's also like people you'd rather be talking to that are outside smoking. Yeah. That's you that's my I biggest know, one. Yeah, what I usually do is have a cigar. Okay. That's a good, you know. Cigar, yeah. It's like not something you do every day. No, no. Yeah. no. But every once in a while. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Smoking a cigar. Chris, Christmas really Eve. Christmas Eve. With the kids. Yeah. With the children? With the children. <laughs> Like, who wants a cigar? <laughs> I remember my dad, oh, he must have been in his 50s at that point. He wanted to get back into pipe smoking. Oh, yeah. And it was so awesome. Not my enough people smoke pipes. Smoke, you know, he'd smoke cigars and pipes, and, you know, way back then when you were. I mean, this was the or, 80s for take, sure, right? He'd take the nub of the cigar and put it in the pipe and then oh, smoke that. That's awesome. Was, Doubling up. Yeah, you're saving money. The question is, how did he die? <laughs> Right. I don't know. He lived in 95. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. Fine. He's 89. All right. Yeah, yeah, or 86. Or Probably. But he, you ate a lot him. better back then, too, I feel like. You countered it with mass amounts of alcohol and tobacco. All right. But yeah, good luck with that. Seriously, you should quit. It's not worth it. Taste buds. Yeah, definitely get. you definitely do get your taste buds back. Making some apple sizers, heck yeah, man, that's awesome. Yeah, I like sizers. Craig, um, have you ever had a snake bite before? Ooh, it's like a that's uh, something. Well, Sounds good. People call it different things, but might need to. Is that stout and cider? Yeah. Should I hide it? Yeah, like <laughs> no, a, no. a stout and a cider. So it's kind of like a black and tan. You know how you they people pour a black and tan? They'll put a stout and a brown ale or whatever. Oh, yeah, stout oh, and a, yeah, black stout and, tan. and a, like an ale. I was kind of thinking of a car bomb. That's where I thought you were going, but no, yeah. black and tan. No, kind of just, they, you know, they yeah, have that yeah, separation. Yeah, like that. But it's, this would be a stout and a cider. Pretty good. Interesting. And it's called the snake bite. Snake bite. That's what Ross called them, right? Yeah. Or the internet? I think it's a thing. I think it's a thing. Does it yeah. separate? No. Not if you pour it right. Yeah, so if you pour it right, it'll just... Stay there, kind of like we did uh, a bunch of pours. And I forget which one works. It just depends on what the which one's head denser. Yeah, like the, yeah, whatever's denser needs to go on the bottom. Yeah, but it looks super cool if you when you pour it right, like yeah, total yeah, separation. Yeah. But it gives it a little like if it's super dry, it gives it a little bit of sweetness or yeah. a little bit of a little bit of something else. Oh, we're getting there. How we do, CFO? Love it, man. Would you would yeah, you would you uh, replace the entire production line, or would you just kind of demote us? No, no, I think you got. You probably just get rid of half of it. You're, you're on your way. <laughs> the weights we got to deal with, but everything else is pretty good. The blades are a little dangerous, but you, you got to look at it like, well, that's capital, you know, and then you start adding capital. That thing's capital, right? So if you can, if the capital investment has better return on investment than worth the investment <laughs> right okay <laughs> this was a free investment yeah you got to return it tomorrow <laughs> 8 a.m he wants it back oh really no that's maybe so. I, I told him monday yeah i was like well, oh. okay right so this was a start now i mean the, the process is a little quicker now just because knowing a little bit of how day one worked it'll just, probably be worse yeah. now that i know how long it's going to take come in with zero motivation no, it really wasn't bad. I think we'll go small apples. Yeah. Cut the was, cut those huge ones. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we got through a lot of the big ones. Just, I agree. So. I think chewing, you'll, you'll be able to chew through this whole. Oh, thing. that whole side, no problem. Because. Yeah. But I would say we had 13 gallons there. I bet we at least have another 20, 25 gallons there. So 30. I bet we get 40 gallons, 45 tops. Which is okay. a lot. Yeah. Considering I typically have five to six ciders a year. Yeah. I know, I'm not a big cider guy, so I'm curious. Right. It's 
Well, hey guys, Kyle, uh, I think he's gonna finally eat his tacos. Toffee apple cider. Yeah, let us know what we need to do to make that work. How do you get toffee in the apple cider? Just add like caramel? That sounds pretty good. Doesn't it? Yeah. That does sound really good. Um, yeah, if anybody knows like any real good cider, we're obviously not making this all today. We're gonna tarp it back up and proceed through this weekend, but um, let us know your tips and tricks. I'd like to dry hop some of it, so we'll definitely dry hop some, yeah. which would be cool. I like dry hop ciders. Other than that, we're just gonna throw some yeast in and hope for the best, throw some fruits in. We got that fruit juice. I mean, you could take some apples home, I mean, honestly. I know. I need to take some of my, my girlfriend was like, you need to bring home a few apples. You gotta pick the, the good ones. Well, we're gonna make applesauce, so yeah. I'm not too worried. Could you pie maybe, right? Hard work pressing apples. That's yeah, been great, yeah. I think hydraulic press next year will be the, the upgrade. Yeah. Make it pneumatic for sure. Yeah. With a foot pedal. Can you do an angle back controller this way? Yeah. Do you want you want to fire back up? Yeah, sure. Dude, I need to eat my tacos. Dude, eat your tacos. I need to eat my tacos. I still got one left over there. Coffee apple cider, that sounds good, doesn't it? So, yeah, we, if you're just jumping in, we are slowly bringing, or not slowly, pretty quickly actually, bringing our pressed cider uh, up to pasteurization temp, which is 170 Fahrenheit. Don't know what it is in Celsius. I think it's between like 160, 170, we're just airing on 170 um, and mainly just to make sure we kill anything because obviously there's a ton of yeast and bacteria on these apples which can be a good thing but we want to use the yeast we want to use on this we're definitely gonna ferment some unpasteurized and natural uh, we'll play around with that but not today this will all be pasteurized and we got a bag of yeast so maybe you guys can vote on it maybe we'll put a poll up I don't know if that's a thing but we'll p pitch to, uh, what are we gonna pitch? Mm. Some yeast, two kegs. Mm. That'll probably be the best thing to do. Yeah, probably. We'll just do two kegs a day and then we could do some one gallons and stuff tomorrow. But I'd like to do like Saison maybe and maybe the Belgian, which would be kind of cool. Um, so, but we got, we got a ton of yeast. If anybody's got one, they really want us to use or they've had good luck with let us know um, because really open to whatever um, but yeah man this is the easy part so I'd say we got through maybe a third of the apples third to a quarter of the mountain of apples and we got 11 or 13 gallons I think you said so I'd say we're going to have like 35 to 40 gallons by the end of the weekend when we finish. But we're done crushing and smushing uh, for today. Uh, I'm going to pasteurize, then chill, um, toss into one of our keg fermenters, and update on those. We've gone into final production on the updated safety parts. Super excited. Um, everything is perfect so we're super happy with the molds and how the samples came out so uh production started last week so hopefully 50 55 60 days production will be done and then we will start packing swapping the old lids putting the new lids on getting them packed up so super excited for that um so thanks for your patience if you ordered them if you haven't check out check out the um, website. I think you can still order round two, which will ship obviously after round one. Um, but we're uh, we're getting getting close to getting those done. I'm super excited. Back sweeten the taste. Yeah, I definitely will be back sweetening at least some of it. Um, and I kind of want to back sweeten it with uh, some fruit puree. I think that'd be kind of good. I don't like a super sweet 
um, cider, but I also do not like it super bone dry. So I think adding a little fruit after, after it's kegged, um, where you're not going to get any fermentation, just keeping it in your keezer um, so it doesn't, you know, ferment would be cool. So I'm going to play around with that. Yeah, we have 11 yeasts that we're going to be using. So um, we got we got a bunch of yeasts, maybe even 13, but I think we're, we're planning on using at least 11 yeasts, um, if not more. So pretty excited for that. And uh, yeah, I should probably actually take the yeast out of the fridge. Um, I may do that now. Freeze some for Applejack. Yeah, we could do that. Um, I've actually never made it. Um, I've never done any, any freeze, freeze beers or ice beers or I don't know other terms that ice beer or Applejack would just be, I guess, Applejack. Um, but I know a lot of people do the same thing for like ice beers, but um, I've never done it. Maybe we'll try a little bit of that. That'd be cool. Heck yeah, well, what are we at, 112? We're getting there. Oh, pretty exciting, everybody left. Awesome, Nick. Have a good night, man. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Pasta sounds good for sure. Wow. I uh, I've been talking for like ten minutes. I'm out yeah, of, out of I'm out out of, well, I'm just yeah. out of by myself talking no, time. Fine. I'll come. You want me to come out there with you? Yeah. I don't know if they like me. Yeah, Do you want to? We could talk about. We could yeah, bring one of. in, and it, he could yeah, ask sure. questions. Yeah, that might be the move. Yeah, we'll, let's do that. Real yeah, quick. that'd be the move. Do that. All right, man. We're up to 115 on our way, right? Yeah. You know, it's actually. I, I guess I would have thought it would have heated faster. There's what, 13 gallons in there though? That's true. There's a lot of liquid. Good point, good point. So typically like when you're brewing beer, yeah. you'll heat your initial water up to like 150. Yeah. And that takes, you'll typically have, for five gallon batch, you'll have like eight gallons in there. Yeah. And that takes like 15 minutes. Got it. But then like after you mash out, then you're bringing it from 150 to like 212. Yeah. So you're not going straight. I right? gotcha. But there's a lot of like, well, I guess we're not going to boiling, we're going to one. Yeah, yeah. But it's a decent amount of liquid, but it's it's gonna take a take a bit. I would say thirty <clears throat> minutes probably to heat up. Yeah. Oh, it's cool with the apples in the background. Yeah. I'm kind of liking that's that. That's the move. It's a good fall. Yeah. Fall All you need now is a pumpkin, maybe a a, a pumpkin cider. Did we grew pumpkins? For the did you? This year? We actually got you did. Two. You learned? Yeah. Yeah. Two pumpkins. I would think oh, it's took up the whole like behind the garage. All right, that's good. Yeah, they take a lot of space. I, I'm still kind of going back to that toffee cider, man. That kind of that kind of sounds good. Hell yeah. Half cider, cider use. All right, Craig was <laughs> Emmett's had a talking juice, and Craig was asking about the keg, so I'm just going to explain this. Yeah. Totally. On camera, because other people were asking about it in the chat earlier. This is the updated lid. Yeah, this is the new lid. So, like I was saying earlier, with just off-the-shelf tri clamps, you can just you can just take it off under pressure. Right. And uh, you know, I showed you the the dent yeah. in the ceiling. That was from this. Wow. It whizzed right by my head. And so we did the calculations on it. It's probably going like 35 or 40 miles an hour. Right. When it was by my head. Wow. So what we did was, you know, so like our original thought was what everybody else is kind of doing this. We, well, first of all, we didn't know that that was, it was going to be that much energy. Right. We, can, right, we yeah. miscalculated when we were, we were exploring that. But the other thing is like other people, other manufacturers, they have pressure vessels such as fermenters 
Um, is that and, for like release? the vessel yeah so like a, just a pressure vessel is like yeah. anything you can pressurize right. but so anyway you know typically what you would do is just ideally you would just pull the pull the pressure relief so this is a prv yep. or a yep. pressure relief valve and then you take this off what happened was i was in the middle of a bunch of different things and i forgot to do that and then just took it off under pressure and that was you it, know. In, in it's under pressure would let you unscrew that easily yeah wow no. yeah absolutely wow. with that thumb screw that's yeah, on yeah. that that keg in there got it it comes right off wow with this so so what we did was re redesigned the thumb screw and we made literally we made this as small as possible yep. so we made the we made the bolt smaller yep and then we made this as small as possible and we designed and then we also made it so it didn't have like a hex pattern or like it didn't have an Allen key. Right, it didn't right. have anything that a normal tool could use. Like you could take a pair of pliers, but you would mark gonna, it all yeah, up. Gonna, yeah, and it's like, gonna, why would you yep, do that? Yep. So then what we did is we built the tool and you, it's also small enough you can't take yeah. it off with your bare hands. Right. So what we did was we, we created a custom tool, yeah. a custom and, like end and a yeah, custom tool. And we permanently attached, what's that? Can you show it the camera? It is in the camera. Is it not? It's not. Uh, I see the tools like at the very edge of the view. Oh, okay. Sorry. Got it, got it. It'll take a few seconds to show up. Yeah. Let's see here. I think it might just be zoomed in a little too tight. All right. So that should be good once it kind of updates. Um, so anyway, we um, we made this this custom tool and we yeah. permanently attached it to the pressure relief valve. And right. then we permanently attached the tool to the keg. Yeah, as right, well. right. So you so can't lose it and you can't use it unless. You can't use this. So like you can't just have a spare tool laying right, around. Right, 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 right. So. Basically, so literally, to take this off, you have to depressurize. Well, first, you, you you know you should do that, which will depressurize the keg. Yeah. But even if you don't, we also made a custom PRV, which has a longer, um, it has more threads on it, essentially. Right. So even if you forget, once you get to this point, the the stopper, and I'll show you that in a second. Yeah. It's up above the opening there, so it's, it's, gonna, it's all the pressure is going to come out, essentially. Interesting. Literally. Um, so you pull this out, yep. pressure is completely released, right? And then you can use this tool Unlock, yeah, to take yeah, that cool. off. Yeah. Wow. So now there's no risk. Right. That's cool. Yeah. As long as you're, you can't. As long as you don't replace the tri clamps. So we thought of that. Right. We thought, well, you know what people could do. Right. Is just well, first of all, they could just take, they could have one tool and use it on all their kegs. And right. Right. So we permanently attach everything. Yeah. The other thing is you could just put a regular tri clamp on there with a regular thumb screw, yep. and that would bypass the system as well. But to prevent that, um, we actually created custom tri clamps. So this is a custom part right yep. here. So this, there's a little post under here. Yep, I can see it. And then this is actually serves as a post as well for the lid. Yep. And both of these tri clamps, unlike regular tri clamps, have a little, have a little notch cut right, out yeah, of them. Right. Yeah, I can see it. So yeah. if you try to put a regular tri clamp on there, it's not going to work. Not going to work. Yeah. Uh, same with the four inch. Nice. Yeah. So you can't put a regular tri clamp on there, and you can't you can't use a regular thumb screw either because that's a different style of right. thread. Yeah, cool. This is completely different. So Love this, it. yeah, it's a way to just use tri clamp safely. And the last yeah. thing we did was um, being a finance guy and dealing with insurance companies. Yeah, exactly. I, I do like safety. Right. Yeah. And so the last thing we did was we um, we started talking to commercial brewers once yeah. we started doing this. So we talked to the guys at Dissolver. We talked right. to the guys at Asheville Brewing Company. We heard some stories of some stuff that happened down at Burial. And um, the thing that we learned from those folks is that the number one risk in a commercial setting is like the tri clamps literally just they they come straight out like right here and yep. like the end of this piece right here would be in line with that. Yep. So 
one of the biggest risks in commercial brewing is something hits the thumb screw yeah. and literally it can just like pry right past that. Yeah. So at the bottom of, you know, a thousand gallon fermenter. I gotcha. The boom, that stuff's just blasting everywhere. Yeah, There's right, really no right. way to stop that. So what we did was we, yeah, we like designed that. a little catch yeah. on there. So in order to take this off, right. you yep. have to, you literally, you can't, you can't take it off unless you completely, completely yeah. you know, screw it way past its release. So, cool. so we have a provisional patent on this. Just, you know, we have, we, we weren't sure if we wanted to add some more stuff. So yeah. we're kind of just letting the year expire on that. Yeah. Um, and then we'll wrap it up. But we're, yeah. you know, we're super stoked about this. That's cool. Yeah. Love it. Love the in and the out too on the. Yeah, the kegs, yep, right? exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and it's just. Yeah, fermenting in kegs is awesome. I mean, we, we started doing that a long time ago, and we realized, we realized, like, this is the way to ferment beer. Just ferment it in the keg. Right. Because you, and for some beers, you don't even have to transfer it out of the keg. You put it in there, you add the yeast, you ferment it, and you can put it, you can put it right on tap. You right. You don't have to do anything. One less step, one, one less, less movement. Step. Yeah, totally. Very cool. Exactly. Um, and like, yeah. obviously, I don't know anything about brewing beer. I mean, obviously, people watching this, right? They're they're gonna have real knowledge about what you just talk through, and it's yeah. I mean, I think our it's viewers, cool. There's probably trovers to people just getting into it. Yeah. So yeah. I would say people are yeah. That's cool. I mean, this well, is 100% going to be a big change for homebrewing. That'd be great. Yeah. But then even commercial brewers, well, is, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's okay. See, if you want to ferment it, mm -hmm. you can't do a full batch. Right. So, like, that's the, the best difference. Like, who, it's safe to who manufactures them. these things? Clawhammer Supply. Yeah, we do. We make them. Yeah. Cool. So... Um, there you go. Yeah. That's where so you go. The, 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 the keg is going to be, you know, this is the, this whole thing here is going to be what's useful to homebrewers. Yeah. But the, the tri clamp, the yeah. updated tri clamp design, and then the updated tool design, we really think that's actually going to potentially make an impact in commercial brewing. Cool. Because if everybody switched to something like this, yeah. there, would, there would definitely be a fewer accidents on right the on. fermentation side of things. No doubt. That's huge. I mean, I you know, again, breweries. it's like if you're. A company that has, you know, so your self-insured insurance, right? I mean, yeah. All it takes is one event, and or like, that's a I mean, big loss. I mean, we were brewing. We were just brewing last week on a live stream, and like, I just forgot to put like the most right. important ingredient in, which is like no big deal. You know what's getting hurt. Yeah. But it's like when you're drinking and hanging out, buddy, brewing. Right. You're not paying attention. You know. Yeah, you're multitasking or yeah. whatever, and, and, and you it's know, like, shit like, happens, well, I'm, right? I'm smart enough to know that. It's like. Yeah, you probably are. You are you, until you, you aren't, but right? But people make mistakes. Yeah. That's it, right? Well, it's like so, anything. If you can, yeah. if you can keep the same pro, right? You're not slowing the process down. You're just putting more safety into it, right? right? That's it's, it. It's not yeah. huge. And it, yeah. And that's, that tool is so nice to yeah. use. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that was one of the things we were worried about. We were worried about this, yeah, being too cumbersome, so cumbersome that people were just—they were going to cut the cable, yeah. and they were going to, or cut the ring or something. Yeah. And I feel like we. Honestly, I feel yeah. like it's no slower than using a regular tri clamp. In fact, I think it's easier because you can get the you, you know you can out. get the torque yeah. you need yeah. on the tri clamp to to actually seal it up. Yeah. And they're super smooth, which is nice. Yeah, and it's like yeah, it does kind of hurt your finger to use yeah. a regular. Like, I think this is a definite improvement. Right. From it does, and it doesn't from a regular you know, tri clamp cleaning standpoint. From all the all the other yeah. aspects of it, it doesn't create any issue. Yeah, and you know, one of the things that on our original prototype, uh, this fitting here was actually a threaded fitting. Got it. And we realized, mm. you know what, that's that just adds, that's right. a bad idea. Yeah. It's another potential leak point. It, yep. it, it's a potential for, cool. this creates potential for like a little crevice for wild right. yeast and bacteria to get into. Yeah, so yeah, right, right. We just welded that. It's all machine welded, yep. so sanitary welds and selector plate. Well, that looks and, great, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, later. yeah, it only took us. That's all right. Hey man, hey man. a year behind that's, our deadline. Yeah, that's how advancements <laughs> happen, you know. No, no, and our customers do. Yeah, everybody's been super cool. About yeah, I was gonna say so, people who've actually yeah. tried it. What's the well, feedback? Pre well, yeah, people well, pre-order. Pre <laughs> we just haven't shipped them. <laughs> so, because you make, because you're too busy making cider. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, they're at the machine shop now. Well, we, someone had, you had to finish off these kegs and empty them. Yeah, <laughs> now you're right. good, right? Yeah. They're, they're, That's they're cool. Yeah, yeah, dude. Love it. They don't want yeah. me to machine these parts. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. 
Dude, can I give you? I need to eat like a couple more bites of taco. <laughs> Have you eaten any tacos? No. You didn't get any in? You went inside the. You... So Kyle's going for a taco break. Um. So, X Masail Brewed, yeah, I would love that. Um. What's the what's the brewery? Um, the dog brewery. Thirsty dog is it thirsty dog? Salty dog. Yeah. There's a thirsty. I think so. Christmas ale is uh, a winter ale that yeah. Great Lakes Brewery in Cleveland's been doing okay. probably since the late '80s, '90s. I think. Yeah. I, I remember it, like when it came out. That was like when you knew it was winter season yeah and like every bar would have like christmas hell kegging they'd be like we're tapping yeah, up yeah. In whatever october 15th or whatever and that's like when the holiday season started yeah yeah and it's just like a spiced it's what you think like christmas hell, like kind of like winter yeah winter, yeah. Um, winter welcome what, or yeah what's one old here? fizzy wig or yeah like, exactly <laughs> that's right so but not, not megan or something like that and it's like the i think the original brewer one of the original brewers from great lakes went to a different brewery, and they make a, a Christmas ale as that well. That's good. really nice. Uh, they're both really nice, um, but it's one of those where like it just kind of puts you in the in the mood. In the it, it, yeah, especially it, like when you've been drinking it since yeah. you know you were in high school. Yeah, it like puts you in like right back just there. that in that yeah. It, like it's it, just like it's so good how the different seasons bring out the yeah. different taste buds. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. It's just like nostalgic. Yeah, like, so. <laughs> that's a yeah, good way. Um, so. I'd like to do a little something like a little totally. winter ale or yeah, it's good. Idea. Someone, someone, so people suggesting what you yeah. Can... This this guy Durant X said, "How about an X Ale Brew Day?" Yeah, that's why I was asking. I, I know he's from that area. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's Thirsty Dog, and I think it's I forget Love that something winter ale. I forget what it's called. Let me know, Dave. Let me know what that is. But yeah, it's that time of year. Dark ale. It, it is, yeah. Oh, the fall's great around here, isn't it? It's the best. We went up, um, last Friday, we went up to, we hadn't been up there in a bit, we went up to um, Black Balsam's oh, Knob yeah, dude. for the sunset and then the full moon rise, dude, so and it good. was like... That's the best. Oh, so, so, and you know, it's an easy hike. You can haul in some snacks. And it's not and it, super hot this yeah, time Yeah, not too, super hot. Yeah, it's my, it's like my favorite time to go camping. Yeah. For sure. Especially like... We're finally getting into it, like where it's going to be like high of 70. Yeah, like that's, <laughs> that's it. That's where I thrive. I'm all good. Sun's down at like five, six. Yeah. I'm like, this is where I thrive. So this temperature is getting up there now, right? Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. And the thing is, we should probably. Oh, God. I should. Are we not hooked up? That's what happens when you got mini cooks in the. Uh... Yeah. So that clamps right on. And this basically just recirculates. Yeah. Um, actually, look, there's going to be a ton of air in the line, so I'm just going to take that off. It smells good. It smells really, it smells yeah. like fall. Yeah. yeah, it does. Let's get all the air out. And this. Recirculating keeps the temperature consistent because obviously the heating elements there. Um, Got it. But no, I mean, with cider, probably not that important. Um, but with brewing, when you're trying to keep a consistent yep. temperature, okay. And then this, this is mainly for the brewing, but it just so. So right now you're just gonna it's you're gonna start. Yeah. Serving, yeah. So like we're bringing beer and there's grains in here. That'll flow over the grains through the basket, and it helps with efficiency, but it also keeps the temperature consistent. Yeah. Um, but this way, when you're at 170, like we're not at 170 here and right, 180. Right. Just, yeah, yeah. You know, temperature, heat rises. And it's a big kettle with that much liquid. You're going right. to have some striation. So that's the right Sweet. word, right? That sounds fancy yeah. and smart. I'm telling you. Dude, that keg came out. That's pretty cool. Dude, super excited. I'm not a brewer, but I get it. That, that, that's really cool. Yeah, pressure from fermentation is awesome, but I've always been a little bit scared of it. Yeah, so. of course. I like brewing, but not to where. Right, you're not, not to where it's very dangerous, right. And there's uh, our there's our guy. I'll be doing that all weekend if you need him. I've been tuning his motorcycle up lately. For about 
three weeks straight. Really? Just getting it right. Get just imagine that for four hours. Oh. It's like uh, not that, but just literally what you just did there. Just right, 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 right. Um, I had a camera. Here we go. We're making 13 gallons <laughs> today. Today we're making yeah. 13. <laughs> yeah, I put that comment. 50 gallons, baby. I mean, so this is 13 gallons. <clears throat> Yeah, so the, have. we'll have 50 gallons out of here for sure. Yeah, all, when it's all said. Yeah, 45, 50. Yeah. These are five? Six and a half. Six, yeah. yeah so. Six and a half, but you don't pull them all the way up. Yeah, five, 30. Yeah, 50 gallons. Five and a half, you have a gallon of head space. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you need to leave air? You, yeah. When you're fermenting, you do. Yeah. If you're, um, you can sh Kyle can show you a video from last week. Yeah, well, you don't leave enough headspace. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to have two mics. Yeah. I want to have another set of mics yeah. for us to use, so that in case when you stop by, I wouldn't have to be swapping the mics out. Yeah. But uh, I lost a set last week, like a $300 set of uh, mics, because my um, one gallon fermenter just blasted all over the, uh, the kitchen <laughs> cap, the counter. Oh, I remember you telling me that. Dude, I had mics plugged in right behind Oh, me my God. Up, so. It's just destroyed. It was a $600, $600 gallon beer. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm gonna. I think I have the video. Yeah, here it is. is I, wo I will not woke up to, but I was watching TV. Kyle sends me this every morning, <laughs> and I was like, "Shit, I didn't tighten the thing enough. I thought it leaked from there." But then he kept panning up, and I was like, "Oh, the airlock blew out." Wow. Then he spans over. It's. Oh man. It was a half a gallon. Half a gallon. It blew, the blast radius is about eight feet. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. We need to put that on the internet. That, it's on oh, it's Instagram. on the internet? Yeah, oh, I don't yeah. Instagram. It'll be on YouTube as well. Gotcha. I'll make a video of that. Sweet. Yeah, I, woke, I was like, uh, at first I was like, oh, shit, I didn't screw in the thing. Yeah, like, maybe I'll I'm like, oh, man. Then, then I was like, oh, was, was it really my fault? <laughs> it's a team effort. So this hits 170, and then what's next? We'll hang, it, we'll hang out for a minute. Yeah. yeah. A minute, we'll, then we'll or cool two. Down, and then we'll put it in a keg. We'll put it in two different kegs, and we'll have yeast, and we're done for the day. Yeah, yeah let how me grab you, the yeast bag, and we'll go through How do you cool them. it down? Oh, yeah, you should take the yeast over. Um, that chili. Oh, that's actually... But what's it hooked up to? Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a good question, right? Oh, the best question. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> so, we need to add... We need to... <laughs> I understand why you're asking this question. <laughs> so we need to add a uh, like just garden hose water. Yeah. So we'll add some uh, water from the garden hose. It's like 50 groundwater temp. Yeah. And that, that'll be cold enough to cool it down to 70 over I don't know, 10 minutes or so. So we'll, but we're so so it's it's yeah. running right, through yeah. here, right? I don't know if this is on camera. Yeah, it's on one of the cameras, I think, right? Yeah, it's on that camera Don't probably. Yeah. Oh, oh, this guy? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll put um, garden hose water will come in here in yeah. the bottom and yep. that fitting, and then it will come out here. And then the, the, the excuse me, the cider. Farmhouse, nice. It stays, it stays on farmhouse. What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah 100%. Ted hasn't used it yet. Um, the, the cider is coming in here. So, like, this is a jacket. This tube here is just yeah. a jacket around, around that Around it. Yeah. I see. So, so there's a mix. tube inside a tube. Yeah, exactly. Got it. There you go. The right. counter flows are actually kind of quite a bit slower than the um, plate chillers. But Super cool. But it'll, it'll go. So I should probably go ahead and get the hose hooked up. It's right here. Yeah, but I need to turn it off. It's turned off. Yeah, 169. Okay. So, farmhouse pail. Uh, okay. Hybrid saison style. That's going to be one of them. So this is yeast. That's the yeast. Yeah. So there's different companies. So this is uh, Lalaman. This yep. is Cellar Science. Um, and then so is. how much of this? Like, are That'll you? That'll do five gallons. That will. Mm -hmm. Wow. There's, there's, I don't know, millions of cells in here. It probably says on there. But there's a ton of. Yeah, so like dosage here, it'll tell you if yep, yep. five to six gallons. Mm. Um, so, cool. and and they design it for. Yep. For some reason, home brewing is just 
not for some reason, but the fact that this five gallon batches are home brewing size because corny kegs are five gallons. Corny kegs are like Pepsi and Coke kegs from McDonald's yep. and Wendy's and stuff. Super cool. Back in the day. So that's cellar science. So we'll and you got to keep it keep it cold to keep the it keeps it alive keeps or whatever. It, ooh, Belgian wit style. Man. There you go. Scott, you want to have you pick pick some of these out? Maybe we can show show them on the camera. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're gonna go top down. Is what we're gonna we do. Need an adapter or are we good? No, we're fine. Okay. But it's gonna be. Oh crap. I mean, literally though, I could just flip it over. Oh, it's perfect because it's hot in and cold in. That's how you want it, right? Or is it opposite? I don't know, man. I'm just gonna do. Um, I think if I were setting it up, I would have done this a different way. I, I do. Would, I don't. Yeah. I you hooked the up. No, dude, you, you hooked it up. You asked me what to do, and I was like, but I said... Yeah, but then I unhooked everything, right? I didn't hook it up. Oh, no. gotcha. yeah. But remember, you were asking me questions, I said, and I said, by the way, I just... I just said yes. I, I just said yes, and I, I didn't, didn't really think well, about just, that question. When I was cleaning it, I didn't even... I wasn't but, even worried about that's it. That's fine. Not just... I'm flipping it over. It's fine. Okay. But is it opposite? Know. It's hot in, cold out? Um, Yo, that's true. You want them to go in opposite yeah. directions. So, no, this is, they're going opposite directions okay, cool. this way. Yeah. I think you got that part. It's just the. Um, I, I didn't even like, look. I just looked it up. I was like, oh, I'm just running PBW. Through. Yeah, it's just how the garden hose hooks up to it. Um, oh, that's hot. Here's our yeast thread. So. <sighs> what about that? Um, farmhouse hybrid saison style, yes, 100%. I'm guessing that means saison style, yeah. What does that mean? What is saison? I mean, I want, yeah, definitely saison. Dude, complex saison beer de garde. That's like, that's like a. Yeah, okay. Grab liquid that are cold. Well, you could Let's do the saisons. Yeah, saison night. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna grab a drain hose for that. Uh, man. Um, Yeah. I don't have a mic. What? Oh, okay. All right. It doesn't have a mic. So any need like to clean or prep the hose, anything like that? It's just because it's it's hot, right? Yeah. Well, you do have to clean the. Fermenters. So yeah, you, yeah. You have to clean them more, and you have to sanitize them as well. So we've done both. What do you do? It just you clean with a base and you sanitize with an acid. Got generally, um, what's that, buddy? There's a down here if you want to show. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, you can show them. So pop them up. Probably like just put them on the corner right there, and people will be able to see them. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, five stars, a company that makes a lot of brewing specific cleaners so this Got is it. this is the cleaner yep and then the star sand is the sanitizer so you clean it first with the, the cleaner typically like you want to heat it up to like 170 really okay it gets real hot and works real well um definitely want to wear like rubber gloves yeah it's not like right yeah not a real it's not crazy, crazy but like you don't want it in your eyes or right your skin. got it and then same with this so like right now all those kegs uh ran 160 degree Yep. W through all of them. Yeah. And then transferred it from keg to keg to keg. Yep. And then right now they're all sitting with star sand, so. Got it. And then that way, you should be. I mean, there's always a risk because we're not in a brewery. We're right, inside, right, but, right. You know, you do as but, much as you can. Exactly. Yeah, well said. Yeah. Okay. Mitigate your losses. 
Dude, I like the I like these questions. I, I'm learning, man. Talk I'm, about this stuff. Yeah, it's got, I'm curious mostly. Yeah. That's that's where the questions usually mm -hmm. come out of. No, curious and stupid. No, you know, so it just. But it's stuff like we don't think about. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because like when you've been doing it, it's like right. Do it. So so now you you shut that off, or it's just regulating at that temperature, right? It's just regulating currently. So we're ready to shut her down. And I so you're kind of just letting it settle. Yeah. So basically, mm -hmm. with the controller, you can just set a temperature, and it'll it'll. Hold yeah. Kind of hold it right there. But then, what do you think, man? Should we? Uh, you only have two types of yeast out. We have two five gallons. We have like 13 gallons in here. Oh, so we're, so we're gonna to, need. Should we get some one gallons? Yeah, we're gonna need maybe, maybe like two, maybe three different more types of yeast. And I kind of want to fill the one gallons first, yeah. and then. Yeah, I wasn't wasn't prepared for that for today, but we can. Do it. They're not <laughs> no. clean. They're not clean or sanitized. Oh, they're not. Okay. Um, so I, can, I can do it real quick. Yeah, we could do it. Like, yeah, yeah one of us could do. You want to do it real quick? Well, yeah, I'll do it. I'll just do it in the kitchen, super so. fast, because yeah. I mean, it just takes so three of them. Takes like a couple so five we'll minutes. So we'll have five and a half. That's ten. Three of them, 11, and then I think we'll probably only use two, two of them. So do two. I bet. And then I'll drink that. We're probably I'll bring gonna, the rest on. Drink it. Yeah. We'll drink the rest. The yeah. thing that's left, we'll do two. Sure. And then we'll do we shots. might even have some shots bourbon or something in there. Ooh, we can. Nice. Will, will it actually? I'm. I'm yeah, oh, just straight cider. It'll just be cider. Put cider yeah. and like put some Which bourbon is in like, or something. A lot of times when I make hard cider, the best part of it is drinking. The, drinking the drinking cider. cider. Yeah, really? Hot cider with yeah. some booze in it. Yeah, I'll clean three. I'll clean two. How do okay. you? Once it's ready to go in there, like. We'll just take that fitting off and we'll pop it in the keg. And pop it in the yeah. keg. Once Got it's it. ready. Got but it. But it, it is ready. I'm going to say it's ready. Well, we need to chill it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and it. turn the cooling water on. Yeah. Turn the heat off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what, what yeast? Just two. How about this? Do you give me the options for the yeast. Give me like three options and we'll, add, like, we'll ask people what they want us to put in there. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Options. East Coast, West Coast, Kavai. Ooh. East Coast, West Coast, West Coast and Kavai. Just comment on what you want us to use. Yeah. And cool. uh, whatever has the least whatever gets voted has, off the island. Has one vote wins. Right. right. All right. So I'm going to turn the heat off by hitting the heat button. And I'm going to go ahead and turn. So the hose is hooked up, but the cooling, like the water's not on yet. Yep. I'll turn it on real quick. So heat's off. Heat's off. Yep. Cool stuff here. Certainly a process. Checking this thing out here. Okay. All right. So you've got water running through. Are you circulating this through as well? Yeah, and I'll, I'll show you that in a second. Yeah. But just show you this. You can probably even feel this. Also, I need to rinse my feet off because they're like still covered in applesauce, apple juice. But yeah, bud. They feel this water. It's groundwater. Right. So it's like it's yeah, kind of lukewarm. Yeah. Lukewarm. Yeah. Yep. But it's kind of just it's pulling the heat off that. Right. Right. Totally. The stuff that's going through there. So then, like, how do you know when it's the right temperature? Is that what this is measuring here or now? Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that guy. Do you have a little slight little leak here? So this um, temp crib here. Yep. This is a temp crib. It's in a thermal well, so it's just measuring the temperature of the liquid. In so there. as you're circulating it through uh, across the cold water, that's going to stop start to drop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's the ideal temperature before you then put it in the in the kegs? Seventy. Oh, 70, seventy. Seventy degrees. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to turn the pump off real quick. I'm actually just going to go ahead and run it straight in here. Okay. Get a little better, faster flow. Yeah. That's cool, bud. Yeah, man. That's really the, cool. The counterflow chiller is nice. They're cool. Um, they are le they're less likely to clog than this. This has a, just a bunch of different plates. And a bunch of like you can kind of see on the yeah, pattern yeah, there, right, it kind of right. just goes back and forth. It's a lot faster, but it could get clogged. And yeah. We rarely use our counterflow. Yeah. Um, we probably should have used the plate for this one because yeah. it's going to take longer to do that. But 
but that it's already kind of cool though. Yeah, it's yeah. coming down though. It's coming yeah. down. Two degrees. Two two whole degrees. Yeah. Do you have a? I can grab one out of the container, you know, but. You're slowing the flow out of the pump. What the? Out of the pump. Not out of the oh, cap. sure. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Can you um, look in the one of the drawers there and see if you can get me a? No, no, it just needs to be a little bit tighter. Just yeah. The blue yeah, if you can, if it's in there. Yeah. All right. Let's see what's going on in the comments here. No, that's not going to work. I need a, an actual... Okay. I'll have to get in the container. Can you take that back in? Uh, yeah. It's too small. No, it just... It's a crescent wrench. It's not going to work for that. Gotcha. Well... I mean, you can make I, it do lots of things. It, I'll try it, because that... It's fine, it's fine. That has... This has a... Like yeah, but the other, the other fitting doesn't. Gotcha. So... We'll see. I just hand tightened it and it was kind of yeah, well, did so haphazardly. Too, so. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's not that bad of a thing. Cool. No. No, I mean, just get a yeah. pair of vice grips. Correct tool. All right. All right. Dipped out of the screen here, but I'll be right back getting in the old shed to get some vice grips out. Usually you can get by tightening the um, <clears throat> hose connections on the chiller by hand. Though it's kind of hot right now and I didn't do it before it got hot. And I have a little bit of a leak so I need to get some vice grips or something like that. Hey, so you're already down 15 yeah, degrees. Oh, nice. Dude. It's fancy car day. At I guess so, man. Oh, look at that thing. Craig, Jack. In the house, oh, right? Now I do need the... What do you need? I need the, the crescent wrench that I had. I'll grab it. <laughs> Jack, what up? what's up, bud? I'm just like watching pros right. at work. Where's that crescent wrench? I do need yeah, it. Uh, you good, man? Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah. I'm watching you guys on the internet. They, they've dented this thing, right? Like, yeah. dude. Third shift coming up, right? Yeah, I know. I asked you to come over to see if you could just really take over because we need to go. Yeah, I got this. Yeah, no <laughs> I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned all kinds of stuff that I didn't know and I'll probably forget tomorrow morning, but it's pretty cool. Well, you can, it's being recorded, right? So you can I get, yeah, I could watch it. Well, the coolest thing, man, is what they, the changes they made to that home, home keg is, again, from a safety standpoint, being an accountant, I'm always down with that and then efficiency and you wouldn't want to drink the first thing that I made that's for sure that's what I've learned what have you been up to you hit the box today no I sliced my thumb open, how'd so. you do that Tonight. it's cutting apples <laughs> tell me who is it opening a box oh man oh that's good it's gonna take a few days stitches off. or no no good that's what good happened? Kind of like what you remember when we were making dinner that night? You cut your thumb. Yeah. You cut your finger. I kind of did the same thing. You it was like borderline. Called Drew to come and stitch it up. But <laughs> did I ever tell you about that? No. About cut. Like I, I literally like cut most of the end of my finger off. Really. Just chopping vegetables. So the first thing I did was text Drew a picture of it because I was thinking like I've never cut myself this like, way before. Is this bad? I might need to go to the ER. I'm not sure. And I texted Drew, who's a you know ER doctor, and um. He just said, he's like, all right, I'll be there in 15 or 20 minutes. <laughs> That's all he said. 
And then he showed up on his black ops uh, electric <laughs> motorcycle with the, his, you know. Fanny pack and stitched it right yeah, up. Exactly. That's He's like, I had that's to stop a good by the VA to, to get some, to re-up on some supplies. That's so good. So we drank beers while he stitched, he stitched my hand up. I'll tell you what, though. I felt better when we were at his house, right? And I tore my calf muscle. And he's like, yeah, you'll be all right, man. You know, like, it's good, man. You didn't tear your, you know, Achilles or anything like that. I'm like, oh, okay, man. That's not it. Walk it off. Yeah, that's usually his prognosis. He'll be fine. Yeah. Well, that's what, yeah. yeah, he did warn me. He goes, you know, just so you know, Drew has a tendency to, like, unless <laughs> you're, you're, like, your arm is. Yeah, he's notoriously cavalier about his. Cavalier yeah. about his diagnosis. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Good. Did you pick all these apples? No. Only the good ones. Where'd these come from? Uh, the bike. We're gonna do you a civil war, because I don't wanna okay. any other shoes. Okay. But people voted heavily for the bike. all right, fine. Um, yeah. So we got all these check. We probably have done, gone through 20% of them, I would say. I mean, what, what would is you it? say? 25, maybe, I don't think a quarter. I wanna see what that looks like. 20% like. yeah. of them? 100 bucks. Just little. These from Justice like, Farms. And then I got uh, Jen three bags for like making applesauce. Sixty-six. Uh oh. Sixty-six dollars. Is that all juice? Emmett. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, man. It's all good. Coming yep. in hot. There we go. Whoever. Uh, I, 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 I doubt anybody voted this long. No. But yeah. Man. Yep. Didn't, didn't do the full tug. Yeah. I was adding. Uh, no, that's fine. You couldn't see it from the other side. Where's the going? Where's it going? Oh, you said. I was just going straight in. Yep. Cool. I'm gonna hose that down. Can you grab those? Uh, shit, I can't hose it down. Camera? No. See that? Uh, so Kyle, it's a win. Kyle borrowed a pickup truck and came home with 25 bushels of apples. So here's bucks. Yeah. They're all they're like on the floor apples. Dales. 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 Yeah. Like Watch out, Craig. I'm gonna yeah, get your feet there. I'm man. good. Clear. These are actually alive. Like once they're on the sugar, I guess. Sorry. Alright. We're good. <laughs> this is how they do it in actual yeah, brews. Yeah. Just hose it all down. Yeah, I mean, I like all the floors. If you ever go to an actual brewery, the yeah. the floor is no, just I love set that. up to drain. The, the, the yeah. stone base is just... Yeah. Oh, really? What was that? Never. Uh, no, I don't know. I'm an accountant. Right. Oh, this you want is the new tram. Sure, got it. Cool. Yeah. I had to do it at oil, but... Yeah. right there and ask some, ask, oh, ask some questions. Oh, okay. Ask some dumb questions. <laughs> How did that happen? Yeah. <laughs> no, I was watching you guys on the internet today and yeah. watching you grind apples and mm -hmm. problem solve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool, Man, right? I can tell there's a lot of degrees in this group. Yeah. <laughs> um, no arts degrees? <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of arts degrees. That accounting degree is really yeah. helpful right now. Yeah. I have a master's of fine arts. Would you like fries with that? <laughs> Paper or plastic? <laughs> uh, Jack is an old schooler. Uh, on the Callhammer channel, I think our, the second beer we ever brewed on our channel was at your farm. The, the black bear video. Jack, do you Yeah. Are you no, I'm just a uh, helper. Information and fun. Yeah, that was a good brew, and we we picked a bunch of wild blackberries. Yep. And yeah, so, blackberry dude, this beer. was how many years ago? Five years ago, easily, probably more. Mm -hmm. Maybe at least five. Yeah, somewhere between five and seven. Yeah, so Jack's got a sweet farm out in uh, Madison County, and uh, up on a big up on a ridge, on his neighbor's property, there's wild blackberries that grow. So we went up there, picked a bunch of blackberries, threw it in a porter. It was pretty good. It was, really, it was really good, actually. Nice. Yeah. What's what's happening here? You're just cooling it down? Yeah, we're just chilling it. So we're at 125. We need to be down at 70, 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. But we can transfer into kegs. Yeah. Yep. Are these the ones you're going with? Yeah. So what we're going to do, Emmett, Kvike, and we're going to do... 
USO5, which is like, USO5 is just a super common ale yeast. Like this is a very, very common ale yeast. Um, the farmhouse hybrid says, I'm not really sure what that means. What is hybrid style? I'm hoping that means a, like a little funky. Sure. Yeah, under pitch it. Um, and stress out a little bit. And then we have just a, it says premium beer yeast, so uh, complex saison, so beer de garde yeah. style. So two types of saison. Kvike, this is Norwegian farmhouse yeast. And then, um, yeah, just this standard yeast. Yep. Same old shit. Oh, you're still mic'd up. Yeah, can oh, I turn yeah. it off? Or 123? Alright, 123. Do you guys get any beers? Beer? These mics have to die soon. I'm stunned that they're still going. Yeah, I have another set. I was like, I could get a third mic out and yeah. give it to somebody. I thought this would have died a long time ago. Yeah. It's not a mascot, is it? You think I know what goes on in its head? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, sorry about your finger, bud. Oh, that's all right. You do leg stuff, right? Yeah. Bike and run. Were you doing the um, the mad cow stuff? Yeah. That's cool. It's cool, right? Yeah, I like it. I feel like I gain like good strength quickly at that. You know? Yeah. I, I haven't bench. I want to get in there and bench it. I haven't bench in a bit, so. Yeah. So what's the what did the crowd vote on yeast wise? Um, Saison, well, Saison was already on the table. A farmhouse, no, sorry, two types of Saison. And then Kvike, this is like a newer style of yeast. Uh, the thing is, like, the yeast kind of, it changes in that there are new types of, I don't know, they're like subtly new types of yeast, but this is a like dramatically new type of yeast that just sprung up recently that nobody really had heard of, you know, in modern times. It's from uh, Norway. Wow. And so it's like an actual little, this is a strain that was harvested from essentially homebrewers, you know, or like really small scales in yeah. Norway that had been using this yeast for hundreds of years. That's so cool. And, um, and so it become really specialized and because of the way they brew, yeah. it has been basically bred to work well at warmer temperatures, right? Yeah. So typically if you, if you do like USO5 at 100 degrees, it's going to taste bad. It's not right. going to be good. And this is one of the more, like probably one of the most common yeast yeah. people would use. But this stuff thrives at that. That's and cool. because yeast um, works faster at higher temperatures, this will just crush a beer in you know two or three days even. Wow. Whereas you know it could take seven to ten days or fourteen days, and it won't taste bad because it's they've sort of just um, uh, you know bred it I guess you know cool. pick pick the good strains and. So there's an upper it. limit on the temp as well, so a yeast can live yeah. between. This, yeah, this like, temp and yeah, like at a certain point, the yeast will just die. So for most yeast, at a certain point, you know, there's an upper limit, um, and you want to, you know, you typically want to push it higher because it will ferment faster. Yeah. But then the higher you go, the more typical like off flavory stuff the yeast will produce, most of it. Um, this stuff though, is like super temperature tolerant. It goes really high, it, higher than any other yeast, Kvike yeast. So where this stuff needs to be at like 70 degrees or lower, this stuff thrives at 100 degrees. And it will ferment out in a third of the time that this stuff will. Mm. So Kvike has been become really popular with home brewers and you know, commercial brewers. So two types of Saison, Kvike and So if you, if you were to look at those under a microscope, would they look different? Um, no. Uh, They'd all look so, the same. So far as I know, they will look the same. Yeah. But you, I think you have to do some... One will just be swimming faster. Actually, Craig, you would probably know better than, you know, you work for like a biotech company. You know, what the, um, I don't know, you're not in the lab, but... You I'll know make how, something up that'll sound. Funny. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I think they would all look similar under a microscope, but you'd have to do additional testing. But Emma and I just did take a two-day course at White Labs where we looked at a bunch of stuff under a microscope. Cool. But it was basically like we were comparing brewing yeast and wild yeast and wild bacteria. And so the takeaway is like brewing yeast is about 10 times larger or, or more than like wild yeast and wild bacteria. And it has a pretty uniform shape. Whereas like the wild yeast and the wild bacteria 
much, much smaller, right. and then they have weird shapes. It, it'd be interesting hmm. to see the movement at different temperatures, though, right? Kind of like... Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Man, this was wild, man. Our thing, the thing we did at White Labs is wild. Yeah. Because, you know, if they're working with the big brewery and they're trying to identify, you know, what, what's going on with right. that, you're making bad beer. Why? Right. It's optimization. Yeah. Right? yeah so a lot of, like, the bacteria beer. and stuff that would, uh, like, kick in off flavors into a beer, it looks very similar. Yeah. Um, so they'll use different dyes. So, like, different bacteria will show up with differently with different dyes. Mm -hmm. And they also use different growth mediums. Wow. So they grow in, like, with different sets of nutrients yeah, yeah, because yeah. certain types of bacteria will grow better in yeah, this right, type of right. growth medium versus this type of growth medium. Pretty pretty cool. It's pretty That'd, tedious. Yeah. I think it could be a tedious work, but... Science, right? Yeah, it's science. Yeah. Good. Are, are 100 degrees? Are yeast asexual? Or yeah. is... So yeah. They just... They don't... They there's, don't no, there's no yeah. male-female kind of thing? Yep. Yep. They get it all done by themselves. No mating in the yeast world. Hmm. Too bad for them. They just take care of it. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna, I gotta roll on a few. All right, gentlemen. man. Thanks for stopping by, Craig. Dude, Dude you helped out a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah, as soon as you walked in, the, the, the viewership, <laughs> the viewership just went. <laughs> it's the effect I have on things. I'm gonna give you, a, yeah. Tell me how well, many you, bottles you, of cider you, you want. You're gonna start your own channel. <laughs> that's, 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 I'm looking around at you. It's like, um, you're gonna be doing this tomorrow. Yeah. Like I'm totally gonna bring like one of my one of my sons, Connor. Yeah. Is like coming home from High Point tonight. Yeah. And like he loves like. Yeah, anything, totally. Engineering anything that's like touch, work, feel. Yeah, we're gonna definitely be back at it tomorrow. We're yeah. not gonna be filming, you but you we'll... guys have met him maybe at the box. He's been yeah, at yeah. The box, like... yeah, we play basketball. We're, yeah, we'll we play basketball. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. right. We'll let him like. I'm pretty sure he injured. Uh, a <laughs> he of caused it. That's right. He was defending it. Oh, right. you know what? It was uh, <laughs> Drew's nephews that took me out, and then your <laughs> your own kids. Did you? Yeah, SOBs. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll get in here tomorrow. We'll put him to work while we sit down on the couch yeah. and like watch football. Yeah. Juggle yeah. apples. You have to get a TV out here tomorrow though, because yeah. it's college football. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I like it, man. Get the VR goggles for that. Yeah, just like. All right, man. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Appreciate it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna move up so you can get out. Okay, sounds good. Oh, look at this. That's a gallon. Yeah, these are one gallon for minutes. Um, so I remember the last time the scissors were used, you chopped the tip off. Oh yeah, where'd they go? Okay. I mean the scissors. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah. But we're gonna need them. Mystery is still unsolved. All right. Dude, yeah, That's we got it. We have right, a knife. I'm out. I gotta run. I'll see you tonight. I'll Dude, see you tomorrow. Are you coming out tomorrow? Yeah, I'll come back. Are you starting at two? One, bring one of my kids. Yeah. That's about. Yeah. Two sounds like the earliest I'll be up. Like my son's got a like soccer game, so. Football and stuff like that. Yeah. Timing-wise. Yep, I'll be tied up in the morning, yeah. but. Sweet. We only got 50 more pounds. Yeah, good to see you. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Um, what are you tightening these with? Like, so, bring some. Uh, what do you mean? Just yeah. hand tighten. Okay. I want to tighten it yeah. by hand. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, yep. did you do that one that Drew did? Yeah. Nice. Right. How'd you do? Uh, it was like a little under two hours. Yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was right around nine minutes. One or four. We're getting there. Good job, bud. I'll see ya. I'll see ya. You ran? Yeah. One bar. 13 miles. When? You ran 13 miles? Oh, last weekend? Yeah, at one time, like in one stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jack said, wow. Jack, yeah, well, did that's a great question. Why side? did you run 13 miles? Did he leave with her mic? I don't think so. Jack, it's you right had the right. mic. Oh, it's right here. You just entertain your viewer like, I need to do something to live to 50. You're like, I just need to leave the house. Oh. No, I just wanted to test myself. To see yeah, that. dude, that's impressive. Jack, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, that's amazing. Jack made this cool um, poster for maybe the, maybe his, his run. Right now, maybe oh, quarter mile. Eight hundred meters. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. Your uh, um, animation you made, and I, my response was, "That's pretty sweet. Not sweet enough for me to run 13 miles, but it's pretty sweet. Have fun. You could do it if you <laughs> wanted to. Yeah, I could, oh, but for sure, right?" 
Yeah. Not without like some parts falling off. I mean, you can't just roll into 13 miles. Yeah. Like it's yeah, I have to I have to build up 13 miles. Dude, even in high school, like when I was in the best shape in college, you couldn't catch me running more than 4.2 for like a relay. Is that what a relay leg is? Like 4.2? 3.6? 3.6. I don't know. What am I? What am I? What am I? Metric? <laughs> Well, it's interesting when you look when you start digging into the nutrition side of it. Running, yeah. Cigarettes and whiskey, cider yeah. and beer. Yeah, like it's top, that. Top of the list. Carbs. Yeah, you carbs. Know, it's just like yeah. a good reason to eat a lot of carbs. Yeah. That's true. I mean, in those days, I was smoking cigarettes on the way to like the events, sweating out James <laughs> from the night before. In Were high you, school? No, like you know when you had like. Your first couple jobs, and they have like a relay, a work relay. Oh, team. you're running the relay for life for work, and you're showing up like, like uh, drunk. You're smoking on the way. Yeah, like whiskey <laughs> pouring out. Way. Like <laughs> my friend's dad, like running faster than me when he was like 60, and I was like 25. <laughs> yeah, when you're 25, it's just yeah, I don't know. That's your nutrition, you right? Do, right. It's what you did in the 90s. <laughs> Time for good. Dude. These apples. I feel like how many I feel like we could easily get these done tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we can get them done. I feel like totally. we need to have another table and just have press. A press yeah. Have yeah, 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 yeah. We that was our original plan, yeah. but no, it wasn't happening like here, this. I mean this does not need to be on a table. It does we only had this for it, filming. It does though because Why? we could be heating it up. Yeah, but we can heat up on the ground. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we can have crusher, press, yep. uh, kettle, the kettle. And yep. really, like, that's kind of the thing. And every time we film something, it never, we never do it how we would normally do it. Right. You're taking Because we're trying, we have to, like, sh we can't right. just put this on the ground and film it. Right. I mean, I mean, we could, but it would look kind of dumb. Like, right. we'd need another table. That's what I said. Yeah, we'd bring yeah, If we off. planned ahead, I mean, had an we, hour extra. If we only had three more tables. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When I was watching you guys crush these apples, I was just, had all these ideas going of why don't you take like a snow shovel just like a big flat shovel and they wouldn't they yeah. it would jam the crusher up you, you can only if, do, you, if you fill up the hopper it just no nope, that was out. the first thing we did we do dump the whole bucket, bucket in and it just didn't do anything it was so sad at that point we we're like this day just got long yeah i wonder if we had tried to push it down we we're kind of worried about the blades yeah, at that terrifying. point yeah. that's what i thought is if you had something to put, put a weight, weight like on a, top of it a board it. on it yeah, maybe we'll try that tomorrow. Yeah, but I also don't want to break it because it's not ours. Because when you filled the hopper, yeah. what the did it, the motor just stop working? No, it just gets it spins. stuck there and spins. So it's like yeah. oh yeah, and you got to push down from the top. But there's nowhere to it like it's. I think it's just a bad design. I don't know. We'll try it. Tomorrow. It looks sweet. It looks way nicer than our. We could or get our crusher out I mean, as well. We could have dual crush. When you're, when you, like, we have so many little apples now, and those go through super quick. The problem is, like, that, the like, grapefruit size one there. And honestly, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I'll, the I'll big break, apples. Maybe I'll we'll, we'll cut them. I'll cut them. Yeah, we have Do you guys ever play Fruit Ninja? Yeah. yeah we yeah. could do that. Yeah, Fruit I've got Ninja. a machete. You could just throw them yeah. up oh, and. Sure. We used to have crab apple fights when we were kids. Like, what do you got? That fucking wing them at each other. Or some hockey, I, like hockey ice skates, and you can just That's yeah walk on them. Some something needs to change for tomorrow in terms of crushing the apples up. I think we just go smaller and cut, cut the big ones. Yeah, because that was the. Not even that wasn't even the slow part. The slow part's depressing. You think it's pressing slower? Well, I think just having the series, like you were saying, if we did, we did well, it on the series, the yeah. Squeezing yeah. the kettle's heating while we're doing that. Right, yeah. Because, I mean, we, we're, we're waiting now. Yeah, we probably could have got through twice as much if we had just done it in series. Yeah, which, you know, yeah. with film, though, like, yeah. whatever. But, yep. Yeah, like, no one's going to do it this way at home. Like, so the assembly line approach is what we'll do the next time. Yeah. The accountant will like that. Yeah, Greg. Like, the CFO. <laughs> the C level financial officer. He's like, uh, this, the way you guys are doing this. <laughs> yeah, basically, Craig was it's like, not very efficient. I'm having a hard time watching you guys right now. <laughs> he's like, we can be doing multiple things. There's four of us. I'm sure that's what he's thinking. I don't know. Just met him, but I'm assuming he's like, these guys are idiots. 
Oh, and we'll use the play chiller tomorrow. Yeah, where are we at right now? 96. 96. Uh, we're doing one gallon of Kalite. Once you get down to 70, then you're going to pump it over into this. Should we do a gallon? Yeah, we could do a 90. Once it gets down to 90, yeah. we'll throw the Kvike in there. Yeah. For sure. Cool. Is this the like final? Yes, yeah, this is the final, final. The final, final. Final, final. Yeah. She's in production, final. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, a year. <laughs> this is the uh, tool that you guys invented? Yep. Custom tool. Yeah, and like you can tell it's a little. It's Here, like, take it off. Pull it. Yeah, no, you gotta unscrew it. So this is like screwed in. You gotta screw it in. Force it to get it removed. Yeah. The pressure. So as you do that, actually you could hear it because a little bit of pressure oh. built up. And so it releases the pressure, whether you, you, ideally you pull this and it will release the pressure, but even if you don't, it'll still release. And then this is a custom fitting here. But we actually oversized, we kind of made these a little bit bigger than this. It's not an exact fit. So it's like a little sloppy. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to like be exact when you get it on there, basically. It just makes it easier. Yeah, it makes it easier to get it on there, and like you can. You've had a couple drinks. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, you get it loose. to you know, get it loose enough to then like hand hand release, and then this is this extra little extension here is um, prevents you from you know, when we talked to the guys down at Dissolver, actually like the dude who manages their fermenters, he said the biggest risk is that you have a you have a tri clamp kind of loose in order to move what's called a racking arm and you accidentally hit this thing, and this is at the bottom of like a 700 gallon fermenter, and it actually pops off and blasts 700 gallons of beer on the ground. Um, with our tri-clamp, that can't happen because mm. we have that little nub there. So you, you just have to unscrew it a little bit further, which is fine, it just takes a couple of seconds. And then you can pop it up and take it off. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and then we have a, like we have a notch cut out of mm -hmm. the tri clamp, and we have a post in there, and there's a notch in this tri clamp, and this serves as a post as well. Impressive. Yeah. You guys got a patent? Yeah. But, yep. Provisional. The provisional. We, but we just didn't file for it. Yeah, we haven't filed for a final yet. But so this this scales up as well. Yeah, right? totally. Yeah, you can yeah. use this in commercial and or <laughs> homebrew yeah. for sure, homebrewing. You know, but you could totally use it in a commercial setting as well. And it will improve the safety because we've, we've definitely heard stories from com commercial brewers of people who have taken, I won't, I won't name them brewery, but this brewery downtown and they had a wooden ceiling and somebody took the top off of a, like a large fermenter there that was under pressure and blew one of these things through the ceiling. So, um, yeah, we've heard, we've heard a number of stories from Horror people. Story. Yep. Well, you about took one off the head. Back yeah, yeah, head. I took, yep. And that's that's kind of how what started the whole thing is that almost we were gonna start shipping the next day I think or the yeah. day after mm -hmm. and it was like no yeah. Put the universe on that. universe yeah. had other thank plans God. honestly yeah. thank God yeah because I mean but it's supposed to be a fun we're, hobby. we're excited don't need to die over uh, for many no is um is this for sale now pre-order that's pre-order. Yeah, for round two yeah. of the pre-order, so round one yeah. will ship first. And but then. like these are these are the final prototype parts, and they're in production now. So, but they take some time. This is a cast part, so you know they had to make the mold for it, and that was took some time. And this is CNC'd. Yeah. These are all done, actually. Those are done. We um, finalized those a while ago. The nuts are done. Yeah, these are all done, but it's really just these. These guys, and then the lid, and then the lid's kind of complicated. It's it's CNC'd, and the, there's like machine welding that's going in there, and like electroplating and stuff like that. So, and then, can the viewers see this right now? Yeah, 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 they can see it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So if you pre-ordered one, we talk about getting, it a lot. We're getting close. Another hopefully, hopefully, what hopefully this holiday season. Which holiday? I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, we're looking at 60 days production. Really good design. Pack, unpack everything, pack everything. So uh, that's, yeah, so this is just a long thermo well. So you can put a temperature probe in there. So mm -hmm. like if you have it in a chest freezer, you can set your ch chest freezer and it's actually gonna monitor the actual temperature inside the keg. Right now, people will just tape the temperature sensor to like the side of the keg, which works, but why not just have it in an actual thermo well, so. And then you just 
snug that down. It keeps the cord from pulling out. It's mm -hmm. similar, it's basically the same thing we have on the kettle, but a lot longer. And this is where you add pressure? Um, typically, you know, here is where you add pressure. Mm. This yeah. is where the, the beer comes out, but this is like whatever you want. So Tip, you like can have you can put a floating dip tube in there. It's a different style of a dip tube. You take the beer out in a different yeah. way, or sure. you can add a, what's called a carb stone, and you can put pressure in a different way. It's pretty light. Yeah. Yep. So, like on this post, on this, we have a floating dip tube. And that yeah, there's a floating dip, dip tube there. We'll just float on top of the beer, so you could. Well, I, I can't. I don't have a mic on. Yeah, the cleanest, like the clearest beer, is always going to be at the top. So, and you know, and the yeast and all the sediment goes down to the bottom. So if you're pulling from the top, it's typically like the clarity is better. And so if you want, there are a lot of different reasons you want to use a floating dip tube. That'll let you serve from that without pulling up yeast, like yeah. when you keg it. So. Dude, 90 degrees. Okay, you want to transfer some of this over to... Oh, I see. So that just makes yeah, it Yeah, like that ball is, yeah, like literally yeah, float I on see. Top. It just pulls from there. Yep. So it's just Genius. Open. Yeah. <clears throat> we didn't yeah, that's that not our in, That's not but, our invention, but... But having the option to have the dip yeah. tube or it just gives you more options. Yeah. But putting that fitting in a keg, an additional fitting in a keg, that's one of the things. Then you really. still have your regular, so... Yeah. It just gives you more options. I think you, you could put a gas post on there if you wanted, right? Yeah, you can put a normal gas post yeah, on there. Double. I don't know why you would yeah, have two gas posts, but you, posts, could. But you want double gas. Double gas. Um, yeah, you ready to fill one of these up? I, can we throw? We can throw the Kvike in at ninety. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna find out. I'm sure it'll be fine. Same. Catch it. All right. Um, well, let's do this. Um, what do we do about the lack of scissors? I don't know. Get a knife. Use a knife. I have a knife. See here, man. Don't leave home without it. Yeah. Jack is like, what if I brew beer today and Dude, nobody I'm, has scissors? I'm scared to like carry a knife. Why? I so use I'm, it like, all the, the time. time I would use it would be a time I shouldn't be using a knife. I feel like. <laughs> you're in a, in a fight. You're in a fight. I don't know. Uh, I just don't I like mean, having I'm, stuff in my Aren't you always opening boxes and things and gotcha. yeah? Yeah, you can use it for cutting apples or sure. Opening yeast. Yeah, clean out uh, your toenails. Yeah, clean exactly. <laughs> So Ross, our buddy Ross, always carries two knives. One's a sanitary knife for cutting food. cheese, <laughs> so yeah. sausage, food, apples, and then the other one's a, a toe knife, essentially. <laughs> or whatever. Non-sanitary knife. All right. Do you carry a knife? No, I just don't like, I don't have anything in my pockets right now. I don't like having stuff in my pocket, so I typically don't carry it now. Yeah, can you fill the pump? Yeah, sure. Just so we don't. Turn the pump off. Go too low? Yeah. And if I'll leave, I'll let uh, the knife go into this stuff. Maybe the yeast packet. We're going to Jack's. We're gonna use Jack's toe knife for this. Oh, is that his toe knife? No, this yeah, is my, he cleans this is my everything knife. Which means it's toe, it's this toe knife. I mean... My toes, are, my toes are sterile. You're sterile? My toes are sterile. Oh. Um, I mean, I don't care. So, Kvike, Jack's gonna do the honors. You wanna... We, we need a tiny amount of this. Probably right. two grams. Yeah. That's so what, 12 grams or 10 grams in there? Jack, you wanna cut this open mm -hmm. and then... Does it need to be dry? It's not. No, it doesn't need to be dry. Oops. <laughs> what happened? I had the airlock upside down and dumped out all this oh, stuff. Nice. Excellent. It's kind of interesting smell. So set that where you want it, and then I'm going to make sure the camera's on. I mean, it's a 
this work. And then, will you put that back where it was? Yeah. I don't. I had it in my hand. Yeah, yeah put it right there, right, right here. next to the other one, right there. Okay. Yep. Good out of this. You guys are planning to do 50 gallon? I mean, we got 13 in there. I would say this is more than we've done. So I bet we're gonna get like 45 total. All right. Cider. Cider. So, <laughs> what time is it? Midnight? What time is it? 10 to 8. <laughs> Bro. What time is it though? I don't even know. 7.50. We're getting close. Yeah, we're like five hours into this. This is your, you guys' longest live stream? Yeah, uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, is that sanitized? Live I'm not gonna PR. put it in there. Those? Yeah. It's resting on the Is that, is that um, thing shut there? The valve? Should be. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a marker somewhere on here. Don't move it, don't move it. Don't move it? Can you see it? No, but you tell me. It's on the I, back side. I can't see it. What do you want, a gallon? 1.25. You, you want to go up to 1.25? Yeah. Right. Even yeah, at 90? Right, right, right here's the line. All right, cool. You want I can do that. Temperature shouldn't matter. Huh? Temperature shouldn't matter, right? No, I mean, it's just gonna ferment fast and maybe uh -oh. blow out. We cut the tip off. Ooh. We're here. Okay. Good. Nailed it. Nice. Dude, the first gallon. All right. A lot of cider. Mm. You want a glass of that? I got uh, got a beer. I got one of these right here. Yeah, those are good. So put like, um, did you put yeast in there already? No. So two grams. <laughs> two grams of that. So maybe a quarter of that pack. Yeah. Then we'll weigh it out. Yeah. Just do like a quarter of that pack. We could do two kvikes. Uh, do we have another kvike? No, we can use so some more of that yeast right there. Ball. Yeah. I, yeah, may as well. Because otherwise, we're going to waste I would say, I would say that's yeah. a quarter. Yeah. Okay, let's do the other one too. Why not? Oh, cool. All right, first gallon of cider in a fermenter. So then we got to aerate that. Oh shit. Sorry, Jack. You're Sorry. Right. Yeah, I didn't miss me. So, um... Now the yeast is just going to do its thing and... Yeah. <laughs> I need to go why, did, why did you do that? <laughs> I didn't think shaking would... I mean, it's not that full. Oh god, I thought you were like aerating the... Sand I was just shaking it to get on the lid before I dumped it. <laughs> That was weird. Nobody I didn't see, see that happening. Nobody saw that because your back was to the camera. So I'm going to shake this one. Ideally, we would have done this before the airlock was on there, but I think this would be fine. I'm going to shake it that hard. Definitely getting so a in, little bit of sanitizer in there. In two or three days, this will, oh, be, this will be cider. Yeah, this one's going to ferment really fast. Yeah, we should probably put that somewhere safe. Yeah, I put it on like a cookie sheet. Pro tip, put your like small fermenters on cookie sheets. With explosive yeast. Yeah. Just cause it's gonna leak? 
No, because it could, it could like just foam out the top of it. This is gonna be Ooh. really active because this, you know, it's gonna be so warm and the yeast is so active. A little bit did. Okay. I'm that tiny, a tiny oh, amount. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, ideally we would have on this next one. Let's we'll aerate it before we um, put the airlock on. But yeah, like it wasn't there. It was a I, maybe a tiny bit more than that. And also, you know, you added the zinc. Um, so, all right, I think that's pretty good. Next one, I'll put my hand, hand in some star sand and then we'll aerate it. There we go, so it's right here. It's hard to see in the dark, or not in the dark, but like with the lights. All right, ready mm -hmm. for the next one? Jack, are you able to see those marks? Yeah. Cool. All right. I'm not gonna touch anything else, because it's spilling. Yeast you nutrient? More, you need more cider. Um, so yeah, we're at 85 degrees right now, cool. which is what we're pitching the Kvike at. It'll be fine. Yeah. So I don't want to do that. I want to turn the pump off. And um, we added, we did add some yeast nutrient. To the uh, entire country. What was it called? Cervicomyces? Cervic or it's like dead yeast. It has a very similar name to um, like just actual, what actual yeast it's, is. It's dead yeast uh, cells. Cervicomyces. All right, next gallon. Ceramyces? Is that right? Ceramyces? Oh no. Ooh. So the Star Sands is a brand? Yeah. And that's just kind of like the Dr. Bronner's of brewing. They used to clean everything. Sure. Yeah, On the homebrew side of things, sanitize. they use the sanitized stuff, yeah. And they, their tagline, or it used to be, I'm not sure if it still is, was don't fear the foam. So they say you can leave the foam behind. Yeah, the foam. I usually try and get the majority of it out, but sometimes it's tough. They say yeah, no rinse you have to use a lot of water. Yeah. yeah, it's a no rinse. So like the bubbles, they yeah, it does look like, people are grossed out by it generally. I'm sure it's not like great for you. No. Yeah. Or the beer, I wouldn't think. Doesn't hurt yeast. Won't hurt. I don't think it'll hurt. Yeah. I don't think it'll kill yeast. Doesn't kill humans. Yeah, just um, just bacteria. Um, so let me. I'm gonna turn the pump back on. Yeah. Keep it chilling. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the airlock out of the lid. I'm gonna take the airlock out of the stopper. The what? The phone. Let me put some more yeast in. Yeah, um, one second. Let me. Well, yeah, you can throw it in there now. That's fine. So yeah, come around this side and do like a yeah, another quarter. Dude, this guy's gonna go crazy. Who? Murlocking quick. Why? Too too low of a temp. Too much yeast. Too low of a temp? He's losing his goddamn mind over here. <laughs> too low of a temp? You wanted 90. Well, we did the first one at 90. I know, just teasing, dude. Okay. That's just you. That's just you. But uh, he, he literally wrote like. Okay. He's a uh, Norwegian. Yeah, he knows. He knows what's up. I was just busting, busting balls. <laughs> Is he Norwegian? I don't know, I just made that up. Yeah. Sounds good. Do we ever have issues with putting acidic things like cider and metal kegs? Stainless work, great. I don't have a mic on. Kyle, would you want to I'll, Yeah, I'll answer it in a second. I'm counting right now. Oh, okay. 
and then peaceful so I, prince said, oh my god, you're still streaming. Yeah, I'll try to shake, <laughs> I'll try to shake for like 60 seconds or more. So Kyle's focusing on counting. Um, so I don't know how many hours we've been going, but we were shooting for 50 gallons. We got, <laughs> we got 13. <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to, we're going to be back at it probably around two tomorrow. Tune back in. Um, but yeah, so I think we pitched the first one gallon at 90. This one's a little bit lower. The free fell down to like 85. It's still fine for Kavike. Um, and I just didn't want to open another yeast pack just for a one gallon batch. So, and, and I like Kavike, so that'll be good. Um, and then someone had asked, I saw it earlier, um, if there's issues with acidic things and fermenting in kegs. I've never had any issues. Um, every keg I've ever fermented in is 304 stainless. Um, Kyle, do you, do, have you ever heard anything about acidic things in, in stainless? Um, I, I'm assuming they're talking about maybe like making hot sauce or something like, like that. Like a hot sauce? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I, I'd have to research, but just for beer and cider and stuff like that, no, you're fine. Even like a sour, like a, a really low pH sour beer, you'll be fine. You won't have any issues. I've done a lot of sour beers and, what do you think and about kegs. Beer? Pretty good. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah what is that? Yeah. It's, it's, uh, a, it's basically like a Mexican lager with lime and salt. Already and, in uh, it. Oscar Blues, yeah. Sweet. Yup. Yeah, I love that place. They did get rid of the Asheville burrito, though. Did they? Yeah. That's where I get every time. Did you get it tonight? No. I, I, unless, like, I'm drunk, but I swear to the last couple of times I went, I'm like. You just I, gotta ask. I think that's it, yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's it. It's just not on the menu. Oh, damn it. That's the best, that's the best, in my opinion. If you want to feel real fat, you get that. It's so breaking good. <laughs> what are you talking about? The Asheville burrito. And El Capasa. That's right. Tonight. So oh, nice. Okay, pasta. So, this is some uh, whiskey that Jesse dropped off. Ooh. Oh, that's right. With some hot cider. Yeah, That'd whiskey nice. and cider seems like a great idea. Yeah, it does. It's got some sediment in it. I'm not sure why. Bottle, maybe from the barrel, barrel sediment. It's interesting, it's sweet. Sweet? Yeah. Like it seems sweet or it is sweet? It is sweet. Like it's sweetened? It's sweet. Huh. Can I taste it? I was probably I was probably doing something with it. Who knows? Yeah, oh, you did something weird with it? Yeah. I don't know what I would have... I don't know what I would have done with it. Added sugar? I wouldn't have added sugar to it. I don't think that's... I don't think that's a full bottle of that whiskey. Whoa, that's weird. Yeah. I think it got mixed somehow. It's got like a uh, firebomb in it or something. It's not a firebomb. No? No. Well, that's a... Mm. It's got a cinnamon kick, doesn't it? Like a sweet cinnamon or... The apple or something. I'm not sure what's in there, guys. All right, well, got a... It's, there's definitely booze in it. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, definitely alcohol in there. So, pro tip. Bottle of whiskey and some cider. I should have done this when it was warmer, though. We got all day tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and Sunday, probably. I think if we get subway live, we'll be fine tomorrow. All right. Uh, pump on? Yeah, pump's on. Pump is on. 81. Yeah. So two, two gallons down. 48 to go. <laughs> This is why I wouldn't want to be a brewer. This is why well, I would not want to brew beer. Well, I don't think most people brew it live and do it the most inefficient no, way possible. No, granted, yes, yeah, but just imagine. 
Well, imagine having yeah, an actual brewery problems. with like a hose and yeah. like a floor drain and sure. a system. I guess their problem is like, oh, we, it took us an extra 12 hours. <laughs> We're 12 months deep on our keg project. So right. Maybe that They're like, it plus. took an extra 20 minutes to transfer this beer. Yeah, then you start having success and you got to expand. Dude, it sounds like a disaster. Bro, yeah. Higher. Yeah. And then like, you have to, you're constantly like shuffling like fermenter space and keg. I, <sighs> Like, it looks like a logistical nightmare. Just like walking in, like looking at like boards. Like if you go to Dissolver and ever see like their production board or something, it gives me anxiety. Cause it's like, brew this, this day, brew this, yeah. transfer, transfer this. And I mean, they have it down to a science, but that's what I'm saying. I don't know, I feel like Kyle did something to it. Like cinnamon -y sweet. Unless that's just how it is. I mean, it's nice. I don't know. Kyle said he thought he did something, but it'd be weird if he did it. Triple pot still. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, our buddy Jesse, who runs the Stillet Channel, he lives in New Zealand. We're home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He brought this. He, I think he did a collaboration with these folks who are down in Texas. Or if he didn't, he was just down there and brought us a bottle, but it's really nice. 80 degrees, we're getting there. Oh, then once you get to 70, you're gonna yeah, start we'll, filling these. We'll fill two of those, like five and a half gallons in each. And then do the same thing, pitch, pitch a full packet. Put a full packet of yeast in the keg. And then, um, yeah, then, then we'll right. hose everything down, put stuff away, and we'll What's be up? good. Um, what do you want to use on top of these kegs for fermentation? These are going to be the saisons. Do you want to leave them open with a blow-off tube? Do you want to do them under pressure? What's your poison? Probably open, hot, and fast, or? Yeah. Yeah, let's just leave them. Put them because you want. On. We want to. Ex yeah. ex we want to get the most flavor out of those yeasts. Like we don't yeah. want to suppress it. Sure. Right. Yeah. So two blow off tubes. Yeah, we don't want to put a pressure on those. Right. At all. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so I'll get two of those ready. All right. All right. Do you want? Do you want? Do you feel like being social with them, or you don't have to? Okay. Now I'm gonna have to hit it. Oh, looks like, looks thanks like for stopping by. Looks like you guys got it under control. Yeah, I dude, mean, Jack, if by. you want to swing by to my round too, what you want to just bring a grinder with you and a couple friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll swing by. And um, empty truck bed and a lot of um, pre-juiced cider. If you could just, yeah, if you could just bring a fork, a pitchfork, so we could load your truck up. All right. And then we'll dump them in the woods and then we'll buy some cider. We got it. Sweet man. Let's do it. Well, good seeing you. All right, man. All right. See you, see you dude. Tomorrow. Yep. Sunday? Yeah, definitely. It's supposed to be like 40 degrees. I'll be all right. All right. Making cider still. I think it's about like camp chair time. We are definitely going to use the plate chiller tomorrow. 100%. Dude, how is this mic still going? No idea. All right, pro tips. Number one, set up stations. Grind, juice, heat, transfer, and align instead of in batches. Number two, invite friends over. You had some friends over, they helped out. 
a lot. This is awesome. Number three, get yourself a bottle of whiskey. And fill up your glass with whiskey and cider while it's still hot. It's all right, I like the current temp that it's at, but it would have been better warmer. Number four, um, eat before you start brewing. And that's it. Those are my tips for cider success. Yeah, definitely. If someone's got a uh, uh, recommendation for a, especially like a DIY crusher, I would be all about that. Bourbon and coconut keg. Yeah, you could do bourbon and coconut keg. They do it like cocktail bars, right? Yeah. Yeah. You'd ha like that'd be that'd be a weird one because you'd have to also have CO two on it to keep it carbonated. Like, what, dude, what carbonated whiskey? Yeah, it doesn't sound good to me. It sounds horrible, but I'm, I'm kind of curious. I mean, it's probably no different than like a Jack and Coke. It adds some carbonation to it, right? But the whiskey itself isn't yeah, carbonated, what you but you like, get... Well, it'd be just like soda water and whiskey. Right. Whatever that is. What it'd is be like a canned, one of those canned whiskey drinks. Yeah. Right? That are like... Like an RTD drink? Yeah. Sure. Did I lose the phone? Oh, it's right in my head. Oh, this, gotcha. Yeah, this is working. Oh, okay, gotcha. What are we down to, like 5%? Um, five, what do you mean 5%? Power. On the, oh, the phone? Yeah. I have mine on a charger okay. um, inside, so I will flip back over to that. But yeah, probably. Yeah, 5%, exactly. Sweet, so I'm just putting the hose clamps on. We're yes, going to use sir. blow off. When I go camping, I Two. keg up gin and soda. Wow. Sweet. I'm guessing car camping, but if you're um, <laughs> backpacking, you are awesome. That would be... He's just got a keg strapped to his backpack. Yeah. But you had just that, you have a St. Bernard, like a huge St. Bernard with a big, one of the what's, big barrels in the front. What's the mix for the keg? But to Like uh, what percent are you shooting for like, soda? like a 20 percenter or do you just go by taste? Were there any injuries or mistakes? I had to step away for a few hours. They know us too well. We did make a mistake. Yeah, there was a mistake. No injuries, thank God. Yeah, if you rewind, uh, I don't know, maybe. An hour. I was gonna say 30 minutes, hour ago. Uh, probably an hour. Yeah, the, the hose flipped out of the top of the kettle and we probably lost. A gallon. I would say a gallon. A quarter gallon. Quart, probably. Yeah, I. Uh, On the ground. I didn't do the pull tug. Yeah. No, that was my bad. I think it was mine, because I, I think I put the hose on. No, I put it in the kettle, but you, and you couldn't see it from the side. Oh, it was in but, the kettle. Yeah, it's, it, it's over here. Oh, it's I where thought... it is now. Gotcha. And you, you can't see it from here. Like, literally, gotcha. you can't see the hose. So, yeah. Either way, it wasn't bad. No one got, it didn't spray anybody, so that's all that matters. Um, it's T.T%. T.T%. T percent. T point T percent. The percent ABV of the... Um, Gin and soda. T, T yeah, T point T percent. Huh. What's that mean? Oh no, five point five. Five point five. Oh, it. so you keep it like beer style. Yeah. That makes more. That makes. That, I, I kind of like that. So you can go higher, but it gets you up to. That'd be dangerous, 10. right? If you keg that at like twenty percent. Ten gallons. You bring ten gallons of that camping? Dude, that's awesome. That's crazy. So it's almost like uh, like that at that point, you're it's almost like uh, a seltzer water. Like a, like a homemade seltzer water, essentially, right? Yeah, I guess. 5%, it's just gin and tonic. Right, but 10 gallons of it? That's Dude, awesome. how are you camping? How many people are with you? 10 gallons? I mean, that's gotta be Basically, at least, you just at, least go to the at least 10 hours. 10 hours, gallon an hour? You uh, just go to the 10 gallons, I mean, I'm assuming like he's going to like a festival? Yeah, a festival. Like a festival situation? Right. Watching Even some that. bands? Dude, I, can't, I, could, I can't do that anymore, I could do it. Festivals? Oh, I wish I was into this a long time ago, you know, like 15 years ago. Festivals or? No, like uh, 
20 years ago. I wish I was into brewing and all this kind of stuff. Because I, mean, we, I would have rolled up two festivals with a keg. Of, I mean, we were. I just wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. Not 20. Like, not to this extent. No. 20 years but ago. But I mean, when I was actively brewing a lot, I just never had my life in order enough when I was that age <laughs> while I was <laughs> brewing to, like, have yeah, to get the wherewithal. To, like, yeah. I would show up with a pair of pants to a festival. Just a pair. With nothing else. Yeah. No tent. No and. Shirt. Yeah, literally just what I was wearing. <laughs> like when we went whitewater rafting, yeah, we did go I literally rafting. showed up with what I was wearing to go whitewater yeah. rafting for like three days. Yeah. You didn't bring anything. I didn't bring it. I just drove Nothing. up there. Yeah. I got so my car. So wh where's the, how far is like. Um, it's three and a half hour, four hour drive. Yeah, but that's to, that's from Akron to Athens. Yeah, New River. Yeah, to go from oh, yeah, it's probably down like, to West Virginia. Yeah, it's probably like five. So like six or seven hours probably. from. Akron. Probably. So I'd say so five and a half, six. Away, seven hours away from your house, and we're staying there all weekend. Camping. Camping. Yeah. And you didn't bring anything. I didn't bring, I nothing. just wrote, I, I, I brought my wallet, which I pair, had like five dollars. You had a pair of Carhartts yeah. on. You didn't even have sandals. You just nope. had shoes on. Yep. <laughs> to I didn't bring, I didn't, right I didn't bring like any water. Carhartts. I don't think I owned anything. I was just like, <laughs> what? Was the, yeah. <laughs> I borrowed Joe, Joe Chodowski's water shoes, fell out, lost them. Yeah, you immediately lost, lost his, uh, his sandal shoes, his, his, his water shoes. Immediately. And then I gave you a, a pair of these, like, orange Dude. shorts that I had got from a thrift store. Yeah, and I was in better shape then, but still never as skinny as you. And they were so tight. <laughs> I had an orange shirt that was <laughs> yeah, super tight. I probably shirt. weighed 205 then. So your beard was, like, really orange at that point. My skin was orange. My hair is orange. Yeah, you had a uh, orange shirt. I gave you orange pants, and your car at that point was orange. orange. <laughs> we have, I have a picture of that. Somewhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, that was so funny. But that's how I lived life. I went to Nelsonville, met Cameron there for like a three-day music festival. Rolled up. Nothing. I brought a case of beer <laughs> with no ice, no cooler. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I just didn't have it together. It doesn't make sense. No. But Nothing now, makes sense. Yeah, but now I'm like. You would never do that now. No. No. No, I'd be like, is there a bed available? <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like a bed. I'm sick of sleeping outside right, with yeah. no cover. Yeah. At a certain point, you get tired of yourself. You're like, I deserve better than what I'm giving myself. Dude, I went to Bonnaroo. I didn't bring a tent. <laughs> what? In like 2000. <laughs> Who are you staying with? Nobody? You're I like, went ah, down with... Sleep under the... Paul Killian, under Meg the stars. T. <laughs> like five people. I just didn't even think about it. And, and it wasn't an issue. Like, I, it, like none of these, like none of these times, I don't remember it ever being an issue. Yeah. Yeah, because you were blacked out. Yeah. You drank enough, matter. it didn't matter. Yeah, you just drank enough that it didn't, it didn't but matter. But had I had it together, that would have been nice to bring beer. But now I think I have it together, but I wouldn't want to start drinking until like eight o'clock at night. You know, and then I'd want to be in my van in my comfortable bed. Yeah, exactly. Asleep by yeah. four. You're kind of an old man now. Yeah, at least. I mean, but for the better. I, I'll stay up till like 4 a.m. or 5. <laughs> <laughs> what, what temper are we at? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. 76? That's not bad. Dude, that's good. That's great. So we get, it's coming down to the wire here. Thanks for watching if you've been here for uh, four hours, five hours, however long this has been going on. This has been a process. We're trying to make 50 pounds of cider. We had $100 worth of apples, which is an entire truckload, truck bed. So it was an F-150 full, probably like halfway up in the back, because it's still a lot. I would say three quarters. Three quarters, yeah, it was a lot. Um, and uh, we have put a dent in the apples, but that's it, only a dent. We weren't so super we efficient today. We were not very efficient. Filming slows things down, honestly, a lot. Um, Which is fine. Yeah, it's because you have, kind of have to have things staged to make sense for the cameras, and we only have two cameras, and yeah, it's just a lot of work to do the, the media part of it, but I think tomorrow I'm probably going to, we'll bring a table out like we discussed. A knife, a table. <laughs> a table, a cutting board. So we'll have cutting board. A knife. Knife. Another table. We'll have crusher. Well, the crusher and we'll a squeezer press, going on at the same time. And we'll have kettle. Yeah. And we're just in a line. We're going. The one thing is, I don't want to heat cider too early. No, we. But. We once we have. Once we're close to, like once we have the first five gallons done, right. add it, and then when we add, like when we're getting close on the second one yeah. being full, we can start heating it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's not the long part. Yeah. 
Um, Thanks I for let, watching. I gotta let you transfer. Okay. Uh, this now? keg is ready. I mean, we're at 76. Is that too high? I felt real confident. Now I'm looking Merlock at Murloc and QC. Yeah, 76 is pretty Agrees. warm. Jeez. Yeah, let's, let's leave it. Go a little bit lower? Yeah, uh, yeah. we'll let it roll. I'm gonna grab uh, the other phone. You wanna throw that on the charger? I got excited. Yeah, we'll assembly line the, the cider tomorrow for sure. Um, yeah, I need to put this phone on a charger. We got 3%. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let her sit. For some reason, I thought it was lower than it is. Um, Not, oh, okay. So we're getting there, Kyle. Yeah. And we're gonna do a, a Saison and one, and then we're gonna do a farmhouse hybrid Saison. Yeah, what does that mean though? What Someone said what hybrid? it was in the chat. Uh, what was it? I I don't remember. Okay. Um, but if, if we scroll up, it, maybe someone could tell us again what, what it means that's a hybrid. Maybe it's, yeah, I'm not sure. Someone will tell us, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, Ted said he hasn't used it yet, so he was excited to get some feedback on it. So right. the other thing we'll have to do is label our, label everything so we know what's what. Yeah, totally. You know what, there's some Sharpies in there. Maybe we'll just like use those to, we're right on these guys on the sides of these guys. You know what we should do is do some sort of, I don't know, reusable labels or chalkboard, chalk labels or something for these guys so you can write on them. Oh, that'd be cool to have maybe some matte, like a sticker. Matte kind of finish, yeah, like a sticker with a matte finish that you can that write doesn't it leave, on That it. doesn't leave a residue. Yeah. Or you leave it on there and then you could write. Yeah, you yeah, erase it and That'd be nice. Because then you could put like, you know, if you're fermenting the date, you could put a date, what it is. Yep. ABV, you could put all the all the nerd stats. Yeah. That would be nice, because that is, um, it's a problem. We'll just put like tape on it and then it wears off. Um, so, okay. Did I read you using a Kvike for this project? You did. We and we are. So that's what the hybrid yeast is. It was modified to be non-diastatic yeast. What do you, what do you say it was? Non-diastatic. Explain that. Um, Merlocking QC. We just learned about this at the White Labs thing. Diastatic. So he sounds good. All right, cool. So two down, where are we at? We are... 75 and a half. Yeah, we're gonna use the plate chiller tomorrow for sure, right? We are, the two one gallon fermenters that you see, um, both have Kvike. We're gonna probably use, um, depending on how much cider we get out of these, we have, we're gonna be doing two, um, we're gonna be putting five and a half gallons in these two. Uh, and we're gonna be using um, farmhouse, farmhouse hybrid Saison style yeast, which is from uh, Lau Brew, from Lauland. And then the other one we're using tonight is a Saison from Cellar Science, which I know Cellar Science have been making wine yeast for a long time. I, have, I haven't really used much of their beer yeast, and they have a lot of really cool yeast, it looks like. So I'm pretty excited about this. And I think we might under pitch the Saison a bit, let her go a little bit warmer to kind of get some of them Saison flavors to pop a little better. I don't know. That's what we're thinking. But yeah, the two one gallons have um, the Kvike 
and we just went with the Voss, which is uh, from Lao Man, just dry. So, um, so we'll have two gallons of Kvike, and that should be done super quick. Um, and then I'm gonna put the Kvike, what's left of it, in the fridge, and then we we're gonna put USO4 in one of them, but I didn't wanna waste a packet of yeast for one gallon tonight, so. Um, cool, I'm gonna put these in the fridge. How are we looking? Looking good. Mm -hmm. Put the yeast back. Ooh, can you bring a knife out when you come out too, Kyle? Yeah. 75, we're getting there, we're getting there. So. So yeah, so we're just waiting for this to chill down to about 70. Diastatic yeast can be unpredictable. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, we took a yeast course at White Labs. It was like a two days, really good course. Um, and they went into a lot of that detail and I have a, a really good notebook with a bunch of notes. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're gonna have so much of this that it's cool to try out new yeast, so. Pretty excited about that. But yeah, I'll have to do, have to bring out my notes. But yeah, I don't know if anybody's tried that. It might be fairly new, I'm not sure. But um, it sounds like it'll be good. And uh, yeah, tomorrow, I would say we'll get through all the apples tomorrow a lot quicker because we have two apple crusher or um, juicers. So the crusher goes pretty quick. Um, I mean, you can, we could have all the apples crushed in a couple hours um, and then squeezing with two. If we, I think if we get both of them going, the other one's small though. I don't know if that's gonna be worthwhile. But even with one, I think we could you know, get through it pretty quick. Quicker than today. Hopeful, so we'll be in the same spot tomorrow and I'll be like, Sunday, we'll get it done. <laughs> Either way, we're, uh, we're still cranking along and just waiting, waiting for this to, uh, to chill. What's everybody up to tonight? So, correct me if I'm wrong, but the um, non-diastatic yeast, it's like the SDA1. Oh, that's the stuff that we learned, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. My, my thought on that is that, and whoever was mentioning that in the comment section. Uh, Murloc. Yeah, so that's not technically wild yeast. It's just like regular, you know, brewer's yeast. But it has the ability to essentially. I think that's what this is. That what like an said? enzyme. Yeah. Oh, did he mention this? Um, it's a secret enzyme to break down long sugar chains so the yeast can feed exactly. all the sugars yep. in the brew. Problem is that it often have to, happens after bottling and it will, exp you can get bottle bombs. So yeah, you just have to be aware. Yep, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I remember. So it's probably um, good because we're going to bottle, I especially want to bottle the Saison. Oh, do I need to swap? Yeah, hold it for one second. Just like hold it while you're talking. And give me that. Testing. Yeah. Should I pop that off? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just twist it. it. I'm gonna turn it off. Um, just keep it on for a second. Okay. Mic swap. STA1 gene. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. We uh, definitely took a course on that like a, a month ago, and I already forgot. But yes, very. Thanks for that info. Hold on one second. Be good on the new one. With that. Should be good on the Should new one. Should I turn this one off? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, so we could have given the, given these out, or we didn't have enough of the other stuff. No, these are gonna die. Like, this is literally on this last level. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I couldn't. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, killed by the wart. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, what, what temp we at there, boys and girls? Testing, testing. Hello, hello, hello. Mr. Herman, paging Mr. Herman. Let me see your mic. Say something real quick. Testing, one, two, one, two. Testing, one, me? two, one, two. Hmm, one's like much louder than the other. Can you hear me? Testing, testing. Anybody hear me out there? Hello, hello. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Here, Matt, say something. Testing. One, two. One, two. Testing. One, two. All right. We good? Everybody hear me? I'm just talking to the void. Okay. 74.9. Hey, thanks, Anthony. Too lazy to get up. Dude, that. Yep. He's on it. I wonder what our groundwater temp is. It should be fairly cool this time of year. You know what? That would be uh, an interesting. Like we could, we could actually measure the groundwater temp, and because uh, you know, there's gonna hear, be a delta where you're not just you're just gonna be there. You're not gonna get much below it, or you know, you're gonna be a little above it. Yeah. Brain. All right. Okay. All right, guys. We are getting to the end of the Juicy McJuice Day. And uh, it's been pretty nice. Beautiful weather. No bees. Only one spill. No injuries. We only made 13 gallons. We'll come back for probably another 20, I would say 2025 tomorrow. And that'll be some, I don't know, maybe 40, 45 total maybe. It's hard to judge this pile. I feel like we have more left than we did today. So I, I guess we'll get at least 20 gallons tomorrow. We did 13 today, so 20, 33. I don't know, we might get 40. It's possible we get 45, 50. It's really hard to judge this pile of apples. Um, but I, I'd say at least another 20, 25 easily. Um, but yeah, I'm not, not, not good at estimating apples. We'll bring a knife, a cutting board, another table. We'll crush in one station and press in another station. And uh, I think it, it'll be a good day. It's supposed to be beautiful tomorrow too. Uh, and I don't, I don't think Kyle might be finally eating his tacos. Not sure. All right, I'm gonna check the temp. All right, we're gonna, I'm calling it. It hasn't moved. It's moved a little bit, but I feel like we could put it there. We'll pitch the yeast and put it in the old fermentation chamber, set to 68. So, well, these are going to be Saison. I mean, shoot, may as well do these a little bit warmer anyway, right? You know, Saisoning. 64 to 77. Cool. I'm cool with that. We'll be on the higher end. Hopefully get some more of the phenolic, not phenolics, but you know, maybe phenolics. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but some more of the expression from the Saison. So, oh, we're still going, buddy. We'll be back tomorrow at two if you need me. Um, I'm going to grab Kyle and I'm going to try and uh, get this party going wrapped up.
Hey, KB. Um, I think we're kind of at a point where we're not going to chill much further. And that Saison yeast will probably benefit from a little bit of warmth. It says you can ferment up to 77. So, what do you think? Call it good. Yeah. Oh, well. Right out. Okay, sounds good, man. Kyle's finishing some tacos. We're gonna come out, and then yeah, we're gonna transfer um, into the keg. I could probably do it now while we're waiting, but if I do that, I'll probably make a mess, and that's never good. We're at 2% here. Two percent, two percent on the phone. All right, so we're gonna, when Kyle gets back out here, we'll just, uh, whatever temp we're at, we're gonna pitch, it stays on, it'll benefit from a little heat, I think. That's what I'm saying. That's the beautiful thing about home brewing. It'll work. The Saison will stall at the end. Why would the Saison stall at the end? It's 26 to 28, is that like 70? Let me Google that. 26 C to Fahrenheit 78. Heated up to 26 C? Dude, that's like 78 degrees. Oh, that's, uh, I mean, that's not that hot, I guess. That's, but I don't brew a Saison a lot, so. So we will we'll give that a roll. We'll take uh, I guess we'll take some gravity readings as it moves along. And I'm gonna go ahead and start transferring this, guys. It's getting late. So I'm gonna go ahead kill the pump. We're at 74 degrees, which I'm cool with. And we're just gonna go ahead and transfer that right into here. And then uh, the kegs, I cleaned with PBW earlier today, and then um, obviously had star sand, or not obviously, but we had star sand in all the kegs as well. Um, and for the PBW, what I did is I just filled one, I like filled the kettle with PBW, heated up to 170, and filled one keg, and then jumpered it uh, from keg to keg. Um, which works pretty well. I had 10 kegs that I cleaned, so I just jumpered it from one to the next, rinsed them all out, and then PBW'd them. So that worked pretty well. Felt pretty good about that method because I went in and out of the um, dip tube, made sure that was good, and then we got floating, floating dip tubes as well, so went in and out of that. And that worked pretty well. Just a little bit of pressure, push out, push it from one to the next. And I'm going to grab another keg. Cool. Um, Sorry, dude. No, it's all good. I'm grabbing another keg. Okay. And I just want to make sure we fill both the same. Yeah. It's hard to see. Sounds good. Oh. Oops.
right, all right. It is getting a little chilly out. It's nice, dude. Yeah. Tomorrow, I think, it's going to be like a little cooler tomorrow. Put a little fire up. Yeah, build a fire. That'd be cool. We should do that. I think it's starting to sprinkle, too. It's about the PBWs. sure what you guys can see right now but we'll call that good good enough that turn the pump on thirteen so we have eleven gallons in here so I can't see well right now so i just want to make sure each keg but well, jesus each keg has five and a half so i'll just do it visually make sure they're both even um, i guess i could flip the camera to see no i can't And it's sprinkling out here, which is nice. Oh, we gotta get them out in there still. And just transferring, then we'll aerate, pitch the yeast, throw on a blow off tube and let these rip around 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Kill the pump, Trip, put more in this keg. Just trying to evenly fill them. It should be about five and a half going into each. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna be in the ballpark. I feel like there's still a a lot in there. So I think we'll switch once more. I don't, know if, I don't know if you can see anything. Hey Kyle, are you able to see anything? Yep. Yeah? Yeah, you're good. Oh God, kill the pump. Ugh. All right. You got that knife? Um, yep. What happened? Nah, nothing. Stream, stream die? No, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Do you trust yep. me with this? Um, rough, va vaguely, va barely. Yeah. So what do we have? What do we end up with? So how, how much do we have left in the kettle? Nothing. You need to nothing. You nothing. tilted it and everything. Yeah, I put a. I actually have a dip tube in there. 
So it's sucking, it's sucking hard. Oh yeah. You could pull that basket. Full Fish suck. I figure whatever's left in there okay. just drank. But I mean, it's hard to tell. Yeah. With the light. But I would say close Looks like to it's pretty much gone to me. Here, pull the basket out and let's look. Yep, do like completely gone. Yeah. That's completely empty. Yeah. Yeah. That was a little sludge, but. Um, so yeast. Yeast is a thing, a living thing, if you will. We're gonna add it to the kegs. And I guess I'm doing it solo. So, uh, this is the Laveland uh, Farmhouse Hybrid Saison Style Yeast. I don't think it has a number. They just call it Farmhouse Hybrid Style, which is cool. I dig it. And I'm gonna put that under this keg so I don't forget which is what later. And then this is the uh, Cellar Science Saison. Produces a complex Saison beer to guard style beer, mildly spicy phenolic flavors combined with fruit and hints of citrus. So, I don't know, I'm pretty excited about that. That's cool. Oh, and then I'm gonna pitch this yeast and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water off. So I'm gonna do that. Can't see. Hose is off. Kyle's still missing. All right. We are so close to being done. Sorry, dude. Thought you went home. Nope. <laughs> Gave up 10 hours later. I I've just realized we had the hose on still. So. And they're holding it down. All right. Yeah, so. That's right. William Cleland. We are still going. I'm Not by choice. <laughs> I mean, we did. By necessity. And obviously, we dude, we yeah. got through 50 oh gallons. But, dude, I, I think tomorrow with the assembly line. I mean, just looking at this crusher, I just, I don't get it. I don't just, understand why it didn't juice more. Because it, it sucks. Yeah. Because it needs an auger, dude. It needs, that thing needs to move and, like, move the apples through. Yeah. yeah. But sure. we'll cut. Yeah. We're cutting tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if yeah, it went. Yeah, that actual auger, yeah, yeah would just like smash yeah. it in there. Yeah. They, they forgot that step. So um, here's a um, fun fact about me. I interviewed for a, a job. Today? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you quit? Actually, that's where I've been for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> Have a job interview? I have once interviewed for a job. <clears throat> um, Floating dip too, by the way. The uh, the camera is literally behind you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know who I'm talking to anymore. The uh, the job was to create a toilet for, like basically a comp like a new version of a composting toilet. This was a job interview. Yeah. They wanted you to design a product for him in the interview. Uh, no, like I was interviewing for that job. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was a nonprofit. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Like a big nonprofit, and I was gonna. You're the guy that who, who interviewed me used to work for Lockheed Martin. He was a literal gotcha. rocket scientist. Gotcha. Literal, he used to design like rockets. Right. 
Um, so smarter than you. Obviously, I didn't get the job. <laughs> Even though it was like, what's the dumbest job we give this guy? Designing toilets? <laughs> right. Like, no one's going to die. I didn't really push it. I wasn't really. The what year was, what year the was this? It was already a thing. Like 2005? Um, this was right before, actually, um, right before I quit my actual day job and then started working. So when you were in Boulder? Doing this full-time, climber full-time. Yeah, I was working in Boulder. Gotcha, okay, gotcha. I, I was really interested in the job. No, it sounds, I was, I mean, really it sounds pretty cool. Yeah. So the idea, you know. I'm going to give you a clamp to work on. Yeah, sure. So the thing is that we were going to, you know, an auger was an integral part oh, okay, of gotcha. the plan for essentially, you know, you had to like take the excrement and then dry it sort of. And move it through. A, yeah, in like a, so the idea is you would start with that. You, know, you would dry it and then move and then the it dry? Would, it would essentially compost to, into something that you could put onto a field. And um, yeah, an auger was gonna be part of this. That's, gotcha. That's my auger story. I mean, Dude, I'm a big auger that's guy. That's the only thing I know really. It's your only auger experience. The only way I can relate to the people who don't um, like waste pumps augers. when you're below, like your sewage the elevation. Aren't those auger pumps? Like, um, like those. Yeah, I have one of those in my house. Are I, those auger? Or no. I think it's an auger pump. No. No, it just crushes it like a blender. Yeah, it's and called that. a grinder pump, and I don't. So it grinds. I don't, think, I don't think it works like auger stuff. Gotcha. But for this, yeah, an auger would be great. Apples, yeah. Apples, you just like, move smash them through. Them in there, yeah, yeah, push it through. Totally. The whole time I'm looking at that, Mike, auger, yeah. just auger, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> it's screaming. Would you just auger? Dude, we're gonna, this is the next thing we're gonna make. We're gonna make an app, the Apple auger. There's probably already one out there. 100, percent and we need to be using that. Right. Next time as well. Come on, Ted. So here's the thing. Actually, begs so, Ted. So glad that we um, changed the design. The handles, handle locations. Designs. Not this ideal. Such a pain. Oh my gosh. We updated it for the final version. Yeah. And you can see those in the keg in the front there. Yeah. I'm not happy with this, and I'm so happy with the actual item that we're going to be shipping. So, Emma, the only issue here is like I'm not seeing a blow off tube. It's just, in there. Oh, we got to take these off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to shake it. Oh, okay. I didn't we're aerate, aerate it. Yeah. Okay. Got it. And then I'm gonna tighten this. Yeah, sure, use that. I'll use that next. This is what also why we changed the design, because you have to really crank these down. While you're doing that, I'm gonna take these. Well, I'll leave it out here. Yeah, it looks good, right? Looks like we did something. Yeah, we did, well. We didn't do much. It's proof that we did something. We made a mess. We had a good time, ate some tacos. Dude, we have 12 gallons here. This is 13, solid 12. right? 13? Five, five, and two. I mean. I'm pretty sure that's 12. Five and a half, five and a half. Okay, five and a half, all right. One, I'm guessing. That right. was five and a half in those, but I'm not a good guesser. Someone ch double check our math, please. Anthony. Dude, because we had 13 in the kettle, right? Anthony's asking where you got your sunglasses. Who, he's obviously not old enough to have seen Blue Blocker commercials on TV <laughs> in the 1990s. You used to be able to go to any gas station, grab them. Yeah. You can't, uh, can't do that anymore. Uh, you can get them on, just go to blueblocker.com. Yeah. Honestly. I'll take that guy. It's the best. Where'd this come from? You've been hiding this one. Yeah. 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 Good idea. That one's, that one's under lock and key. It's like the perfect one for like. I got mine pretty tight, I'm gonna say. And these both have floating dip tubes. Um, so if we want to transfer it later to a serving keg, we can oxygen free transfer it if we want. We're just gonna put a blow off tube on these though and let the Saison do its thing. And then maybe, I don't know, drink it? Yeah. Something crazy? Drinking would be. Ideal. Drinking it sounds really good right now. Yep. Man, you should try some cider and uh, whatever kind of whiskey that is we have there. Yeah, it's a peculiar it's keeping taste. keeping me afloat. It is a peculiar taste, but it's still, it's whiskey. We could have uh, used our fancy oxygen tank. Yeah, no. Tomorrow we will. Yeah, tomorrow, not today. No, one more thing to clean. But it's nice burning outside though. You don't have to like worry about making a mess. Yeah. I mean, burning inside's nice too, obviously, especially if the weather's bad. 
but I couldn't imagine trying to do this with apples, obviously. You kind of need a, to do it outside. I don't call them at mine good. If it's not as good, oh shit. What? Throw me that pack. What's that on there for? So I don't forget which is which. Uh, why don't we just write it on there? Because I don't have a writing utensil at the I, moment. I have one. Oh, you got one? You want me to borrow it? It's in this one. The, the yellow, one, the yellow the, one. No, the non. It should be on the below it on the, the floor. Non STA one. The seller science one. Yeah. And you, and so you already added the yeast for sure. Yeah. All right. I did it on camera. Ooh, nice. Everybody saw it. All right. All right. Release the pressure. Taking the cap off. Blow off tube in here? Yep. Uh, where would it be? At the bottom. I see it. Is there a tube like attached to it? Yeah, it's a whole assembly. I got a long sleever on. Oh, there we go. Nice. Look at that. Make sure I got this on camera. Dexterity is a little off from those beers. All right, cool. What a what an adventure! What a ride! What a ride! What a day! Well, the, the problem is, like, literally started cleaning and sanitizing kegs at like ten, and then you were setting cameras up. Yeah. So we were, I mean, we've been doing it all day, but really, I mean, how much cider time was there actually? Five hours? How long has this stream been? Um, I'm going to say at least five hours, bro. Ten days? Yeah. So no one's watching. We're just talking to ourselves. Exactly. I would be, I would not be surprised at this point. I wouldn't blame anybody. Nope. Oh. They came for a good time and they were disappointed. They came for 50 gallons, they, they got 13. They came for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> Dude, listen, I'm just gonna say, um, <clears throat> Kyle and Emmett from the past, your keg design and the, your first V1. Can suck it. V1.5 keg design, garbage. And this one, a thousand awesome. times better, yeah. Our V1, I'm so glad we didn't shoot yeah, that. I'm so I'm, glad. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not the worst, but. Yeah, but just like this right here. It's so fiddly, yeah, dude. This is not great. No. Yeah, I mean, and you, with the handles moved, you, there's so much more yeah, accessibility. Exactly. Just so much easier, safer, easier. Uh, super stoked. People will be, should be happy with them. <clears throat> um, oh, here you are. Here you are, you cherry, cherry coke, you. It's 3 a.m. All right. Okay. The uh, Durant X work at, worked at Lockheed Martin. The, my buddy Dave, they had a branch in Akron. He just said, he, I forgot he'd worked there. He did uh, like 3D rendering and stuff. Oh, wait, no, he, he's in the stream right now? Yeah. Oh, no, we, he's made renderings for us. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. All right, here's what we're going to do. We got 44 people back, have it in the background. Nice. Not bad. What's happening? So we'll pop these guys up here. Nice. So we needed some uh, sanitizer solution for these guys. Or which guys? These two. Oh, you can throw it in that bucket of sanitizer if you want. Well, we'll take these inside. Okay. And then um, maybe put it in that one liter stainless jug. Yeah, totally. We can just take st star stand from that bucket though. Yep. We got yeah. plenty of it. So anyway. Let's see what we got here. Probably should have killed the heat before I did that. Or not the heat, the power, not that it was on, but you know.
All right, dude. We calling it a stream? Let's call it. Yeah, we just got clean up now. So. Pedal will be easy to clean. Back tomorrow round two? Yeah. Part two of 50 gallons? Yep. Hey, I want to thank everybody for uh, jumping in and uh, chatting and uh, hanging out. And uh, we're going to wrap wrap up this 50 gallons. Uh, hopefully we get 50, be 40, 50, somewhere in there. We'll wrap this up tomorrow. Clean up. It's not bad. We're just going to hose everything off. Not a whole lot going on. We'll just have to tarp the apples and we should be good. Thanks, guys.